Hey guys, uh, welcome to the stream. Wow, 123 in like 5 seconds. Appreciate you guys. Alright, well, it's April Fools, so I'm not, not actively live streaming today. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's... I don't do April Fools jokes. Because everybody does them, which makes them not interesting. Anyway, where we left off yesterday, which I was so exhausted at the, at the end of the previous episode. Because I slept for like friggin' 10 hours. Like, I don't set an alarm usually, and I'm, I usually wake up after six hours. So I went to bed, and I woke up, and I was like, oh my god, half the day's gone. So I was really knocked out. Anyway. Crazy. Ten hours sleep fully refreshed me. Anyway, well, it wasn't ten hours. It felt like a ten hours. I don't know, it was longer than six. Anyway, so we're continuing the Ica Claw campaign, because I love playing this campaign. <laughs> And, yeah, I see what happened here. So, I saw that this siege was going to have to be fought, and I was like, ugh, not another siege. <laughs> and that's why I, I uh, took a break yesterday. But unfortunately, we do have to deal with the siege. I can't just sit there and, and not attack it. We've got all the food that we need to get it to tier 4 or 5. So... Entering into the Empire will probably see us fighting a lot of other Empire factions. I don't imagine that they're going to be very friendly with us. There's also um, Arguilon over here, which... Yeah. We've, uh, yeah, we defeated Scrag the Slaughterer at Barakvar. It does look like there's going to be a revolt here, but the... The garrison's proved itself capable of defending against an Ogre army. It was a tight battle, but we managed it. Anyway, let's get on with this one. The sooner we get on with this, the better. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to auto-resolve it. We've already got Balthazar Gelt's trait, I think. Yeah, they're based on that armor. Um, what are the main concerns here? Usually missile units are our biggest concern because their ability to lob shots over walls. Ikiklaw is on his Doom Flayer, yep. Oh, we should be fine. Yeah, let's just, just get in there. Betsy A will announce Medieval in Koresh and Nippon today. Yeah, um, I don't think so. So, it's... Creative Assembly right now is on thin ice, right? This is this is what my interpretation of the situation is. And that, they are aware that they're on thin ice. People right now want to know about what's going on with Thrones of Decay, Right? If they do an April Fool's joke, it's just going to fall flat. Like, if I was a social media manager at Creative Assembly, I'd be like, no, not not this time. The mood is not right. Don't do it. Because no one's going to laugh. So, yeah, I, don't, I think they're going to be quiet today. Or they'll actually announce the real Thrones of Decay, which would be funny if it happens on April 1st. Um... I think I think that they will leave it until tomorrow. I mean, tomorrow's Tuesday, news day. Get past April first, and just give people what they're actually asking for. Because yeah, I think Creative Assembly realizes they're on, on they're on really thin ice right now. They have lost all of their allies. <laughs> it's friggin'. Oh, it, I kind of feel bad for them. Uh, do I? I don't know. I feel bad. Definitely feel bad for like the regular employees, but not for the leadership. But, um, like, Sega is ripping them to shreds at the moment. Games I've heard Games Workshop is ripping them to shreds. YouTubers talking shit about them behind their back and to their face. And publicly, like me. <laughs> um, the consumers are making a mockery of them. They got, they got no one on their side right now. I gotta feel bad for them for that, at least. Maybe you don't do that. Oh, that's actually doing pretty well. No, 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 just save it. Why not burn down the Wood Elves? Well, it's, it's a case of profit. Um, going into Athel Lauren to capture that territory, it doesn't have any value to us, and it's difficult. Like, this army is not good inside of Athel Lauren. They also haven't declared war on us yet. Balthazar Gelt declared war on us. Their armies are super easy to defeat, and their territory is profitable. 
it just doesn't make sense to go and invade Athel Lauren. There's no advantage on the campaign map for us to do that. Now, if they declare war on us and start invading us, then I'll be forced to go and take them out. But it's not what I want to do, because there's no profit in it. We've seen now that the Wood Elf settlements don't actually provide us food like they did in Warhammer 2. So, it'd just... Going into Athel Lauren would be a lot of resources to gain very little, whereas going into the Empire is consuming very little resources to gain a lot. So, that's usually what you should be doing in your campaigns. You've got to pick your battles. You can't fight everywhere at all times. So, you've got to pick, pick what's going to yield you the best results, because if I gain more territory, I'll be able to build more armies, or build better armies. I'm not going to get much better than this. And then I'll have more resources to deal with them when the time comes, so that it's easier. Alright, now... We've got... A lot of Winds of Magic if we use Ikit Claws, this ability here. Do I have access to Plague? No, I don't have it yet. These are two relatively fresh recruits. Okay, I don't really need to be making breaches. Let's move up a little bit and see if we can actually do some damage along the lines here. Okay, maybe maybe bringing Ikaclaw up and using Scorch would be a good idea. But how could they know making bad decisions would have bad outcomes down the track? Look, I just I just don't know. Like, that's just that's just my thoughts. Like if I I don't know what Creative Assembly is thinking. I can only like make a educated guess. Like if I was the social media manager, like I said, I would not be doing an April Fool's joke right now because nobody, in my opinion, nobody nobody wants to hear Creative Assembly tell jokes. Like, do you remember a little while back, um, right up to Shadows of Change, they they posted about how they went out to get ice creams and, and like, the entire, well, not entire, but there was a huge portion of the community that was just like, how dare you go and get ice cream when you need to be making and fixing content for us sort of thing. So you got to judge the mood. When the mood is bad, it's not really a time to be making jokes. And the mood is very bad. What they need to do is is uh, get the mood back in order, and they'll do that by releasing a trailer for Thrones of Decay. And if Thrones of Decay is good, that that's how they fix things up. Like, how, how big of an advantage is it for the company to make an April Fool's joke? None. It's just, it's just not worth it for them. So, uh, if I was them, I would just... I just who, who cares about April Fools? It's not important. That's my perspective. I mean, they might go ahead and make an April Fools joke. I don't know. I, I just... If I was advising them, I wouldn't do it. Will you be covering news if it drops on Tuesday? It depends on the news. So, if, if they announce the most mundane information, then... Nah, I don't cover that. But if there's... If there's, like interesting things to talk about then yeah i'll make a video on it for sure because it's my job to keep you guys like entertained and interested and it all just depends on what it is like if they release a blog post saying hey we're releasing one new unit that's not worth a video Most people are just asking you to make educated guesses or asking for opinion, and, and I'm giving that. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm giving you my educated opinion. That's exactly what I've been doing. What's going on here? Why is he so damaged? Oh, did we actually hit him with a whole bunch of these? That doesn't seem right. He must have been overcasting. Alright, the damage on that we've inflicted with this is okay, nothing spectacular. Alright, need to bring the Poison Wind Mortars up. Clear the walls a little bit. Could use the wall planting a little bit as well. What's his spell resistance? 35%, okay, well that's the same as any dwarf. Alright, let's get Ikaclaw in and try to snipe Balthazar Gelt using Flensing Ruin, because that's that's okay. It's not, not a good use of Winds of Magic, but we've got plenty of it. 
Yeah, 115. That's pretty good. Just run past Empire Knights. I'm not worried about them. Yeah, I'm going after Balthazar Kill. This guy wants to stay near us. That's fine. Still got my Warpstone armor on, which is pretty good. Alright, yeah, we didn't do that much damage to him. Rings of Power Season 2. Um, I didn't watch Season 1, so I, I don't care. Hey, Legend, do you think that they will ever bring us another free faction in Warhammer 3? Do you mean like a free legend, uh, like a free legendary lord or a free race like Bretonia? I don't think we get another free race. No, you're not going to get another Bretonia. I'd be, I'd be real bloody surprised if that ever happened. If we want to have any chance of... Oh, how did my guy here take, take damage? If we want to have any chance... Maybe I need to move it back. Any chance of bringing our weapons teams up, we have to make sure that guilt is gone. That's absolutely critical. I was getting shot a bit. Maybe it was this tower that did it. If you place the spell directly on the character, he drags it along with him. Yeah, we should be okay to go into melee with him. We don't have much weapon strength, but neither does Geld. Now, he does not want to fight in melee. This should kill Gelt. Why don't you overcast spells? Maybe you've already been asked this, just jumped in the stream. Um, in most cases, overcasting spells actually makes them less effective overall. Uh, the Winds of Magic cost increase and the chance of miscasting makes them not worth it. Sometimes the overcasting of a spell doesn't really provide any serious benefit. Uh, it just depends on the spell. Like once you've once you've used a lore of magic enough, you, you get a feel for when a particular spell is good or not. So in the case of cleansing ruin, it's five extra winds of magic. It um, increases the time of the spell by about five, uh, five uh, fifty percent. So not double by about fifty percent. But it's not too bad. But you also run the risk of miscasting, which can do serious damage to your uh, spell casters. Um, it just doesn't seem worth the risk. Now, if you've got a spell like um, Wind of Death, however, that's another thing entirely where the overcasted version is so much better than the regular version. It's like three times more powerful, but it's only a little bit of extra Winds of Magic cost. So there's some situations where the overcast version are so much better than the regular cast, and there's a lot of situations, most situations actually, the overcasted version is no good at all. Because overcasting comes with downsides. What should Gelt have done in this scenario? That what they should be doing is rushing out. Mm -hmm. What could they do, actually? That's not going to work. What should they be doing? Yeah, if they rushed out at me, I'd, uh, that would actually be in my favor. Um, honestly, what they're doing is about the best thing they can hope to do. They cannot win this battle. 
Because if they just rushed out at me, my weapons teams would obliterate them. There's no hope for them at all. Their best hope is to try to waste my ammunition, but I've got unlimited, so... What, what can they do? What about Pit of Shades? So Pit of Shades is, is sometimes worth overcasting. It largely depends on how dangerous the, uh, the, the, the character, not character, the, um, the enemy that you're casting the spell on. So for example, if you're just casting it on a low tier unit, then don't bother overcasting because a single, single spell cast on, like, let's just say it's a unit of, um, like, Empire Swordsman. Low tier unit, not worth overcasting it on because it, it'll sort of overkill them. But if you're using it against something that's got a shitload of armor, so say, like, a big blob of, um, of great swords, then yeah, in that case there it's worth overcasting. But you should really not get into a mindset of just always doing one thing or another. You have to judge the situation and see what's the best option. Don't just be like, this spell has better stats, therefore I'll use that. That's that's a really mundane way to think about it. Lore of Hag seems interesting in that overcasting changes the spell. Yes, that's that's a pretty good way to to incentivize some overcasting, for sure. Hey Wolfmaster Muller. Um Wind of Death works basically how all overcast should work. Significantly improvement, but risk of harm. Yeah, it's just that's just not the case in most situations. Because it, it's been balanced for multiplayer. For battles that are only supposed to last about five minutes, where you may not get a chance to cast constantly throughout a battle, or your your spellcaster might get killed. And unfortunately, multiplayer dictates the stats on every bloody unit and every ability. That's just how it is. Okay. He has taken a lot of damage. Dished out a lot. 42,000. Okay, I gotta get him out of here. That one. Let's get him out. Alright, at least Balthazar Gelt is gone. So that'll greatly help. Come on, you can do it. Complete miss there. This guy here. Alright, good stuff. That's enough. Stop that. Alright, I can still probably generate a little bit more wins and magic because he doesn't always miscast. I just don't think we should send him back in. But only the spells that have two arrows can be overcasted. Yes. So all of these can be overcasted. That can't be overcasted because it doesn't have two arrows on it. But you, yeah, you're absolutely right there. Does the AI adapt their armies to yours, or are they basically all the same? Uh, they recruit what's available. They, they're not adaptable. They don't look at what you're recruiting and then base their recruitment on what you've got. They just... Basically, works kind of like this. Whatever they've got available in their province, they'll try to recruit a variety of it. But there's no rhyme or rhythm to what they recruit. That's why their armies are usually fucking garbage. The AI does not build smart armies, except by accident. Some Sometimes they will actually build a really good army, but it, it was it's like... It's like if you roll the dice enough times, eventually you'll roll uh, like six sixes in a row. That's all it really comes down to. Yeah, a broken clock is right twice a day sort of thing.
What's another saying? Uh, if, if a million monkeys were typing on a million typewriters for a million minutes, they would eventually, sorry, a million hours or a million years, they would eventually, by accident, type the complete works of William Shakespeare, sort of thing. I'm sure I butchered that quote, but you get the point of it. It doesn't need to be 100% accurate in order for you to understand what I mean. You know, the nature of random stuff is that sometimes, very, very rarely, after enough time, a random sequence of events can actually lead to a pattern that seems like intelligence. It's infinity? Yeah, well, thanks. <laughs> so this one over here, Storkin. Hey, Legend, will rogue armies always engage trade caravans en route? Um, I don't know. I think rogue armies are largely programmed to fuck the player. They will uh, check to see if the player is nearby. If the player is nearby, they will declare war on the player if they feel like there's like undefended cities and just annoy the player like crazy. Um, they'll only declare war on the AI if the player isn't nearby to, to fuck around with so that they can be killed off and then respawn somewhere else basically. Because, yeah, once you take out a rogue army, it can definitely come back. We saw, what, Vashnar's conquest twice in the uh, Empire. This is Total... Oh, no, this is Total War. The, um... Uh, no Defeat campaign. Yeah, so, miscasting does about 200 damage to Ikaclaw. And the big question there is, is 200 damage to Ikaclaw worth getting 5 wins of magic? What's with in-game crisis focusing only on player and ignoring everything else on the way? It's so annoying, stupid, and breaks immersion. Um, yeah, well, Creative Assembly just thinks that that's how in-game crisis should be. Like, I agree with you. I totally agree with you. I hate the way that the in-game crisis is programmed. That's why I... In my campaigns, in my own time, I usually turn Endgame Crisis off. Because, like, I like a challenge, but like you said, it's immersion breaking. In order to have a fun campaign, there's more than one element that needs to be, um, like, achieved. It can't just be, oh, this campaign is challenging, therefore it's fun. Now, there's got to be a lot of other things. Things like, um, the AI has to feel like it's actually playing the game. And Endgame Crisis sort of breaks that because they no longer really play the game. They're just like, fuck the player, which is annoying. Um, it's okay if a faction is like, fuck the player, if they're actually at war with you and it makes sense. And I think that's what Creative Assembly really needs to try to do, is try to make wars and Endgame Crises that creates challenge that makes sense. Like, it's, like you said, that's not immersion breaking. Because a lot of it is immersion breaking, and that makes it boring. Um, hey Legend, can you still get Harold of Harold Hammerson and Co, or is that gone? Um, he's still in the game. Yeah, he could definitely still in the game, but I won't be able to get him in this campaign. <laughs> Thanks for Super Chat. Do you feel Endgame Crisis were done better in Medieval 2 with factions like Mongols or Shogun 2 with Endgame Alliances? Um, okay, so Shogun 2 is really, like the, the Realm Divide in Shogun 2, is one of the most egregious examples of fuck the player that I've ever seen in a game. Where you capture, what, 16 regions, and then every single faction is just fuck the player. They all ally against you, and they all start... Like, all of your vassals will betray you, and you just can't do diplomacy anymore. Um, so, Shogun 2 is a horrible example of that. 
And I don't think Realm Divide is something that is like a, a good example of a loved mechanic. I, I just don't think it is. I don't like Realm Divide. I, I think it breaks the immersion of the campaign. Um, which is why I try to put off Realm Divide until I'm ready to just finish off the campaign. So usually what I do in my Shogun 2 campaigns is like, I'll get fairly close to Realm Divide, and then I'll just like play it for a bit and just try not to expand and just, you know, build up my provinces. And then when I feel like, yeah, okay, I can probably handle the rest of the world coming at me and I'm, do I'm done with diplomacy, I'll then trigger Realm Divide and then get bored. <laughs> Something like that. I think he meant the promotion of getting Harold Hammerstorm. So, Total War Access. Oh. Oh, shit, I don't know, man. That's... I'm not I'm not Total War Help Desk with that kind of stuff. I have no idea. I, I, would, I would assume that it's... All the content in the game is, is not locked by time. Like, if you think of Grom Brindle, he was... Grom Brindle was originally available if you got an access to the White Dwarf magazine. But Grom Brindle is readily available for everyone now, so... Yeah, that, that didn't even cross my mind. It, it should all be available. Yeah, because you mentioned if there was limited access, legendary heroes or lords. It's like, they add, let's just say... Fuck, who's a legendary hero that I actually am aware of? Let's say Nagash. Let's say Nagash was made as a FLC legendary hero. But in order to do that, you had to subscribe to their YouTube channel. But you only had five days to do it, and if you missed those five days, you could never get access to Nagash. I, I, I think that would be stupid. Creative Assembly wouldn't do that. Alright. Alright, let's start bringing these guys up over here. I don't see any missile units. They do have Huntsmen, though, so we, we could get killed very quickly by... Not being careful. Hmm. Two units of archers up. Archers. Uh, rattling guns. Are Lord and units always static in the bottom left hand? I'm um, Wyman throws that a unit setting. Yeah, it's a setting. I turned I turned it off here. Uh, porthole quality 2D. It just gives better performance because okay, one thing that I've noticed, especially with Warhammer 3, way less than what happened with Warhammer 2, is OBS. Right? This is my recording software, so you can see here I got various settings going on. When I've got OBS up, you know, active in my toolbar here. Every single program runs like shit, including Warhammer 3. Um, and so I need to find processing power wherever I can. And so I get rid of the things like shadows and porthole animations in order to make the game run as smooth as possible. And it, from my point of view right here, it's running pretty smooth. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just OBS. Like if I turn off OBS, I can pretty much run this game on the highest settings just fine. But while I got OBS active, I can't do that. Is Scorch better than Flensing Ruin? Okay, so they're completely different spells. That's direct damage. So you use that against single entities. And that is just a breath attack. So you use that against large groups of infantry. Not the same thing. So I would not use this against large groups of infantry. And I wouldn't use this against single entities. Okay, may have to use... Hang on. The Kicklaw's already taken tons of damage. Let's bring this guy up in the middle here. See if he can do a bit of tanking. Uh, Vel Veldstead became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Is it one of those games where even the current high-end PC is not enough? No, 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 no. Mine is not a current high-end PC. Um, I really... I'm going to get a new computer. It's just that I have had a lot... Like... Let me just explain. Sometimes in your life you'll go through a couple of years and you just won't have any serious expenses. And then all of a sudden, it'll just hit you like a hammer all at once. And it's just like, need to get a new car, I need to get a renovation, need to do this, need to do this, need to do this. And it's just like tons of expenses. And when that happens, your bank account goes, right? And that's what the last 12 months has been for me. Like, it's just been nonstop 
bleeding out my ass money. And that's just meant that I haven't really been able to justify getting um, a new computer yet. That's all. Because if I get a new computer, that means I can't get something else. Something that we actually need. It's not that big of a deal. Because, this, honestly, this computer is fine. If I was to get a new computer, right, it would not improve the channel at all. Not one bit. I don't think it would increase the views that I get. Because that's just not how YouTube works. And it's not how my channel works. And when the time comes, you'll see that I'll still get the exact same number of views, exact same number of bloody concurrent viewers. It's not going to make any difference. That's why it's not a priority. Yeah, this seems to be working to bring this guy out. Still got a bit of magic. This guy can't hold that anywhere near as long as it could claw. At least he's immortal, so it's okay. If he does get killed. Would be bad, but we will be fine. Also, this guy does not have a good trait, so him dying is not that big of a deal. Which I said he can't die anyway. At Legend of War, what do you think of Pharaoh? I haven't played Pharaoh. I don't want to play Pharaoh. I don't even really want to talk about Pharaoh. I'm, look, I'm happy to answer questions related to Total War, but I don't even want to talk about Pharaoh. Um, I think it is just a soulless cash grab made by... Uh, sorry, commissioned by a bunch of soulless money-grubbing executives and developed at so yeah, CA Sophia. And they've got a lot of passion for what they do, but you, you just can't... You can't fix the problems with that engine. And I think that there's no point really even discussing Pharaoh because... It is never going to get the support that Warhammer 3 is, is getting. Never. So if you're sitting there being like, Oh, I can't wait for this Pharaoh DLC. Don't hold your breath. It's not getting anything. That game is dead. You just don't know it yet. It is dead. Do you think an overhaul mod could fix it, especially the battles? Nope. Nope. I think it is dead, and there is nothing that anyone can do to fix it. Or, more importantly, nothing that anyone is willing to do to fix it. It is dead. Isn't Fairy just Total War Troy 2? Or Troy was doing great back then? Okay, so... What were you, is this what you guys want to talk about? It's fine. Fine to talk about it. I just, I just don't like talking about Pharaoh. Anyway, so Troy was a very interesting case. It's an anomaly within the Total War franchise because Troy was very successful and in many ways a good thing for Total War um, because what they did with it, they made a bad game with Troy. Troy's a bad game. It's not a good game, right? But any game that's free, who cares? Who cares if it's a bad game? Just hang on a sec, guys. Got a little bit of a problem here. And you'll have a few people come on and say, But I really like Troy! Okay, that, that's great, that's great. That, there's some people that like even the worst games ever, and it's fine. It doesn't, it doesn't disprove what I said. Because here's what, how, what I usually use to determine whether or not a game is actually good or not, and that's player retention. Troy had some of the worst player retention out of any Total War game ever. Right? 7.5 million people downloaded Troy on the first day. That That's more than any other Total War game, because it was free. And Troy had next to no player base very quickly. Like, there was just... Okay, there we go, we won. There was just, like, nobody playing it over, like, Total War Warhammer. So you've got an expensive game that hardly anyone was playing. 
Sorry, sorry, other way around. Expensive game that everyone was playing, and a completely free game that hardly anyone was playing. And so, Troy's play account dwindled and died pretty damn quickly. Because, you know, and nobody complained about Troy, because it was free. How could you complain about it? It's like, yeah, I don't really like this game, but I got it for free. So I didn't say anything bad about it. Really? I was just like, meh, whatever. Zip. Whatever. And the reason why it was a good business decision for Creative Assembly, if it had just, if they just left it at Troy, is because they got some money from Epic Game Store, I don't know how much, for every download that, um, that people downloaded the game from. So the real loser with Troy, from a business perspective, was actually Epic Games. I think that they made a really bad decision with that. Not my problem. I don't care about Epic Games. Anyway. <laughs> But then, I don't know, maybe the executives at Creative Assembly, I can't I can't make sense of what the decision happened, but apparently they were coming up with a um, a DLC for Troy that extended Egypt. And rather than making it a DLC for Troy and extending the map, they instead turned that DLC into a full game. Or really, what should have been a saga game. But then they advertised it as a full game, even though it wasn't. And it inherited every single problem that Troy had, and then some. And also, Bronze Age as a time period isn't as popular as other time periods. And so, if you're doing the same... And, okay, so the interest in a particular time period for a Total War game increases the longer it hasn't been capitalized on. Which is why right now, Medieval 3 is like what people are clamoring for. And the same thing with... um. Um, so just give me a sec here. I'm gonna sack it first. Same thing with like Empire. The reason why those are the two most requested times for a Total War game is because it's been fucking ages since the uh, since those games first came out. But funnily enough, the Roman time period, which is arguably more popular than those time periods, arguably well, it's about the same at least. Um, Nobody's really clamoring for a Rome 3 because it wasn't really that long since Rome 2. And Rome 2 is still kind of relevant. But so you got two Bronze Age games within quick succession. The interest in the time period goes way down. So if Creative Assembly ever makes Medieval 3, they shouldn't make Medieval 4 two years later. So, you know, in my, in my opinion, when it comes to Troy, it's a series of very bad decisions, not just with any one thing. And you'll have people say, oh, I didn't buy Troy, uh, Pharaoh for this one reason. But you ask a hundred people and they'll all give you a different reason. So you've got to, you've got to look at the forest for the, for all the trees, not just any one. Alright, cool. Have you tried Attila's mod, 1212 AD? No, I, I can't really justify putting any time into that. It seems good, but there's not really much interest in it for YouTube, and I, I'm not really that... Yeah, like... I, I can't justify spending the time on that, really. <laughs> like, every other YouTuber that covers it, doesn't really get a lot of views. And I'm sure it's fun, but... I don't know. I just don't have time these days. You know, there's always so much going on everywhere, and I just I can't cover everything. As much as I may want to. Like, a, like I said, it'd be great. When covering Total War, it's great if you live in like a time vacuum where you can just cover everything. But that's just not the reality of things. You've got to be very careful with what you're going to be spending your time on. And that's the big thing about Pharaoh, right? It's just, it's just a complete waste of time. Like, why would you waste any time on that game? There's just so much better across every single other Total War game. What do you think Warhammer 4K, uh, Warhammer 40K will look like? I have no idea, man. No clue. All I know is that Warhammer 40K is coming, but as for what's going to happen with 40K, absolutely no clue. I don't think we need more of these ones now because we've got our two armies so let's get some more of that going all right so we'll need to protect this a little bit for the next few turns 
But hey, I got all the money to at least build the, the first tier of those buildings. I pushed this up to tier 3 because it was... Well, we had heaps of food. Just let that repair on its own. We've also got this here. Furs don't provide us with anything that we really need to worry about. Like, reducing corruption by minus 2 isn't going to make any difference. that, because that'll give us a good amount of cash. Alright, yep. Alright, let's have a look at where the problems are, because there's usually problems that happen after we have an aggressive turn. Well, looks okay at the moment. Okay, still only got two armies, but that's managing for the time being. Oh yeah, definitely want more of this stuff. So we just got the insurer product quality, so that's good. Chief product officer. <laughs> See, even this, even the Skaven have quality assurance. <laughs> so extra food capacity and food generated, that's really good. All right. Icky Claw's got some levels to do. Alright, this one here, let's have a look at the difference. So damage per second and damage per second. So one's direct damage and one's just a vortex build. But if we have a look at what we've got originally. Yeah, so this one has... The, the top damage per second is extra. But it's direct damage. So maybe that makes it better against single entities? I don't know. Whatever, let's get it. Okay, another point. So we've already got unlimited power. Um, all 28. So we've got plenty of levels to go. Alright, let's get some artillery ammo. That sounds good. Because we got unlimited with the rattling guns. Try to increase our winds of magic capacity. Just think, yeah, it'd be good to channel some more. That would be good. No malice detected. What's your April first experience today? Got trolled by a fly picture in Discord. Oh, okay. So the only thing I saw today that was interesting, that was like an April first uh, fool's joke, was a post on. I don't know. My wife pointed out that Henry Cavill has been cast as Vegeta for a live action Dragon Ball Z movie slash TV show. <laughs> it's not happening. Mm, yeah, I get that. Alright, so we've almost got another uh, another 120 food for pushing up Karasa Karak if we really want to. Skarsnik's defeat trait is the best defeat trait for Skaven because of the ambush success chance. So bloody good. I'm sure Azag will want peace now. Yes, He's got four grand for us. Will feed you this treacherous meat. So what I'm thinking is taking this payment here and sending Vectik up into Averland. Because, yeah, most of this stuff over here, they're probably... Oh, he'll declare war on us again at some point. Because, yeah, I can just get a whole bunch of money. But that being said, Karazza Karak would be good to get. Maybe I should get the payment from on him once I've grabbed that. Yeah, let's grab Karaza Karak and then peace out with him. Alright, I've got some warp fuel. Let's get a Doom Rocket. Give me two, give me two. Broom, broom, ah, piss! Zap, zap. 
<laughs> Imminent rebellion. Oh, it pushed us down here. Oh, damn. Um, oh, that was bad. <laughs> uh, imminent rebellion. That's fine. I just need to recruit a lord here. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay, moving on. Great. Yeah. It cools. Total Warfare is so bad no one streams it on Twitch. Well, you gotta keep in mind that that Total Warfare does have a fan base. It's just really small. But if you're being a stream if you if you're like a streamer and you want to be successful, it doesn't really make sense to stream unpopular games. That's all it really comes down to, especially unpopular games from a big franchise. So yeah, if you're if you're a streamer, it makes way more sense to stream the most popular Total War game, even if you don't like it, that being Total War 3, than opposed to War uh, the Pharaoh, even if you do like it. It's just, you know, you're not going to be as successful on Twitch if you stream unpopular games. That's, that's all it comes down to. Will you ever play the Lord of the Ring mod from Medieval 2 again, or is that another mod you'd rather not spend time on? I saw old campaigns of it on YouTube channel. Yeah, and all of those campaigns didn't perform very well. So, it just it's, there's no incentive for me to go to, to them and play them. There's no incentive. I don't have any personal desire to go play them. Because I, I find that I have less free time now than I did, say, 10 years ago. Because, obviously, got more responsibilities, which is what happens over time. Uh, I just, uh, I don't have time to go and play every mod in existence, even if it's amazing. Can you even attack their rebellion at Barak Bar? I'm not sure. No blame. Fuck. This way, way. <laughs> okay, well, shit. The thing is, that rebellion can't attack us either. It has to go all the way. Uh, how the what the what the fuck? Yeah, that's annoying. Right, here's what we do. Here's what we do. Stand here. In the hope that they attack. Oh god, what are they gonna do? You might just need to stay here. Okay, actually, you know what? If we're going to do this, we're not going to be ambushing. You just go away for a little bit. We're going to need a spellcaster. Alright, that changes things. I need to prepare a little bit differently. Alright, I need to get one of my spellcaster lords instead. So a warlock engineer would be best. That way we've got a chance for... Yeah, yeah, get you. And we're going to need... Because it'll be a little while before they actually attack us. Skaven Slave Sling is a, probably not the best call. Uh, my options here are not great. Hang on a second. Not likely. You know, it would be really good. Warlock, Master of Scrap. One or two warp fire throwers can actually work really well in conjunction with our garrison. Yeah, and they'll probably give us the time that we need to recruit that. Hmm. Okay, we'll just uh, we'll wait and see how that plays out. Oh, I could get um, Vectic to go and sort it out, but honestly, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. That rebellion is not going to attack Varenka Hills. 
He's and we dead. saw that Scrag went down this way. If I go into ambush stance, we might be able to catch him coming up through this way. But I'd much rather get my Windsor magic back, so let's just do this. I, I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, I'll be able to reach there from here. Why wasn't Troy a good game, in your opinion? Lots of little reasons. Um, it really just came down to this. I didn't play Troy very much. Did you play Troy a lot? How, much, how many hours did you put into Troy? I didn't put much into them at, at all. I didn't find the game to be engaging. Where am I just didn't think it was good. I don't really want to get into a debate about a dead game, about what does or doesn't make it good, especially considering, who cares? The game's dead, it's over. Alright, do I want to get Steingart? Probably should attack Karak here. They act as a bit of a pimple in our territory here. I think I'll just capture Steingart at tier 1. A little bit worried that I'm going to walk away from Fyldorf and they're bloody going to attack it. Ooh, what are you doing? These guys are friendly with me. Sort of. More warpstone. Now, now. <laughs> Which kill device do you use? Hmm? Alright, that seems to be all I can do this turn here. Do you ever go deeper into diplomacy? It makes me... Sorry, it helps me sometimes on Legendary, gaining sometimes thousands for a war I don't care about, or gaining allies, making enemies. Yeah, sometimes. I mean, that's how we end up at war with Zafbar. Sometimes. Although sometimes it has a way of uh, biting me in the arse. So I, uh, we'll see how we go with some of that. So the main reason I go with the dominating scheme is for the food. So you get like 15 food for doing that across that time. Um, I could save a bit of money on those guys. Alright, that'll also help with Skaven Blight, which we are growing naturally. So that'll make it a little bit cheaper. Yeah, save about 200 on each of those. So that's good. What else have we got here? Lord Recruit ranks awesome, but not crucial right this very second. Extra ammunition for Plague Claw Catapults, awesome. Ah, I know. A little bit damaged, but should be fine. Let's do the quest battle. I should have done it at the beginning of the turn. Because, yeah, i got plenty of room for food now. Are you planning on streaming any millennia? Uh, no plans at the stage, but we'll see. I usually don't plan anything in advance when it comes to streams. Because stream... The way I do streaming now is... I don't, I don't plan anything. I usually decide whether or not I'm going to stream like 20 minutes before I actually stream. Because it's no longer my full-time job. It is just like a, a thing that I sometimes do if I feel like it. And... Streaming millennia is something that I would have to prepare for. Otherwise, it would be a shit stream that would dam damage the channel. See, the reason why that video did so well is because that was a lot of preparation went into that. Uh, Maxim Lozak, 
Became a member for 22 months. Cheers, Legend. More Warpstone for Ikit. Yes, yes. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Ikit has the biggest brain of all rats. Hmm. Hatched a simple, masterful scheme. Yes, yes. First, gather the fallen Warpstone. All the warp stone. Second, make all these stinking reptiles die, die. Murder, death, kill devices. Agree. Agree. All right. I know that enemy reinforcements are going to come from over here. So what we need to do is move into a position where we're not immediately going to get fucked up. Cause yeah, I have fought this quest battle before. Dodged it. Oh, good for them. Oh no, they're walking into it a little bit. Knowing my luck, they're gonna time this reinforcement, which will probably come in more over here. I'm not sure. Right when these guys are about to arrive. So far, so good. Oof, they are going wide around over here. so good I think Little bit of damage. I'm surprised the reinforcements haven't come in yet. I 
Okay, this would be about the time they'll start coming in. Let's get ready for that. Maybe you gotta defeat this army before the other one will show up. It has been a while since I've done this. Turn around here. Enemy reinforcements approaching where? Uh, they must have changed that. That's way easier. I could have sworn they come in from the other way. That's weird. Warpstone magic. Chase. What's the mortis effect uh, Ick it has? The warpstone armor. Scatter. It's been pretty useful. Oh, against Temple Guard, this isn't going to do much. But against that one, it does. What are you doing there? I thought I told them to come around this way. Weirdos? How much would Chant need to pay you? For you to do a cosplay ikit and speak, speak in Skaven voice for the whole stream. Uh, I don't know, uh, $10,000, how does that sound? <laughs> uh, let him be reasonable. Nah, I don't have to be reasonable. Basically, I don't want to do that. Typically speaking, if your request starts with how much does chat need to pay me, the answer will be a fuckload of money. Because the way I'm running things at the moment is that I'm really not trying to over monetize my audience. I'm really trying not to. And so if you... I just want to focus on enjoying the game. That's all I want to focus on. And everything else, like silly shit like that, I don't want to do it. But I'll do it for a price. But it's a, it's a, it's a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot. Because I don't care if you if you don't want me to do it. My my philosophy is if someone's gonna make you do something that you don't want to do that you don't need to do, you better be get fucking paid for it. Otherwise, why would you do it? Wouldn't it be hilarious if someone actually donated 10k? Yeah, don't get me wrong, if, you, if someone donated $10,000, I'll do it. I'll do it for sure. Uh, I, I doubt anyone will do it. That'd be the worst $10,000 that that person ever spent. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it'd be like this. If that ever happened, it'd be like... Yeah, oh man, i tell you what, I hated every moment of doing that. But, hey, 10 grand. That's not bad. Cool. Someone donate 10k to Zimbabwe dollars? No, 10,000 American. There you go. Hey, I started a campaign with Clan Angrand, and it's such a clusterfuck. Clan Scryer, Pirates of Sartosa, Disciples of the Moor, Exiles of Corn, the Bloody Hands, all declared war on me. They walked near my territory, and I didn't try to meet them. Is that normal occurrence, or is it kind of fun, though? It is kind of fun, though. Um, it's pretty normal. 
Does the influence cost for the High Elves Court intrigue have a cap, or does it keep increasing indefinitely? It keeps increasing indefinitely, but it resets after 10 turns. Have you tried Helldivers 2? Have a nice day. I haven't yet. That's another thing that people are suggesting that I give it a shot. I would like to give it a shot. It's not really my type of game, but... Everyone's saying you should give it, I should give it a go. So I don't know. I'll think about it. Uh, I don't really need to get replenishment. Two foods, not much. 800 money. Yeah, I can use more. To be honest, Ash would be the best for that gig. Yeah, and you know what? I would prefer it if you gave her 10 grand to, to do that. I'd actually prefer that. Support the, small, uh, the smaller streamer, not the washed up, stagnant, entrenched streamer. <laughs> cool. Alright, so we got... What did we have in his weapon beforehand? Had to be one of these. Whatever, okay, so we need to swap out his armor now for the iron frame. This will give us reduced construction costs. Okay, let's test this out. Let's test it out. Master All right, have a look at this building here. It cost me 2,140. So we'll find out right now if Where this is I global this? or local. Global. <laughs> nice! It's a global bonus to construction cost reduction. Nice! Man, Ikaclaw. You just... I mean, it's 10%. 10%. It's, that's not... That's, that, over the course of a campaign, that's a lot of money. Alright, now he doesn't have the Warpstone armor anymore, which I'm not sure where I want to hand that over. Maybe give that to you for now. I've got Trickster's Helm. Um, Brass Cleaver is useless to us. I actually think it'll be good. It's kind of weird how these spellcasters don't get a um, enchanted slot. So not enchanted, arcane slot. Um, enchant, uh, no, weapon. I guess I could give you a Tormentor Sword, but I usually put these guys up front, so I'll think about it. Okay, a fair bit of extra Winds of Magic generation. Um, maximum Winds of Magic we can get. Have you tried Dyson Sphere Program? You can say it's Factorio, but in space, but it's combat now. That is a game that I do really want to try one day. Uh, it's just, again, a case of time. Alright, so that's good. What did I just finish researching? There's always more besides. That'll help us with replenishment rate. That's very good. Some, oh man, the Skaven tech tree is so friggin' good. Yeah, get the replenishment. It only takes two turns, so that's not a big deal. Okay. Alright, I got a little bit more money to spend. Let's see, what do we got? Hmm, where should we spend the money? Probably best to spend it in regions that are pretty safe. Okay, hang on. If I upgrade this, this will increase my capacity for Plague Priests. Yeah. More food. Good. This area seems fairly safe now, so we can upgrade it, I think. A bit. Still put walls everywhere, because it does provide us with money. Pretty good money, actually. 
Yeah. All right, and any diplomacy? Okay, Barrow Legion wants a non-aggression pact, probably because they're not feeling My so hot. Are restless. This had better be important for your sake. Yeah, I wouldn't trust them, but yes. we don't need to be at war with everyone. The more. Golden Order now wants peace. Now that we've brought them down to one region. So what I was thinking is that we could peace out with them and go finish off Karak here and then come back over there and sort them out later. Because Karak here and can't be left there. And I doubt that these greenskins are going to finish the job. We could also go and take out Wissenland. They can't be trusted. No one can be trusted, including me. Uh, and plus, we could use this as an opportunity to get a little bit of money out of them. Not the heaps. Bright Order are seeking targets for their initiates to practice on. And that gives them time to build some armies up, which just means more food for me. So, all right, I'll give you peace. How about that? It calls. Any reason for not abandoning Skaven Blight and recolonizing it back to tier 5? Okay, that's a great question. People ask that all the time, though. Um, I've already invested quite a lot of money into Skaven Blight. Abandoning it means that you lose all that money. And also, yeah, I could push it to tier 5, but then I wouldn't be able to push other settlements to tier 5. It's a pretty safe region. I'll just grow it naturally. Do we do we really need to rush these buildings here? Because here's here's the big problem. Even if I got it to tier 5, I wouldn't have the money to construct this stuff. So if I had shitloads of food and shitloads of money, then yeah, I'd go ahead and do it. But that's not the case. And so it's not going to strengthen us. It will actually weaken us by doing that. Yep, that looks good. And let's move on to the next turn. Let's try to get a confederation with someone. Who should we go for? Clan Moors and Mulder are fairly close. Let me just see. Oh, they're not going to show up on this. Um, still got money, actually. Are there any more hero capacities? We got access to chieftains now. But I like to get disciplined, so it's not that much. I'm going to recruit and disband. I want to get a bunch of disciplined ones. I'm sure I've got some saved up, but I'm not in any rush to do that. I like to build the chieftain stack. I like that one. Um, I'm a little bit skeptical about building there just because the wood elves will strike that place first. And if I build defenses there, it won't help. I won't be able to beat it. Uh, Riff Raffa. I like to build up the major settlements first. The minor settlements are harder to defend. Okay, there's, there's a good one. So building that so we get some more food from it. That would be good. Uh, I usually don't build resource buildings in major settlements. just because we've got so many buildings. And resources is not important to the Skaven. Anyway, there goes the money. Let's move on. Saving Private Skrulk. Skrulk can be revived in Warhammer 3. It's okay if he gets wiped out. So yeah, in Warhammer 2, Skrulk was one of the... Actually, most Skaven couldn't be revived, but Skrull couldn't be revived, and he almost always died really quickly. In Warhammer 2, sorry, in Warhammer, oh my god, in Warhammer 2, he died really quickly. In Warhammer 3, he tends to survive, and he can be revived if he does get wiped out. Okay, so there goes my stupid alliance that I never wanted. I just did it for money. Do you think we'll get a new law with Thrones? And if so, will it be for Nurgle, right? I think we will get a new Law of Magic because they said that what we ended up with with Shadows of Change is going to be the standard. So that means there'll be one more Law of Magic. For Nurgle, um, what what could they get? I don't know what Laws of Magic is left to produce. Um, maybe they'll introduce a Law of Magic for the Dwarfs. The Law of being short and, and lame. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's going to be it. What about... Yeah, I don't know. What what magic, lore of magic, could they do? Even for Nurgle. Lore, lore, lore of... Lore of stinky farts? I don't know. Uh, Haram, Haram Boy 1 subscribed at tier 1. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Two months. Law of costs are up. Don't know. That's good. I have 
no time for this. For horn rat. Good. Winds of magic over here is really good. Yeah, he's still pretty desperate for peace. So I want to push Karaza Karak up to tier five. Stein guy, just leave that at tier one. Might have a revolt here, maybe. I'm special. I. Uh, I'd much. Rather, I don't want to fight fucking sieges. Yeah, just fucking go up this way. Won't get any replenishment, but we'll get. Oh, I should have stayed in the region actually. Too late. Uh, Shade Slinger did a five dollars super chat. Why do people keep asking you how to play Skaven when you have so many videos explaining it? Lore of grudges for dwarf magic. Mm, that's a good idea. Um, I don't know. You gotta ask them. I look. I, you, I don't know why people ask me questions. I'm not omniscient. <laughs> Is this a no defeat stream? Okay, so it depends on how you want to argue it. Have I really suffered a defeat in this campaign? Not really. Has the game tracked some defeats? Yeah, I think one. But it wasn't a real defeat, right? Yeah, I've suffered one defeat. But what was that defeat? It was a trap for Aranessa. I used a minor settlement as a trap, and she fell for it, and I crushed her. Is that really a defeat? It was a tactical defeat, but a strategic victory, and that's what Skaven is all about. Tactical defeats that are strategic victories, and so doing no defeat as Skaven feels off-brand. Which is why I don't like doing them. Alright, yeah, we definitely want to get that one going for Lord Recruit rank. Really important. Okay, and we need to do Karaz a Crack. Do this. I should be able to auto it because they've only got a few units in there. Imagine being able to auto as well Karaz a Karak. That is awesome. Tim did a five pound super chat. Cheers for the millennia review. Loving the game so far. Do you know if there is any way to easily see what is contributing to my chaos growth? Ah. Yes. Okay. It was a little bit confusing at. Oh, there's not much money here. A little bit confusing at first, but I'll tell you how it works. If you cause any chaos growth, it stays that way, right? In order to reduce chaos growth, you need to have a chaos event happen. After a chaos event, so let's just say your chaos growth is increasing by 10, right? It'll keep going by 10 until you add more multipliers to it, or you have a revolt or whatever the event shows up with it. Then after that event happens, it takes whatever number it was growing by, in this case 10, and then takes off 70%. So then you have plus 3, and then plus 3 until the next Chaos event, at which point it takes off 70%. So at that point it would be like 1. And so it keeps going until another Chaos event, and at which point it would probably wipe it out entirely, you'd be at 0. Later down the track you will have um, like cultural revolutions that you can do, that can completely wipe out all of your Chaos. And also later on in the campaign, Chaos is not that big of a deal since you just use money to make it go away. And you, you just have fuckloads of it, at least if you're me. So the best advice I could give with Chaos is don't let it occur at all until at least the fourth age. Because there's really no reason for it to. So just keep your public order under control. Have them, then. Hunt out uh, Mr. Maduce. Mad Moose, subscribed with Prime. They're subscribed for two months, going on a one-month shrink. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Let's go, Cheese God. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Okay, we got Karazza Karak. Ooh, we get ten slots here. I wasn't expecting that. Usually only the race holder gets the ten slots. That's interesting. Maybe, maybe Skaven just get it because they're awesome. I don't know. All right, because they've got so many slots, I don't see any reason why we can't get gemstones here. I mean, I got no one to trade them to, but whatever. All right, and then let's peace out with these guys because they'll actually keep our Skaven corruption down so that we can keep this as long as possible. You are me fit only for butchery. Hmm. It's 
not a great deal. But yeah, I don't really want to push in at this way for a minor settlement. Let me just check with Skarsnick. What is he doing? I haven't met him yet, technically. That's weird. Um... Oh, I know. Let me try this. Let me see if I can get them to go to war with ogres. Welcome, stranger. Start talking. No. Uh. Yeah. Should cook it yeah, I don't know. Oh God, mouth. Stewed. Because I wanted to bring Vectique up here. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna get out of this war. Thanks for the money. Because, yeah, we need cash in order to build the stuff that we need. Uh, how are things going with Scarbrand? Do you like that he declared war on me? It's not that strong. Seems kind of unlikely. Could happen, because his army's right there. Myrmidons is defended, so... Should be okay. Should be okay. Alright, Karaz Crack, what are some other things we need to do here? We need to get public order, we need to get this going, we need... This one... Oh yeah, just out of money. There's another building that we can construct up here. In this area, I think it's this one here. Yeah, we can reduce the construction cost. 3% faction-wide. So if you get enough of those, you can make it free faction-wide. No construction costs. However, you'll be consuming food. And honestly, I think food is more important. It does give us a little bit of money as well. Yeah. Why do you want to keep corruption down? Okay, when playing as Skaven, low corruption means food generated and extra control. High corruption... Another one. High corruption means lack of control, no food, and you get menace belows. So I don't really need menace belows in areas where I'm not fighting, but I'd much I'd really love to get passive food in public order. Uh, actually go with this one first. Good. No money this turn. Uh, let's see if there's any more diplomacy to do. Yeah, there is. There's Bone Rattlers want a non aggression pact. They're pretty big. They got a lot of wars going on. And I'm kind of willing to join a lot of them. Because going up north will help us to encounter Throt. Alright, let's be friends. Let's be kind of friends. Can't trust them. But let's, let's be good Skaven buddies. <laughs> if I see him, I'll screw him over. Doesn't that make resource buildings a lot more valuable? Um, not really, because... Like, if you have a look at the overall Skaven corruption, it's really hard to offset it. So all this does is slow it down by the smallest degree. Ultimately, it's it's not really worth leaning into keeping the corruption down yourself. You need other factions to kind of help you do it, because otherwise, like every single one of these buildings causes Skaven corruption. I'm not gonna just not build them. So eh, it just depends on how you want to play, but it's not that big of a deal. Building the resource building. Okay, moving on. Do you think there should be Chaos End Time Crisis? Yeah, probably. Uh, Scapasaurus Rex, subscribe with Prime. They're subscribed for six months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Six months. That means you were subscribed with Prime back in, like, 2018 or something. Because I haven't been on Twitch for two months yet. 
Uh, what do you think... Sorry, when do you think we'll start getting official news for Thrones of Delay? Tomorrow. I think we'll start hearing about tomorrow. Okay. 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 So they'll probably swing around over here. Okay. Eh, whatever. It's crazy how you're not at war with anyone. Well, I've definitely I've been fighting constantly. It's just like beat everyone. <laughs> May I send you an Age of Charlemagne SYDC, and could you please save it? Um, I'm probably not gonna look at it. Sorry, it's just I really don't think that there's much demand for that. Ooh, this is good, because we could yeah, not ambush this, this and draw them want? out, just like we did in that other battle. Engineer of right, speak to their ah, enemy. They royally screwed up by doing that, because I don't want to fight a siege. Shade Slinger did a $2 super chat. We feast on treachery and lies. Yes, yes, like CA. Fair enough. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate you. So yeah, I don't want to ambush him because I don't want a lightning strike him. I want him to come out and fight. Can auto resolve it? Nah, wipes out my heroes. Let's have a look at the map. That's really important. Usually the mountainous maps are pretty good. Um, we'll have time to get things set up, so it should be fine. Any inkling of playing 3k again, just for fun? I kind of would like to just play 3k again in my own time. Maybe do a records campaign one. Uh, I'm definitely thinking about giving it a shot. Did you hear that Paradox has decided to revive Imperator Rome? Wow, that is... Let me have a look at that. Hmm. Okay, well... Wow. Um, I'm impressed with that. Could you imagine if Creative Assembly did the same thing, but for Three Kingdoms? April Fool's joke on Reddit? Ah, you got me. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Mr. Joff... 95 today, 50 NOK Super Chat. I remember you getting the ranged hero from that Chaos Dwarf in your scale, in your Skaven army once. Can you remind me how you did it, that? I don't think I did it. That must have been like a saving disaster battle. Somebody else did it. I can't remember that. Thanks for Super Chat, but yeah, I don't remember that at all. all right, they're coming in from ages away. This map actually kind of sucks a bit. I think the best position is right over here. Nice flat terrain. We got plenty of time to get over there though. And dwarves are slow, so what are they going to do about it? Get you to sort that out. You could... Actually, get these guys to try to sort it out. No rush. Yeah, they've definitely made the right call to sit in front of these trees. I'm going to have a hard time shooting them. Good thing I got unlimited ammo. Effects got turned off because the game crashed yesterday and forgot my save uh, settings. Oh, 
so satisfying. <laughs> yeah, he routed. Alright, let's get organized. I love how the Skaven music just feels so evil. It's like, hey, hey, we're the bad guys and we love it. <laughs> That's just so on theme with Skaven. It's just like, yeah, we're bad, but we know it. We are so good at being bad. I don't have the Mortis Engine effect anymore. Twanten Ho did a 6 euro super chat. Don't know what is holding back CA from reviving Three Kingdoms. Like, there's a significant lack of a modern good historical Total War game. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Like, a lot of what Creative Assembly does, I, does, I don't really understand. Uh, it's not really my job to understand what they do, though. Um, you know, it just, it is what it is. It is what it is. Do you, do you know what's funny? Is that they cancelled Three Kingdoms because they wanted to make more money. So they wanted to make a second Three Kingdoms, but they ended up cancelling that. So they probably lost a lot of money on whatever development they did on that. And then they developed a bunch of games that equally didn't sell. I, I would be very surprised if any of Troy or Pharaoh's DLC sold anywhere near as well as even eight princes so it's just pretty it's like a case of irony in attempting to try to make more money they made significantly less so this is one worth overcasting basically like the skaven version of wind of death There again. No, no, they're just getting organized before they charge in. They weren't broken. They're just not rushing at us. Nuke? Don't need to. Easy battle. I only, I only really use nukes when I feel like we're in a tough situation, and we are really not in a tough situation. We've got them. Like, they, we're actually outnumbered, but I'm not worried in the slightest. Even the music is like, yeah, you got this. Because most of their stuff is slow trash. Skaven are really good against dwarfs. Really bloody good. I want to use Storm Demon, but you've got to get a good line of sight so I can't be on a hill. Unless I'm shooting down the hill. Shooting to trees, are we? Oh no, that did a lot of damage. Pretty good. Alright, you guys are up. 
pestilent blessings. Righteous vengeance. Creaky Shriek. Warlock Engineer. Scabber Scurry. That is probably going to hit a tree. Yeah, this terrain seems fine. As long as their line of sight's not obstructed, that's the most important thing. Oh damn, that's actually gonna hit us. Shit, that's a lot of friendly fire. God damn it. Careful. Just let it happen. Alright, we need to make sure that we run down this guy here. I don't want him involved in the next fight. I'll just use Flensing Ruin. That'll finish him off. I think that went pretty well. I was hoping for no casualties, but they used a fireball on us. Do you feel like the Hag's Vortex spell might be one of the less effective ones? I don't know, sorry. Lord of Destiny 30 is raiding with a party of two. Thanks dude, appreciate the raid. That's so satisfying to watch. Skaven really are a thing of beauty? Yep. Uh, how would a human player on the dwarf side have countered you? Um, I don't think it was possible for them to win. Um, okay, if I was the dwarfs in that situation, and the other player was doing exactly this, what would I do? Um, what would I do? Yeah, okay, I would try to go, like, on the approach, I would try to go as wide as I possibly could, and make sure all of my forces were arriving at the same time. Uh, but I don't think that that was winnable for them. I don't think you... Maybe you don't realize how badly outmatched they were. We, we had them completely hard countered. Um, yeah. 
I don't know what they could have done. What raid? How could you know? It was on um, Twitch. Lord of Destiny says no problem. Thanks, dude. Mine is somewhere in the back. No, they didn't get to us. It's all good. Try to waste the artillery ammo. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. You still didn't try RimWorld? No, just don't have time, man. I don't have time. Like, that's the kind of game that you dedicate like a thousand hours to. I don't have time for that. Don't get me wrong. I want to play RimWorld. I really do. I just don't have time. Um, I didn't take any damage from once again. So that was a good call there. And we got a... 20 food out of it as well, which helps pay for this. And this should now be auto resolve all because nobody wants to watch me fight another fucking siege. Good. And. Yes, that's the first. Ooh. I'll be fine. <laughs> I'll be fine. I gotta get rid of them. Figure something out. Alright. That's right, because I'm gonna need to get um, Ikaclaw yes, over to here to deal with these guys up this way. I need to recruit a hero to go and scout up this way for when they're going to come. I'll see if I can get Morgan to join war against them. He doesn't like us much. I can pay him. Probably a lot of money. That's not bad. Um, Chaotic Cubism did a two pound super chat. Hey Legion, always great to see you stream. Thanks, dude. Good to see you as well. Hmm. Nothing else I can do to negotiate with him. That's most of the money I made from from that other battle. Because he's just been sitting around here doing nothing. And if if they come over here and defeat him, that's pretty good. I don't need his defeat trait. Honestly, I reckon that could be really good for me in the long run. Alright, you go do that. It's a lot of money, but I think I'll, that'll pay dividends over time. Alright. Finished a very hard, very hard Luther Harkon campaign yesterday. What a slog. Any ideas on what could be done to that campaign to bust up even the slightest bit? No. No clue, sorry. Base miscast chance plus five. Oh, right, right, right. I said because of Warpstone tokens. Alright. Yep. Get Ass Blaster. Alright, Vectique, where are we sending you now? So we're done in this area for the time being. Alright, we got this ready to go. Warlock, Master of Oh, what? Now you can fucking ambush it. What's our chance of success? 65%. The hell? Why was the other guy not at? Maybe I needed that extra 10% movement speed. Yeah, we'll see we go. Ambush. Might work. 65%. Nice. Well, that should help out our food, you know, nowhere near as much as I thought. Um, well, at least it gave him loads of experience.
machines and, and sorcery. Warpstone. You got any bell polishers available for you? No, they're all being used. We've got a couple of helpit attendants not being used, though. Alright, you go back to doing nothing. I know we need to get like a level 15 Warlock Engineer to upgrade the um, uh, the, the, the Forbidden Workshop. Rolling yeah. Doom. But I'm not in any rush to do that right away. It's just not... Doom it's not... Comes from the it's, it's fine. Alright, so we need to put... Let's see. I think oh, both of these guys already have one. Help it attendant. Yep. Yep. And he definitely has one. Yep. Power. We don't need that. Anything else here that might be good? Yeah, I want to get another one of those. That's so. That's a really good banner. Yeah. All right. Why not? Yeah. That's crap. Um, hmm. Have to recruit new lords to put the help and attendance on them because it would be good to get faster research. Let's just see what's available. So we're recruiting lords at rank 2 at the moment. Oh, there's a new cunning one here. That could be good. Let's put it here. Master Engineer. No malice detected. Okay, cool. Bit of extra research rate. That brings us to 228%. Alright. So numbers beyond counting will reduce upkeep costs for Skaven Slaves. I don't have any of those at the moment. May get some more in emergency situations. But that's not a high priority. Getting towards murdered dissenters is good. Because Carve Undertitles is also really good. There's also Eyes Everywhere. Really good. A lot of the tech tree is freaking good. But we need to get quite a lot of this done here if we want to unlock these other plans within plans and stuff. That gives us extra food capacity and food. So let's go with harsh production quotas because it's pretty quick to get through these ones here. Alright, and Vectique, what are we doing with you? Go and fight Avraland. How's things going with Skarsnick? What's oh we haven't met him yet. Yeah. Or if we haven't met him, just leave him be. Alright, let's go. Yeah, to Grenstad. Let's do that. Alright. Let's go there in channeling stance. We gotta get some of this magic back. So many disaster battles have been sent in with People playing Skaven and their magic has just been depleted. You gotta really try hard to keep your magic, at least at about 90. Especially if you're using weapon team armies. That being said, Avaland. My hand. Oh, uh, it's a good practice to do to get get them into magic. You'll be fine. We don't need to get there quickly. Alright, then over here, let's get the walls built. That can stay for now. This one, and that one. Actually, get rid of it. Okay. Then over here. Out of money. Okay. Actually, 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 maybe we should hold off on building any of this stuff, because if we get some more food, it'll be a little bit cheaper. You just wait a turn. Yeah, get rid of that. Assuming we even get some food next turn, that is. Swancy. Um. Yeah, I'll just wait. I'll just, I'll just hold on to that money. And we'll spend it next turn. Plenty of things to spend it on. Alright, moving on. Let me just check some diplomacy. Yeah, there we go. When do you expect the 
Todd DLC. Tomorrow, well, I expect it to be announced tomorrow. Worst counter that Skaven army is a map completely full of trees. Yeah, they exist. Yeah, you're very map dependent. Is it like rock, paper, paper, scissors with Skaven, orcs, and dwarfs, or rats are just superior to them? Rats are just superior to all three. There is no rock, paper, scissors in Warhammer 3. Did I finish the Cathay campaign? Um, I played it for a little bit in my own time and got to the point where I confederated all of Cathay and then kind of just uh, went and did something else. Depends on what you mean by finish it. I didn't didn't like full map complete it. I don't have time for that. I don't have time. Hmm. As I've said before, it's great if you can exist in a vacuum, but I just don't. All right, there's going to be a revolt over here, so it's actually pretty good timing. We'll come over here and deal with this revolt. And then continue onwards. So you just come over here. Yep, there'll still be a revolt there. I don't want to prevent the revolt. Because... that'll This will get rid of all the instability. Oh yeah, I've been taxing it the whole time. That's fine, whatever. Hey, we got a skull. That's really... Where did we get that from? Alright, so yeah, we got, that's a, that's a pretty big difference in construction cost, <laughs> an extra 10%, so it's only 10% more expensive than normal. Uh, Matt D did a $5 super chat, started my Ica campaign long after a long absence, can you no longer do the abandoned scaver blight and reoccupy his tier 3 settlement trick anymore? Uh, yeah, you can do that. Yeah. You, okay, okay, you can't do that if it's, if you don't have any territory, you have to occupy it one other settlement, if you want to do that. So yeah, a lot of people said, it's a long prevailing myth. Um, the people that are trying to recolonize it and find that they can't push settlements up, it's because they abandon it on turn one and they don't occupy Tabaro. You have to occupy Tabaro, then abandon Skaven Blight, which you can do on turn one, and then reoccupy Skaven Blight. But if you don't have any territory left, the game won't tell, tell you to, to level up the settlement. But yeah, you can definitely still do it. I don't recommend doing that, by the way. I don't think it's a good strat. And I never have thought that Tier 3 Skaven Blight is good to do. Which is why I haven't done it. But you know, you do whatever you want. If you want to do it, don't let me stop you. Alright, I was supposed to get a hero. Because we need someone to scout. I forgot to do that, didn't I? Just use this, yeah, use this one here to go and scout for us. Engineer of Scryer. To Under Empire. Go, go. So what I'm thinking if we're gonna fight Carcassonne, I don't want to go through Atholoran. I might be able to go to Skaven Blight and just jump over here. Storm Demon. Cause that way I don't draw the attention of Atholoran. However, that will make what I've done over here kinda pointless. Red mage. Yeah, you have to stay there. Alright, cool. Our income's increased a fair bit. I could recruit another army if I really want to. Yeah, I don't know. Give it a bit more time. We're doing just fine with two. There's still so much construction that needs to be done. Yep, that's good. 
Yeah, this is an area that's pretty unsafe, so let's get that going. I'll be disbanding this guy at some point. Oh, how dare they? This fucking happens all the time. There's a bloody uh, cunning Eshen sorcerer. Yuck, get rid of that. <laughs> Get rid of him. Yeah. It's all good. Alright, what else is going on? Eminent Rebellion there, that's fine. Yeah, we've got food issues. But we're working on it. Okay, moving on. Sometimes an optimal way to play is more fun. Absolutely, that is totally fine. Um, but... People don't come to me asking for, Hey Legend, what is the best non-optimal way to play? It doesn't make sense. Like, I ask someone else. <laughs> Why do you want Cunning? It's not that I don't want Cunning, it's that I don't want the Eshin Sorcerer. Now, if an Eshin Sorcerer is in the recruit pool with the trait Cunning, a Plague Priest with Cunning won't show up. Nothing. Hmm. Give me a bit more money. Actually, yeah, let's get a defensive alliance with them. That way, if as uh, Scrag declares war on me, these guys here are going to get destroyed. Only for six turns though. His loyalty is ten, so it's fine. Cool, we got our magic back up. We can see here. Yep. All good. Let's go with the food. Alright, there shouldn't be another revolt there for a while. Yeah, especially if we don't tax it. Yeah, that should actually completely stabilize the public order. Especially if I put this on, but I need food, so... Fuck it. Yeah, alright, just don't worry about that too much. Alright, back into channeling stance, because this area here is depleting magic. We don't want that. And we should still be able to reach Grenstad next turn. That should be their last settlement. No, he's got another settlement somewhere out here. That's fine. I don't anticipate much problem with him. Alright, so this settlement over here. We do want more capacity for them. It's not the best economic building, but that's okay. Ooh. This might work. Warlock, master of Scryer. Ooh, that's pretty iffy. Be gone, else you will suffer dragon blood. Interesting. Okay, whatever. 
our ancestors would lament. <laughs> yeah, come on, let me let me have it. Yes. <laughs> nice. Yum 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 yum. It's not going to be heaps, but it's better than nothing. It was actually, you know what that is? It's good food. So yeah, literally yum 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 yum. I'll take that. Cool. That was good. You yeah, had Chinese takeaway right there. Delivered. Alright. So, yeah. So I don't want to go into Atheloran. I do want to take on them. Oh, you know what I could do? Our army is now strong enough to go and take out... <laughs> um... Smelly Cow. Morga, right? Morga should be making his way over here. He won't see me coming. Yeah. Because I want to occupy all this stuff out here, and he won't let me. We couldn't really find him at the beginning of the campaign, but right now, oh my god, his beastman armies would just fucking die to this. We don't have to worry about how ineffective it's going to be against him personally. Alright, Winds of Magic looks good coming through here. Just force march through. And yeah, just keep this one over here to keep an eye on things. Knows who his boss is. So Vectic still working on the red line there. Um, Aurelio did a 5 hour super chat. Hi Legend, have you played XCOM 2? I'd love to see you play. I actually own XCOM 2, but I've never played it. I bought it for like 10 bucks ages ago, and I just never had time to play it. I probably wouldn't ever cover it on the channel. That would be a mistake. Uh, that only gives us 10 extra gold. I wouldn't bother about that right now. It'd take 200 turns to get a return on investment or something. Yeah. Uh, with the money that we've got, where is it best spent? Akendorf is reasonably safe. It would be good to get more of that going. Uh, yeah, upgrading this so we can get more food passively would be good. Okay, that looks good. Alright, trade. So we just finished high production, sorry, harsh production quotas. That's good. Set examples. Leadership plus three at playing a Skaven. Definitely useful. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's anything more to do this turn. It's mostly just moving around a moment. Okay. So he wants a non aggression pact. He's got tons of territory. I do not like fighting against vampire accounts playing a Skaven. No, sorry, do I. Not like that at all. I would much prefer to do some kind of shenanigans to him later. I am Vlad von Karstein. We could trade with him. That'll be a way for us to increase our income. Because we've got a fair few things to trade. Okay. Yeah, we kind of need to take whatever trade agreements we can get. Don't be picky about it. But I'll definitely try to fuck him around and get him screwed up. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe if I can get an alliance with him, I'll declare war on people on his border. Alright, I got a little bit more money to spend. Yeah, get the public order going there. A revolt here actually... Yeah, it'll be, it probably will happen. Maybe, maybe not. If we build this, it won't. Okay, that's fine. Moving on. Why not? Vampire Count versus Gavin, a bad matchup. It's just that the Vampire Counts tend to bring, like, fuckloads of really low-tier units. 
and lots of bats and flying units, and all of that can be very difficult to deal with. Ambushing the vampire accounts isn't particularly useful either. It's, uh, like, they're not impossible to defeat, but of the various factions that are out there, vampire accounts are fairly resilient against Skaven. I don't care if you sack it, don't you dare blow it up. Earth Duke says, you've been playing a lot more Worm 3 lately. Have they fixed their problems or at least made it a good effort? Um, eh, a bit here and there. Uh, good boy roll. Good boy roll, Raul. Subscribe with Prime. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. And hey, look at that. We're at 1.2 thousand subscribers on Twitch now. Appreciate that, guys. Love when you kill the whole army, then half of it gets revived. Yeah, I hate fighting vampire cats. It's not too bad for Skaven, though, because that just means more food. Sometimes. Should have done this a while ago. Um, yeah, I'll do that now. Now we're going to decide where we want this to go. Definitely not Ulth 1. They'll declare war on us straight away. Going down south actually could be a good call for us. Going towards Lustria could also work for us. That way we'll go meet Skrulk. All right, let's go do that. Maybe I should have waited then. Kill contraptions. All right, how can we get through here quickly? In charge. Yes, he got wiped out. We got to move quick. <laughs> Move quick, take out that herdstone. Uh, let's see. Well, it's going to take me a few turns to get there. See, if I go this way here, I'll be able to cross through there a little bit quicker. Because there's... Yeah, do that. Oh, then again, I'll still end up here. Yeah, go, go via the water. Well, I was hoping to be able to ambush him, but I really don't expect his army to put up much of a fight anyway. Are you at war with Vlad? Yeah. And we've got five turns left before we should declare war. Um, with Grenstad, what should we do with this? Do not waste my time. Master, is it time to kill it? Oh, more. You can underway from Carcassonne from the eye symbol. Eye symbol. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get over to Montenus, not Carcassonne now. I want to take out Morgor. Really? <laughs> eh, whatever you reckon, okay, whatever. Is Skaven weapon team good against Wood Elf super range archers? If you ambush them, yes. If you don't ambush them, no. Do you play Company of Heroes? I played Company of Heroes 1, and that's it. I didn't really like Company of Heroes 2, and I didn't even try Company of Heroes 3. Kind of, kind of not really interested in Relic anymore. It's like, if you make a sequel, you kind of need it to be better than the one that came before it. And they're just like, let's make it worse. I was like, ah, whatever. I just don't care. I got enough to fight with for Total War to worry about Relic.
Need to get this guy here off that mount. Well, it's actually reasonably quick. I can send it around over here. It's a bit of a mortis engine. Might be able to do something. I've also got a Skalm. I should consider giving... Yeah, once he's immortal, I'll give him the Skalm. It's not too far off from that. Good, I am not seeing any issues here. Okay, I am seeing some issues. I don't want them shooting at that one. Not a big deal though, not worth changing their targeting at the moment. around their back there. That'd be good. Must eat warp stone. Yeah, I really need to get off this mount. Makes them a big target. Close victory incoming because they didn't get close. <laughs> no, no need to do that. Oh, yeah, we've also got this. Don't forget about that. Valiant defeat, apparently. Company of Heroes 2 is very good. Well, I didn't like it, so... Whatever. <laughs> it, it doesn't mean it's not good, I just didn't like it. Because here's the thing. Games are subjective, and sometimes popular games doesn't mean that everyone's going to enjoy them. You know? Do you enjoy any of the Wormer 3 Warriors of Chaos Lords, or are they all just lackluster compared to their Monogod counterparts? Uh, I prefer to play as either Bellicor or Archaon and just confederate the the um, champions of Chaos Lords, because they're, in my opinion their campaigns are not as good, because they're unable to confederate. And I don't really care much for their Monogod tech trees at all. But, you know, to each their own. Could set up an undercity here and just leave it be. Yeah, it's part of our continuous territory, so eh, we'll just occupy it tier one. It'll make us food because of the lack of corruption here, so. And, okay, okay, it's fine. Interesting. Pastures. Ooh, yum 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 yum. <laughs> Speak. I will hear you now. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right, Glenn. Let's. Uh, I think I might eat on your ass for a bit. All right. Well, that was good. Uh, the talker is reasonably safe. All right.
Alright, let's do that and build defenses there. Also want to keep checking for more heroes. Want to get some disciplined of these. Just going to take time. Wish they weren't so re expensive to recruit. Okay, at least there isn't the Eshin one there. So now it's possible to... It's possible to get the... Um, cunning ones. Just got to wait for it. Ooh. Oh, wait, it's the Packmaster. Uh, yeah, alright, I'll, I'll uh, use this as a scout. I thought it was a assassin. Packmasters are also preferred disciplined. Okay, now when I've got... I'm pretty sure I've got a cunning assassin in here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. Alright, recruit this one. And use that to scout for, for them. And I'll just keep this one close by as well. Actually, no. This one should really go over to here. Oh, shit. I should have recruited here. I might have another one. Let me just check. Yeah, I do. Okay. Use that to scout for um, Vectik. That way you can go near Ickets. Good. Alright, so we're getting some good scouting going on here. Our income's going up a fair bit, which is nice. Need access to more heroes. What to build? What's going to give us the best return on investment? Not Fort Sol, that's for sure. Go with that. Knows who his boss is. All right, Victic, you're almost done with your red loan. That's good. Okay, and this guy here needs to get off that bloody mount. Saves us a little bit of cash as well, which is nice. Cool. All right, moving on. I think everything's looking pretty tidy there. Got some warp fuel, and we can get another Doom Rocket. Okay, so, come on, give us two. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bastards. Haven't given me two yet. Whatever. Why don't you build your minor settlement walls up to tier three? Um... Minor settlements are not particularly high value. I would do it. It's a case of, I mean, need to put the money where it's going to give us the best return on investment. Now, once you've built the tier two walls, it turns into a minor settlement siege. When you build a tier three wall, it's an expensive building and it only provides you with a slightly increased garrison. It doesn't turn it into a walled settlement. So the basically, upgrading from tier 2 walls to tier 3 walls provides you with the least amount of value. If I had unlimited money, I'd do it, but I don't, so we've got to be careful where we spend it. What will Skaven Blight do? Ooh, the vampires are actually wanting to trade. Okay. Well, I got tradable goods. Do you even have the tech for two rockers? It look like you don't. I definitely do. I got it. I'll show you. Company of Heroes 2 online right now, 5.5k. Company of Hero 3k right now. On Steam. Yep, that's cool. I just don't care about Company of Heroes. Like, I played one. I liked it. Didn't play much of two. Didn't play three no, at all. I have no interest in having a look at it. Not really what I want to play. Don't really even want to discuss Company of Heroes, to be honest. Just a game that I don't play.
Alright, yeah, we want carve under tunnels. I do want murder dissenters as well. All in due time. Monsters at oh yeah, now he wants non-aggression pact. <laughs> I gotta move quick. Which means possibly taking some attrition. Alright, you need to get to Lustria. If you go. You... Go around... Yeah, you just land here as well. If I stay right there, I won't take attrition. And then we'll move in um, channeling stance. Uh, channeling stance. Underway stance. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. So, Grenstat. Who cares? Um... Military pre large army sitting in there. You are not welcome in my court, yet here you are. Friend or foe, mm. we will see. Schwarzhafen. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I don't really want to put myself in a position where I can get attacked. So if I just from here go into the underway stance and jump any jump over to here, I can launch the attack on Schwarzhafen next turn and they can't really do anything about it. Yeah, that's fine. Cool. And you need to make sure that we've got sufficient amount of scouting in this area. Need to see what's going on. Think you leave Bretonia after you eat the cows? Yeah, I think so. That's the logical way to go. Fair bit of ruined dwelling to do right here, but we could just get one lord to sort that out. But yeah, into Bretonia. Seems logical. Yeah. I don't know how much recruiting and disbanding I really want to be doing. Could end up getting quite pricey. Yeah, don't don't worry about that right now. Let's just keep focusing on our economy, keep boosting our income. Because when we've got shitloads of money, then we can recruit and disband, no big deal. There's also a technology down here that gives us re recruit uh, cost reductions for um, heroes. Should be good. Don't upgrade Steingart, it's not safe. Okay, that's good. Need that. Good amount of money in this province, so we can get an extra 10% out of it with this. But the main thing is get to tier 4 so it actually generates food. Uh, Riff Raffa. Yep, let's get that upgraded. It's important to level up our settlements because eventually we're recruiting um, warlords that can increase the income from all of our settlements. Yep. So yeah, looking at this one here. Adds defenses to the settlement. And then this one here. So, actually, that does provide you with warp bomb, so that is good. One warp bomb. But it only provides 10 extra gold and it costs 3,600. So, it's a very expensive upgrade and doesn't provide you with very much defenses. Like Poison Wind Globe, it is, and Skaven Warp Bomb. If I had the money, I'd do it. It's just, it's just a poor return on investment when we're focusing on our economy. You gotta, you know, the more money we have, the more we can build and the more we can recruit. If you keep focusing on shit that isn't going to provide a return on investment, we're not going to get anywhere. Alright. Alright, people are wanting to negotiate with me a fair bit. Alright, Cetra. Okay, more trade agreements means more money. Oh, that's why our income took a big jump, because of the trade agreements. The M. Okay, that's fine. Cool. Yeah, 300 extra or 200 extra, whatever we're making from Kemri. That's better than nothing. And it Riff Raffa. Let's get that going, because because I need money. Moving on. Is there any point recruiting gutter runners when you can just go we weapons teams? Uh, it's entirely up to you. Like gutter runners are a different, a completely different skill set. There are some situations that gutter runners will actually perform better than weapons teams, but most situations can be handled quite well by weapons teams. Like, for example, 
if you get caught in ambush, like if you get ambushed, a we a um, gutter runner army is better. I think he's getting ready to declare war on me again. Genuine question, why don't you use warp lightning cannons? I saw that a couple of times now. Okay, warp lightning cannons are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. They're a tier above the Plague Claw catapults. It really comes down to having a sufficient amount of anti-large and anti-infantry. Now, just because something says anti-infantry doesn't necessarily make it the best anti-infantry. And just because something doesn't say anti-large doesn't mean it isn't anti-large. So in my armies, my anti-large units are the Gisales and the Warp Lot of uh, the... Um, and the rattling guns. Those are my anti-large units. Now, if I get uh, my best anti-infantry units are actually the plague claw catapults. And in my opinion, plague claw catapults are better at anti-infantry than the weapons teams. So what I do is I've got catapults because they can arc their shots. They're cheaper. I can get them earlier. I can replace them a lot easier. And then if I'm going up against a lot of large units, I rely heavily on the Gisales and the Rattling Guns. Now, if you go all anti-large, you can find you might struggle a little bit against infantry. So, it's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. They're not bad units at all, but they do take two turns to recruit. They are higher upkeep costs, just slightly. You know, they're... They're fine. It's just up to you how you want to go about it. You know? I don't believe that hiring variety in an army makes it stronger. Do you not have any saved chieftains? Uh, maybe. I'm not too worried about it. Though. Because I've only got two capacity at the moment. Engineer, I need to hurry if I want to... Oh, wait. It'll be a um, beast herd battle. Oh, look at that jump. Tinker, tinker. Oh, yeah. Bloop. And that's him. Yeah, if he's if he's stuck within here, we should have a really good opportunity to beat him. Storm demons not for cutting trees. Absolute dominion. Cool. Alright, so they yeah, they hate me. Oh, they're at war with uh, Crooked Moon, so maybe that's what they're planning. You are... All right, that's fine. I should have defenses at Karaza Karak. Yeah, I do. Not amazing defenses. Orders heeded. All hail Hornet Rat. Proceed. All right, I need to know what's going on out here. Seek, seek target. I order scary move. Right there. All right, if I strike at the moot from this distance here. I'd much rather go after their army- oh shit. I didn't realize I was almost maxed out with food. I, I've got an aggression with them, don't I? Yeah. God, I'm gaining food really quickly. I don't have enough- Alright, I said I was going to show you this. So if you have a look here, Refined Warp Stone. See how it's got the tick there? It just isn't highlighted, but it's got the tick. It is done. Anything that's got the tick is what I've finished. So you can see here, these four are finished, and these are not. It's just so that it's not... The UI in Warhammer 3 is not as good as it was in Warhammer 2. It's just weird why they do this stuff. Go, go forth and so you just look for the tick, basically. Yeah, I can't do anything with... With uh, two. The doom wheels come. Mm. All right, let's go for the moot because it doesn't look like we're going to get counter attack too hard. We can see that the enemy army is not that strong. Hang on, is this a? It is actually a minor settlement battle, right? Okay, maybe think about that a second. That might actually make the battle easier. The, the council's voice. 
And we'll push this up to tier 3 because I'll have shitloads of food anyway. Alright, let's speak to these oh, vampires. Welcome. Sit by my side. And let us discuss mutually beneficial matters. Okay. We might end up being allies with them at some point if we keep this up. But yeah, I'll take that money. Thank you very much. Alright, we're now at war with Reichland. And I'm going to strike here. No poison when mortars. I'm intrigued. Um, uh, what is this here, dude? <laughs> Alright, that'll be fine. Uh, Moritz11, subscribe with Prime. That's the card for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. What's wrong with maxing out food? Well, you can't get more food if you've got it maxed out. That's all. So we try to try to spend some of it. You should try putting some Doom Wheels in your army. Changes mass changes to mass and collision made them better than flayers, even with large sizes. Um. Short answer: No. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. No menace below. Don't need it. Shouldn't need it. Because we've got the range advantage. They're just going to sit there because it's a minor sentiment battle. And they're just going to take it. If they don't like it, too bad. They can't do anything about it. Alright, Vectik. Go do your Vectikis. Things. <laughs> Why not get warp lightning cannon? streak. Move. Yeah, in this situation here, having a minor settlement defense was actually very detrimental to them. Yeah, they really just program them to just sit at specific points and just sit there. Oh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, kill it. Kill it. Good. Legend, what do you think about rat ogres with Molder? Uh, I don't r really like rat ogres that much. They're, they're okay. There's just so many better units to recruit, so I, I usually don't. But if you like rat ogres, then you can definitely make them work, for sure. But, as I've said so many times before, putting one of, like, every unit type in your army, there's not really much advantage to that. Actually, there's actually no advantage to it whatsoever. So, it, it's entirely up to you how you want to work with that kind of unit. What's the story with Vectik the Unstoppable? Vectik the Unstoppable has never been killed. And he's always pulled off bullshit wins. This is not one of those cases.
Alright, I'm going to move my rattling guns up a little bit because they weren't shooting because they're out of range. So in this sort of siege situation here, it's much better to have Plague Claw Catapults because we can just lob over obstructions. That's something that Warp Lightning Cannons can't do. That's another thing with all of these units here. Right? We've actually got some units that can shoot over obstructions. So variety of the type of weapons that we have is good in this situation. After I just said variety in your army is bad. <laughs> Let's move you up a little bit. Vectig MVP at the moment. Of course. How could he not be? Position. All right, cool. So they're standing still. That's when we're popping on. Oh, but then they decide to move. It's okay. Variety is good if they complement each other, and bad if they just random units that play differently. Exactly. 100%, you know, you understand it. Yeah, if you just put variety for the sake of variety, it's bad. But if variety is actually complement each other, and that's the thing about the, the um, Weapons Team Army. Individually, these units are strong, but they're not invincible. They've got a weakness to it. Um, no, Rattling Guns, they don't have... They don't have the longest range, right? But they've got shitloads of killing power. So anything that gets close range, Rattling Guns wipes them out. Long range, not that much ammunition. So you take out specific targets with them, but they're not good to just wipe out entire armies because you just... Wrap it here. Oh, mortars. Yeah, these guys, not much ammunition. They don't have as much killing power as rattling guns, but they got super long range. These ones here are good for dealing with units that are obstructed due to line of sight. And these ones here, anti-infantry killing power, absolutely no anti-large power. So, overall, you've got all your bases covered. Which is what makes them so good. Then you've got these guys here for your front line, popping down menace belows. You've got these guys here for overall stats for the army, but also eventually. Oh, I really should work on that. Um, howling warp gales for um, flying units. Get all your bases covered. Okay, bring them back in. Do you plan to use an alternate 
weapon team army, i.e. the one with Globideers. I think the workshop has an upgrade to make them acceptable frontline. Um, no, like, there is an upgrade to make them acceptable frontline. It's just, it's still not as good as what I'm currently making here. So you're still getting an inferior product. All right, it's up to you. If you if you like getting those units, that's fine. Um, I, I don't particularly like Globideers that much. Find them a little bit finicky. Tomorrow's blog is going to be called The Future of Warhammer 3. No, they're not going to do that again. No. Why do you think CA has stopped supporting Skaven? Not anything since 2020. Okay. Hang on. Um, Cesaras, subscribe with Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right. You're right in that the Skaven haven't had anything new added to them in four years. Actually, it's less than four years. But might I remind you that Skaven are in really good shape and have been in good shape for a very long time. Now, what's a faction that hasn't had any content added since, like, Warhammer 1? Vampire Counts. What about... What about the Dwarfs? The, I mean, the Dwarfs got a Legendary Lord, but they haven't had any substantial updates in a long time. Do you know what faction hasn't had an update in longer than 2020? The Empire, 2019. That's when they got their, um... Um... Hunter and Beast DLC. What about the... What about Tomb Kings? Tomb Kings hasn't had anything in, since 2018. What about Vampire Coast, 2018? What about Norska, 2017? What about, um... You know, you can sit around here going, why haven't they done this? It's just, there's a lot of factions in the game now, a lot of different races, and I don't think Creative Assembly should be prioritizing on the ones that are, like, in really good shape. They should try to fix up the ones that are in bad shape. Or that haven't really been... That have got lots of content that they could draw from, like the Vampire Counts, and just aren't in the game yet. Bretonia? Yeah, exactly. Well, Bretonia's a free faction, so... Alright. 40 food on this. Yeah, alright. I'll try to defend it as best as I can. Because it's a good settlement for us. So, what we'll need here is we'll definitely want defenses straight away, and we'll need the food generated straight away. If I put this in here, that'll give us access to a Plague Priest to help defend it, if it comes under attack. Mm, I'd just rather recruit a Lord. Uh, let's see. That's all it really- oh, hang on. Since this doesn't have a major settlement, it does need a public order building, or else it'll be in a state of constant revolt. Alright, if we're going to go meet with Pestilence, we should probably get Envoy of the Council, or else they'll take one look at us and be like, Oh, I don't like you! Oh, shit. I should really be howling warp gailing. Not that these guys here have many flying units. The Empire does not, so nothing too much to worry about, but we should get it anyway. Good. Alright. Seems to be me done for the turn. Don't forget that we still need to get Thankwall, which is supposed to arrive in Warhammer 3. Yes, and I've heard rumors about what's happening with Thankwall. 
Um, I don't know if I should reveal that stuff right now because it's so early. Let me just let me just tell you this much. Thankwell is going to be coming later, like one of the last DLCs, if not the last one. So, don't expect Thankwell for at least two years. Which means there's still time for me to reconcile with Creative Assembly and then be the voice actor for Thankwell. <laughs> there's no hope for that. Um, Phil, Phil, never let me be a voice actor now. And I am fine with it. I've made my peace with it. To be honest, they were never going to in the first place. So Nagash will be last also? Possibly. From what I've heard, Nagash and Thankwell are going to be in the same DLC. From what I've heard, very early rumors, you know, years away. Barak Vaughn needs this. This is on the border. Alright, let's have a look at what we would get with upgrading this. Because we currently got 19 units in this, so... We would get another Storm Vermin with Halberd. It would also give us less Gutter Runners. Oh, that's not great. Give us Rat Ogres. Oh, I'd much rather two Gutter Runners than a Rat Ogre. Fucking hell. Sometimes it's downgrade. I don't think they're declaring war on us. Yeah, given how strong he is compared to them, I don't think so. Could happen. But as I've said before, anything that I say is like... Like speculation or a leak, take it with a pinch of salt. It could be bullshit. It's just rumors, that's all. Disciplined. Okay, that all seems fine. Let's just go do one more check for diplomacy and then let's take out. Yeah, I kind of want to declare war on him at some point. I don't know if I want to do it right now. I don't really like having green skins as allies. Use voicing a Skaven Lord would be fucking hilarious. Yeah. Well, I've spoken to a few modders before. And, um, they're working on, on, uh, on, like, doing voice acting for some of their modded lords. So there's a possibility that I'll be able to voice a, a like, an unofficial lord later down the track. But the thing is, and if any modders are listening to this, and if anyone's ever talking to a modder, the thing to understand about me is that I am really, really busy. I don't have time to read the Discord, so if anyone in the Discord is like, Oh, Legend, could you do this? If you don't at me, or don't direct message me, I won't read it. I just It just won't get to me. So, um, if any of them do want me to voice act, like seriously want me to voice act, I'm happy to do it, no charge. Just for the love of the game. Um, just, you gotta direct message me. Because, like, speaking in forums and whatever, and being like, I hope Legend reads this. Don't hold your breath, I am way too busy these days. Vectique Legendary Lord mod. Hey, if you if there's any modders out there that want to do it, I'm more than happy to put my voice to it. No, stay there! Eh, whatever. I'm still gonna attack him. Lost any battles in this campaign? No. Not really. Depends what you classify as a defeat. <laughs> Playing a Skaven, we don't ever really lose. You don't ever really truly lose a battle when playing a Skaven if you're playing it correctly. And I'm playing it correctly. Hire someone to read for me? Or you could just direct message me, which is easy to do. Hmm. 
Would you showcase a mod on stream if you voice acted for it? Hell yeah, I would. Of course I would. Alright, so to get over here, we we have to get down this way first. Um, do we want murder to send it's, it's not really that big of a deal that we've been having a couple of revolts here and there. That would be good, but I don't need it right away. I want to try to get the uh, research rate up first. Let's go with fight dirty. Because I need to get to... Oh yeah, virulent plans. That's a good one. Alright, he's taking that out. How long until we can declare war here? Two turns. Okay. Now, if I leave this area, the moot, and go and capture Schwarzhofen... Oh, hang on. Isn't Matorka like a... Sorry, Matorka. Yeah, it's a minor settlement. Right. Bill Barley's the major one. Magritta. Alright, Morgur. Let's see how you like this. That beast's here. Okay, I know he's right there. You can sort of see his encampment. He could make his way over here. But if he was to attack us, I've seen what's in his army. Lol, as if you stand a chance, you dumb cow. Oh, shit. Um. Yeah, yeah, we're unlikely to get that much food from this. We should be okay to order that. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. No contest. Take Australia. Clan Scryer. All right. Okay, okay, okay. There's no reason why Ikiklaw can't colonize Bill Bali. Monsters at my command. But don't send him backwards because he's got to move on to fight Carcassonne. Pest in the clan clan. Keeping an eye out over here, just making sure Bretonians don't run through Rath Lauren because they could do that. Good. Alright. It's good to see that herdstone finally gone. I let you know, when you first started trying Skaven voice, ooh, probably like 2019, 28, 2020, long time ago. Grace. I don't do it that much these days because I don't want to like, it's a bit cringe. I don't like to do it all the time. Can't quite reach Needling. I reckon we'll just leave this one at tier one because I think in this area here, we're going to be, they're going to be coming at us from all sides. So there's good possibilities of losing settlements. Morgan Down Bad did a five dollar super chat. Hey Legend, thanks for all the comment. Sorry, content that you make. Sorry, hang on. Uh, really helped me as a fairly new player. Are there any units that order us all favors others? Oh, I, I don't try to learn too much about how what units favored an order resolve. I would say that based on the stats, um, armor is heavily rated, which is why dwarfs usually perform so well in order resolve. Uh, so armor is highly rated, melee defense is highly rated, leadership is very poorly rated, which is why Skaven perform pretty well in order resolve when they've got armored units, despite having low, um, low, um, leadership. Uh, single entities are not highly rated in order resolve. Uh, no, just leave it at tier one. Okay, let's get that, and that, and that. Actually, I think we've got enough... Yeah, let's go with money. There's high potential for money there. even really want to hold on to this region. Like, I don't care if those guys come back. Oh, 
eight turns. It says 14 turns until the revolt. Yeah, just do it. Whatever. I'll figure it out. F's with Fireham became a member for 17 months. Oh. Cool, thanks for the membership, dude. Appreciate it. Um, is there any way armor, missile resistance, ward save to mitigate damage from items such as forbidden rods, ETC? Regeneration is the one you should go for. Um, it's it's really hard to say because I think that the forbidden rod damage is, is technically spell damage. So spell resistance is usually the thing that mitigates it. Um, but I'm not 100% sure on that because the game doesn't tell you and I haven't really tried that hard to look into it. Should really build some more stuff there. Yeah, okay, that's all good, all done. Alright, we've got four warp fuel again and we can make another Doom Rocket in two turns. There's nothing else out here that we... Actually, no. Um, doing some of this stuff here is good to get some of these other benefits, which I sometimes forget about. That's not that a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. That's good. That's a good one. For sure. That'd be really good on Ica Claw. That's crap. Ish. Uh, that one's crap here. Crap. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. Nah. Oh, that's a, that's a lot of ward save, actually. That's not too bad. Lose a lot of mel metal attack. Melee attack. Metal attack. Um, and weapon seams, we've got that one. That one is not a big deal. I haven't really been into any emergency situations in the campaign so far. Uh, Varenka Hills. Yeah, build that. Okay. All right, let's move on. Needs to be sorted. Okay, a few heroes have moved. All right, I got my scout over here, which, and then we've kicked out the empire from this general area. Now I need to be checking this area. We should be able to declare war on them again in t yeah, in two turns. And that situation is, just looks delicious. Look at that. L oh my god. Ah, look at all that food. <laughs> Smorgasbord. Alright, and that'll that should be easy for us to sort out. Alright, let's move on next turn. A legend of war, is multiplayer still as cheesable with disconnects as other non-fair play behavior. I don't know, man. I haven't played multiplayer since like 2016. Not my area that I focus on. If it wasn't for infinite ammo, would you prefer more blunderbusses or rattling guns? Blunderbusses? You mean, um, Giselles? Uh, no, I'd still go 4 and 4 for both of them. They serve different purposes. It's just that the unlimited ammunition makes them really good. Where on the map would you like CA to drop in the new Nurgle faction? That's a good question. I don't know. I haven't given it any thought whatsoever. Um, probably not within the Empire. There's enough Legendary Lords there. What about... What 
What about close to Archeon, where there's a um, there's a Nurgle faction already there? What about there? Puts him close to Kolek, Sun Eater, and Archeon. Because that is actually the Plains of Zen by Jin. Um, maybe that's where. I, d I don't know. Maybe Ulthwan. <laughs> so Morgul's going to come up this way and get killed. Maybe. Do you still have to revive... Sorry, reduce corruption to revive legendary lord in the Chaos Factions? I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm not sure. I'll do that in two turns. God, we are getting a lot of food. Holy shit. 51 passively. 39 from buildings, 20 from commandments, 14 from low scave and corruption, 4 from technology, 3 from the under empire. So I was saying, like, we're just rolling around in food at the moment. Alright, go to Bill Barley. Let's push that to tier 5. And that'll be another 2 food. So our guys are essentially in forced march at the moment, but they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Alright, I'll wait until I've got loads of food before I worry about ruin dwelling this area here. No point doing it right now if I don't have shitloads of food. Especially considering I'm probably going to need some uh, some food for Avraham. If we have a look at this... Yeah, I think they just took out that other army that was on the way. Yeah, so they're a little bit damaged. Get rid of this. Should have done that last turn. Okay, back to the moots. Go into channeling stance so we get some magic. Stand there just in case they declare war on us. That way it's a um, choke point battle, which is good for us. I don't think they will, but then I'll strike on them next turn. Gonna need that. Okay, if we have a look at Skarsnik, he's he could declare war on us, that's possible. He did want a non-aggression pact with us recently. If he declares war on me, it's no big deal. Who cares? I'll be fine. I can easily turn back around and deal with him. Alright, I've changed my mind about the Forest of Gloom. I'm going to cancel this. What I'll do is, if I'm ever in a point where I've got loads of food, I'll recruit a Lord, abandon this, and just ruin Dwell it to Tier 5. As for... Revolts, I just I just don't care about this region enough. In fact, tax it, let's cause Revolts more often, and I'll try to recruit Lords to, um, to ambush them. Could be good training for them. Need more money. Yep, just checking that area. Good. Everything's looking real strong. Not what I want. Alright, any nukes? Next turn. Okay. Alright, I've only got a tiny bit of money left. Grab that. Sell that to the vampires. And let's see about diplomacy. So we should have a somewhat big turn next turn against um against them.
Okay, moving on. How do you decide whether to make an undercity or just take the settlement? Got to make a decision. Lots of different factors. Basically, it comes down to this. Do I intend to hold the settlement? Then don't build an undercity there. If I don't intend to build this, uh, if I don't intend to occupy the settlement anytime soon, then I'll build an undercity. While you rebuilt it, what did I put it back in there again? <laughs> that was silly of me. Oh, this actually could be good. Yeah, if he occupies that, that's actually good because I don't really care much for those green skins and I'd lo I want that settlement. You didn't tax the forest, you just started building it up again? Just dumb dumb. I'll just I'll cancel that next turn. Yeah, I didn't mean to do that. I was just being just dumb. Oh man, just don't do that. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Gotta get back over here. I might actually be able to reach him from that distance. Because with the car of under tunnels, I really get a lot of extra movement. It's not really a great weapon. I'll take the money. Barrow Legion got destroyed, damn. I don't mean I don't really care, but I was trading with them. Money's looking good. Okay. By the comet. If I attack them now, they'll prioritize attacking me rather than this settlement here. So what I want to do is just just trespass on the territory, come over to here. The moot's a bit more defensible. Yeah. And if he occupies that, I'll then take that off him. And that way I get to secure this province without having to buy the settlement. Without pissing off my ally. Ah, I still just got one. Man, I don't know. It's only 48 gold, though. <laughs> it's, it's not like it made any real impact. If I jump right there... He won't be able to attack Montanus. He'll have to attack us in the underway. Yeah, he doesn't stand a chance with this. Winds of Magic is hurting us. The longer he's stuffing around here, the worse it is for us. Um, 45 food this turn. Don't want to go into channeling stance because I don't want to get ambushed. Carcassonne's just sitting around doing nothing. Poison blade. Master of beast beasts. How do I get you? <coughs> hmm. Yeah, if I jump here and he intercepts us, great. But I don't think he will. Okay. What I'm hoping here is that he tries to jump away in the underway, and we actually intercept him. Okay, well that's all I can do there. Getting really good money in at the moment. We got so much construction we need to finish though. Yeah, this is... Yeah, I want to I really want to hold on to that. I, and I do feel like it's going to get attacked at some point. Mm. 
bit iffy on this one. It's very easy for them to come around here and attack it. Don't want to invest in a region that's just doomed. Okay, and then we are out of money. Okay, I can get defensive lines with Kemri. I think that seems fine with me. I reckon he's gonna get wiped out anyway. Kemri usually gets wiped. He wants peace. Uh, I should have accepted that and then just moved on this way. It's too late now. Well, we'll see how the next turn goes, because I'd much rather wipe him out. Because I, I, hang on, I doubt that that's going to be worth much money. You know, given how rich the cows are. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. We should be able to wipe him out next turn. D it depends on how lucky we get. Um, Bladder Fishy did a five pound super chat. Thanks for the stream. Always learning experience. You ever thought of streaming Araby? Incredible mod? Oh yeah, I was thinking about doing that a while ago. Um, I'll think about it again. <laughs> Appreciate the support. All right. Let's hope he doesn't ambush Ikit. In that stance there, we've got good ambush defense. It's very unlikely. But yeah, if he does ambush us, poo, we're in trouble. Why haven't the Wood Elves invaded yet? Okay, so what I have found in this game is that factions will not declare war on you if you are particularly strong and you are particularly stable. This is why I go into battle and I try so hard not to take damage. A lot of people that go into uh, battle, they'll lose like 90% of their army and go, I did fantastic, and then the next turn everybody looks at their strength ranking and just declares war on them and they're like, oh, this game's so hard. Um, so yeah, that's why... At no point has our armies ever really been in bad shape. And that's one of the great things about the weapons team army. Occupy, occupy, yeah, okay, you're dead. Next turn, you're out of here. If you have no diplomacy, can you still confederate crisis via mechanics like Greenskin's Chorfs? Um, Greenskin's, yes. Chorfs, I don't know. Uh, the Chorf Endgame Crisis is always the um, the one that can't be confederated. So yeah, I don't know. Do you still only have Ikit and Vectic as your current standing armies? Yeah, well that's all I need at the moment. And we're, we're spending all of our money every turn. We're just investing in our provinces. So there's a lot of stuff I need to construct. Good. That's what I was hoping for. We gotcha. Bye-bye. See ya. Now we'll get replenishment. I'll take the money. Yeah. No use, my Fight me. Die in pain, pain. Legend, why don't they ever declare war on you? <laughs> Bitch! Did they turn 15 and only two armies? Damn. Uh, leaving out a bit of information there. I got two really good armies, and I could definitely afford more. The situation is so stable that I don't need more armies. Uh, well, actually, now that Dirth has declared war, maybe I should consider recruiting another army. Alright, how about we make some adjustments here. So neutral factions, uh, put them on off. I don't want to see what they're up to. Ooh, 
These guys are still around. Well, if they're around, surely, yeah, Pestilence are still alive. And they don't hate us, so that's good. Let's get some of this going. Good, that'll also help us with relations with Pestilence as well. Alright. I need you to get over here and have a look at what's going on. I'll need you to come over here instead. You dishonor me. Warp power. <laughs> Enemies to track. Mm. Slay things. Well, her army is trash. Test subjects. If I go and sit in Bilbali, she will probably... Hmm, probably back off, and that's fine. Let's go over there. Because I need another turn of replenishment anyway. If she swings around this way, she's dead. Yeah, there's nowhere she could go where she wouldn't be killed. Uh, except for back that way. Alright, let's have a look to see... Oh, here we go. Let's have a look to see if there's some more... Yeah. Have we not got any more assassins? No. No, don't worry about that then. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we we're going to declare war over here, but... Well, this war will be quick, so we just go in there, snatch it up, then get out. This will cause a revolt over here, probably. That's fine. These guys here might attack the moot. So they've got quite a bit of force. A lot of troops, but not necessarily good troops. If they attack Grenstadt, who cares? It's only tier one. Hang on, I just need to check this. Yep, no reliability penalty. Ooh, I can get a military alliance. Nah, just take the money. Alright, should be easier. Probably have to fight it manually, but let's just see. Oh. I guess it's all low tier stuff, so that's fine. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Alright, that won't put me at max food. But I'll be very close to it. Yeah, okay, I'll push this up to tier 3. Because this should be fairly safe. Okay, but we've also got these settlements down here that I've been talking about, ruined dwellings. So let's, let's get on and do that. So you'll come down here and ruin dwell that next turn, bring it up to tier 5. Cool. No. And then we'll just move them around, secure the entire province, and maybe even ruin dwell them to tier 3. We'll, we'll, we'll see, if we can get enough food. Because we need 120 for Castle Carcassonne. Alright, now I'm expecting these guys here to attack the moot. It's a minor settlement battle, we've invested a little bit into this. Our garrison's ready, like full strength, but it's still mostly clan rats. This here does give us leadership when in owned or allied territory, which should apply to our garrisons. I think. I'm not sure about that. Alright, we need somebody in here. Let's go with... Would suck if we lost him, but I need him to get some experience. This is a good opportunity for him. He's on a Doom Flare, so that gives us a big advantage. What I could do, actually... No, no, no. Actually, if I, if I have him stand outside the settlement... No, no, don't do that. How's our Skaven Corruption here? 52. So that should give us maybe three menace belows. 
Alright, we need Warp Lightning. Two of those. Probably don't need Scorch. Yeah, probably not. Uh, Musk of Fear. Yep, yep. And... Yep, and yep. And what else you got? Leadership? No, your leadership's fine. Yeah. Okay. Then regiments of renown. We don't want too much because I do want them to actually make the attack. So what I want is just one unit of the teeth breakers. Because that will be worth an absolute fuck ton in that battle. Mm, okay, hang on. Let's look at what they've got. It's just regular archers and spearmen. No. Doom Wheel would actually be pretty good for that. Doom Flayer wouldn't be too bad either. Yeah, I'll grab this Doom Flayer rather than the Rattling Gun. Yeah, that should be enough. That should be enough that they still feel like they can win the battle, but they actually can't. That's what I think. If they come down here and attack Grenstad, I could not care less. <laughs> could not care less. So, not going to bother even trying to defend that. If they do that, that is their funeral. No That's the worst thing that they can possibly do. But Legend, you lose a battle. Warp Smart. Yep. Yep, that's the right one. Yeah, go with this. Happy April Fools. April Fools is not a public holiday. It's weird. It's weird when people say Happy April Fools. It's very weird. Happy Tuesday! Good. Alright, what do we got here? Uh, I don't like Scryo Clanstone. I don't think it's very good. Maybe it's okay against dwarfs, but even then, dwarfs are so easy, don't bother with it. Alright, I got a lot of money. Let's see about diplomacy and then build some stuff up. Alright. Construction time. Yep, we want to get that Lord Recruit rank up. Want more money. That gives us capacity for Plague Priest, and Ishin Sorceress, so that's good. Speaking of which, we should check to see what's available. I need to get more Warlock Engineers. If we're going to recruit another army, that's like really important for it. Where was I? Yeah, there's one. It's, it's ex fairly expensive, but that'll give us more capacity. Where, where else could we do that? Maybe Akendorf, it's relatively safe. Let's do that there. I gotta get more capacity for them. Zaraxil's pretty safe, let's pop that down there. And I got the perfect amount of money left. Alright, over here, give me more food. Good. I, I reckon they'll attack. I reckon they'll attack. Yeah, I'm not... No, you know what? I think they'll probably sack Grenstad. That's what I think. Because this difficult battle, this is an easy battle. And they always go for the easy, low-hanging fruit. Yeah. But if they do that, then Vectik will easily catch them. See, Vectique can force march over to here, and this guy can launch the attack, because we've got Doom Rockets, every character is a Siege Attacker. Alright. And over here, yep, ready to go and Ruin Dwell out this way. Okay, moving on. I'm never watching... 
Led Gend of Total War again, April Fools. Oh, so good. Um, are you through? Subscribe to Prime. They've subscribed for two months. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Hope you have a good one. You too. Don't you need an army for Arguilon? Nah. Nah, I'll be fine. <laughs> oh, they're going to do it. They're going to do it. Yeah, I made it just enticing enough for them to, to make the attack. It'll probably say Valiant Defeat. Yeah, I expected that. But the thing is, I set things up. When you're dealing with a really cowardly AI, you've got to make sure that you're technically weaker than them. But what we've got here, I believe, is a strategic um, tactical advantage, which isn't taken into consideration in order at all. I do go on YouTube to Super Chat. When Thrones of Decay trailer? Probably tomorrow. Thanks, Super Chat. All right. Do I need more Menace Blows? Probably not. This might be a situation as well that we use a nuke. We'll see how we go. If things start going tits up really early, then I'll use a nuke. Looking at the difference between Clan and that Spears and their Spearmen. So 23 to 28 compared to 20 to 34. So we've got higher melee attack. They've got higher melee defense. We have more entities though. Way more health. So our, u our units should be stronger than them. And I'll be able to cause a mass amount of damage with this guy here. It sucks that we lost so much wins of magic just from the beginning of it. The heroes might be a bit of an issue. Plus we've got the actual settlement itself. Let's move in. Smooth Thoragano. Subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I think Legend still focuses on YouTube chat. Well, there is... There is about... Actually, let me just confirm this. How many people are watching on Twitch? Four hundred thirty-six. That's that's a good number for sure. But yeah, on YouTube there are two thousand seven hundred. So there's five times as many people, more than five times as many people watching on YouTube than Twitch. Now that doesn't mean each individual person on YouTube is worth more than each individual person on Twitch. It's just that I've got to, but I've got to put five times more attention into YouTube than Twitch. But I do read the Twitch chat. In fact, in terms of ratio. It's more likely that your chat will message will be not read out if you type into YouTube than if you type into chat into Twitch. It's just the YouTube chat's way more active, that's all. <clears throat> okay. So we want to go all the way to the back here. Because this is this will give us stat bonuses. This is the best defensive position. We'll take the mages to get here. Yep. And that gives us time to build towers along the way and build a nice big doomy boomy tower right there. And you have time to go and annoy the shit out of them. Now, <coughs> excuse me, the units that I want to annoy are archers or isolated stuff over here. So that looks pretty good. Let's go annoy that. Yeah, let's go. So they're not going to wait around for their reinforcements, which, fine by me. Um, Qualas PVT did a 25 PLA in Super Chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Oh, their Lord is here. All right, I wasn't expecting that. I'm actually going to pick a different spot. Because their lord's actually pretty good against us. Well, I I guessed wrong there. <laughs> no big deal. Do a little bit of damage with them. So, I'm trying to get the, the big fucking tower for this one. We slowed them down by a few seconds. So, yeah. These guys' main job... Just slow them the hell down and annoy the shit out of them. Especially the archers. Melee infantry don't consume me too much. 
Uh, Friday SR6. Subscribe to Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. Seems like the flagellants are a little bit of a concern. We should try to walk lightning them. Clan rat summon doing all right in terms of damage. Nothing spectacular. All right, these guys are coming in, but they're going to be late. This one's already gotten 2,000 damage, but only 3 kills. It, take out those flagellants. That's what I want to see. Ready, steady, I seem to be great at running them down. Okay, let's, let's keep moving. Don't worry about recapping these points right now. Oh, he hit me with that shit. Okay, the first wave of their troops is about to arrive out here. Okay, these guys have a range of 140 versus their range of 120, so we can actually outrange them. Also need some guys to protect the rear here. And I need these ones to come over here and help out, because this is going to be where we really need to focus. If we lose this position, we're screwed. How's this coming up? It's ready? Good, start bombing. be a minute before they get over here. Let's... Oh, there's that lord. Um, yeah, just put a basic tower down there. Don't worry too much about it. Yeah, fucking... That's why you gotta check. Son of a bitch. Got incoming over here. Alright, that guy actually wants to cap that, so just forget about- Oh, you- What? You can't cancel it? Oh, that's stupid. What the hell is that button even there for? Okay, bounce power is definitely in their favor at the moment. Okay, I'm gonna put a barricade here, because we're gonna need to try to restore their ammunition at some point. Right, this very second. Good. So far, this has done a lot of damage to them, with only hitting them a couple of times. That's what I was counting on. Stop! 
Okay, I need um, Clan Rat Spears to go and fight this guy. Okay, get these guys to turn around. They'll have a better target over here. Here, we don't want their archers shooting at us wherever possible. Yeah, that guy's gonna be difficult to kill. We don't really have anything that's great against him. up a little bit more so we can maybe shoot those pistol ears. Looking good. Okay, you need to move back. We don't want to be getting shot. Uh, actually, this looks like a good opportunity to use this. He's running out of those abilities. This is just a regular clan rat. Not a big deal there. Okay, no, don't bother trying to hit single entities with that. That is not going to work. Yeah, single entities are going to be a big problem. Maybe should have prepared a little bit more, but I feel like if I prepared more, they wouldn't bloody send the troops at us. Still got a nuke, which I'm willing to use if things start looking like it's going to go to shit. Okay, I need to build another defensive structure here, because I may need to go down that way to restore ammunition. I've got. This guy here, he's doing a lot of damage, but it's not trading perfectly against us. Alright, we need to start getting these guys down here and restore their ammo, and then I can just bring them back later. This guy here's actually still got a reasonable amount of ammo. You come back. I'll restore your ammo later. You get over here. This guy's anti-infantry. I should get him in there to help fight against this one. What are you doing? Shoot this. Good, restore our bounce of power and get some more killing power. These guys have done really well so far. You get in over there. You move over here. Get tight on that one. Need to harass their archers as much as possible. Good, get back over here. 
Good, escort him off the battlefield, but we only need one person to do that. Start playing our music. That's not good for you, fuckers. Good for me, though. Get these guys back over this way. Okay, so we got some magic. Really need to get rid of these archers. They're their biggest damage dealers at the moment. Oh, I should have done that one. There we go. That's it. Escort him off the battlefield. Good. This is going really well, I think. Okay, they're trying to destroy this, so what we do is we switch it to a barricade, and that way we actually restore all of his health, kind of. Okay, gotta get more guys over here. We don't want them capping this position, we'll immediately lose otherwise. Magic. Oh God, that guy's got a lot of kills. Pretty well there. Get rid of the pistol is. Don't have another tower. Oh, hang on. There is another tower position. Holy shit. It's over here. Didn't know that. Could have checked. The problem here is definitely their single entities. It's very hard to kill them with what we've got. So focus on what we can kill. Don't worry too much about what we can't. Okay, this guy here needs to go and restore his ammo. Let's get going. And I need to send someone else over here. Send them as well. Bring these guys back down over this way. I will instantly use a nuke, I just don't feel like I need to. You, get down over here. Could be a good idea to go and capture another position. Okay, watch out. Full strength archer over here, need to get rid of that. If I capture another position, we won't lose immediately if we lose this position. Thank him over here. So I'm a little bit worried. There's a lot of single entities here. Go and capture another position. We may lose this spot. Because, yeah, our guys here, they're not holding amazingly well. Let's 
Still holding for now. Get these guys back in there. Back over here. Get back in there, guys. Why are they sending those pistoliers into melee now? That doesn't make sense. We won. We army lost them. We won. Whew, tough fight. I was expecting a tough fight. And like I said, I just wanted just enough to make it winnable, which we had. All right, try to kill some of these characters, if we can. Whew. Okay. If they brought any high tier units, we would have been so screwed. <laughs> you can see how bad our Skaven Garrison is. Anyway. We got through it. These can't do friendly fire, so don't worry about it. If it hits us. I don't think we're going to kill this guy. Yeah, it just doesn't do enough damage, just pushing him off the edge. Yeah, our fucking clan rats. Practically useless. Would there be any scenario where you would willingly recruit Grail Reliques? In campaign, for me, no. I would never recruit one. There's... I would never, ever recruit one. Possibly the worst unit in the game. Period. I understand their use in multiplayer, but in single player? No. Absolute piece of trash. Food's been pretty well under control, so let's get money. Uh, Wotan005, the Intimidals from Jet. Thanks for another stream, Legend. Really enjoying this campaign. That's good. Glad you're enjoying it. Appreciate it. What's it worst unit in all of Total War? Don't know. Catholic priests in Rome 1. Just watched the Sega vid. So bummed to hear about the delay to historical total war. I guess hopefully they they're going to do it right, not rush. Yeah, I mean that's that's what I'm hoping for as well. Um, I just don't know. Just don't know. What is she thinking? She's gonna get bushed. Look, the thing is, it's not an official delay to the historical total war game. It's just a rumor. What would be your dream Total War game? Uh, one that's actually good. Doesn't matter about the setting, just make it good.
So yeah, that was pretty silly of the Fey Enchantress to just stay out there like this. No ambush defense chance. 80% ambush success chance. <laughs> many, many kills today. A lot of the times the AI doesn't realize that you can ambush them. Uh, maybe she thinks that our, her army is stronger than ours. It's not. <laughs> I could fight that manually. But I mean, decisive victory with low casualties. Plus it of what? Oh, shit. Hang on. <laughs> I'm at maximum food. I gotta spend it first. You're way too needy. What, asking for a good Total War game? Come on, man, be reasonable. You can't expect them to make a good game. I don't think I'm needy at all. Just want the game to be good. I don't like playing bad games. Come on, Legend, you should enjoy playing bad games. I don't get it. Whatever. Alright. Put some iron in there, because I do have trade partners now. Okay, that's good. Actually, no. Get rid of the iron. It's not that important. Oh, no, no, no. I need, I need money. Oh, extra hero capacity. Alright. So, Vectic should be able to force march. Ooh, no. He wouldn't be able to reach. He's just out of range there. Alright, I guess just move up in channeling stance. And we'll just have to attack him next turn. You'll need to stay there, or else they'll attack you again. But yeah, he did very well. In that fight. Very nicely done. And this was a good call as well. That did very well for us. Honestly, now that I think about it, Rattling Gun would have been great for dealing with those single entities. Oh well. Alright, we've got the food supplies ready for us. Let's do it. Remember research followers? Yep, I remember them. I placed them on my characters ages ago. I don't have any more characters to put them on. Bit of damage will recover. And let's get money. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of help at attendance. Uh, does this guy have a helper attendant on him? Yeah, see, so he's already got one on him. Extra replenishment for Ikaclaw is good. Can see that coming into effect here. Many, many kills today. Rat beasts heal. Okay, we can also see that. This Argwalon army is heading towards Fyldorf. I did build this to tier 4, so it's got good defenses. But if there's another army on the way, that's a problem. Which, if we have a look at his strength ranking, it's just a matter of where it is. Just don't know. There could be another army right here, in which case this will be hopeless to defend. If I have to recapture Fyldorf, it's okay. Wood Elves are very difficult to defend against. I tell you what though, if we recruit a Lord here, it will allow us to deny enemy reinforcements if they send more than one stack. I'll get someone new just in case we end up killed. Master Engineer. Alright, I'm going to give him a helper attendant. There's a risk of losing it, but it's so easy to get more of them. Knows who his boss is. Okay. Oh shit. Shouldn't have done that. Alright, just put two points into warp lightning. Um, you know what? Get some wolf rats, because that'll be good against these no. units here. Oh, uh, but their upkeep cost is pretty expensive. Why is a wolf, a wolf rat worth almost as much as a plague monk? That doesn't make sense. Mm. 
I'm going to get a Regiment of Renown. Let's see, who should we get? This one here, not great against Wood Elves. Because of their loose formation. Super useful unit, usually. I don't think it's great here. What I think we need are... It. This one can be good for sneaking around using the um, the doppelganger to annoy them. This one and this one. And this one. And we've got six menace blows ready to go for that, so that's good. And Vectical wank his way over here as well. I'll recruit some trash just in case they don't besiege. But I'm just gonna get just gonna get um, night runners. Yeah, trying to get to virulent plans. Cool. Many, many kills to come. <laughs> Make it so. Are you ever amazed how many people watch you and your vids? Uh, I was at first, but you get used to it after a while. Like, you know, it hasn't really grown much in the past three years. Ever since Warhammer Two, uh, Warhammer Three came out, there hasn't really been any serious growth. So. At first, it was, like, amazing. I couldn't believe it. I, I didn't understand why so many people were watching the streams. But now it's like... I don't know. You've kind of convinced me I'm okay, you know? <laughs> Warlock of Skaven Blight. Yeah, you stay there just in case they come back. No, I'm out of money. All right, well, let's move on to the next turn. Scott. Yes. Sigma's will. Cool. Everything seems pretty good. Imminent rebellion at Karak here. That's fine. Let's get another lord in there to ambush it. Master engineer. And that'll be super easy because we always build the defenses, so it should be fine. Cool. Uh, what if there's more rebellions? Because Caesar doesn't tell you if there's more than one. Alright, Black Mountain has a revolt. Yep, that's the one we're going to. And Forest of Gloom in two turns. Soland is fine. Blighted Marsh is fine. Everything else is fine. Okay, moving on. Warp Fire against what else? No, because... Oh, I forgot to move that one. Um, it is a common misconception that flaming attacks is just all overall great against what else? It's not. So, if you're using warp fire throwers against tree kin, it actually doesn't do that much damage because warp fire throwers are primarily anti infantry. Even though you're getting that, that um, you're bypassing their physical resistance and you're hitting their fire weakness as well. It just doesn't do that much damage, really, to, to those type of units. So... Also, we didn't have them locally available, I don't think. Yeah, warp fire throwers. It just depends. And also, warp fire throwers get killed really quickly by... Oh, you want to go that way, do you? Yeah, they want to go after low-hanging fruit. I don't care about Fort Soul. Alright, do we actually get a defensive battle here, or is it just field battle? Oh, we actually got a defensive battle here. Okay. Well, I'll fight it. I don't expect to win. But we can definitely do more damage than what this is saying. Legend had 8k viewers at one point, I think. Well, it depends. It depends. Um, the, the stable viewership was always around, like, three to 4,000. For good streams, it was for, like, 5,000. Early access DLC in Warhammer 2 was usually 8,000 on the first stream. Uh, we've never gotten 8,000 since Warhammer 2, apart from the very first and second live stream for Warhammer 3. You have one regiment around, I think, just a thought. It's okay, they went around us anyway. It's fine. I don't expect to win this battle. It doesn't matter. Vic Teak will sort it out. We just need to get him over there. All right. Best place for us to stand is as far away from their main force as possible. This map is normally okay, but not good for Skaven. <laughs> Alright, um... 
We don't have anything that's going to be good against the Treekin. Alright, no matter where we go, they're pretty much evenly spread out their forces. Stay away from their heroes, can't do much about that. Alright, we'll stay here and I'll just try to do as much damage to them as I can, which isn't going to be a hell of a lot. Nineteen wolf rats is pretty good against wood elves. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, wolf rats are pretty good against wood elves. It's okay. Like losing this battle here, what are we losing? A fort. <laughs> Who cares? It doesn't matter. They might just sack it as well. Just wait. Because yeah, if you use it too early, it'll just run away. Actually, that tower will be pretty good against Treekin. Alright, let's send this one down here. You guys getting any damage in? No. They're like completely missing. So that menace blow is not doing too bad. There's another position over here as well, but we want to make sure we've actually got good towers. The tier 1 towers are not going to do anything for us. So we need something to take out the Treekin. And only these towers have any chance of... That was built pretty quick. Skaven Slave Slingers end up beating the Glaive Guard. Glaive Guard there. Okay, let's... Let's switch this. We need to try to wipe out their units as best we can. Okay, we got more incoming up this way. I don't think there's going to be enough time to wait for another tower type to show up. We're just going to have to go with that one. Right, bring, bring it back over here. I'll try to surround it. Uh, no, too late. Just stay there. Come on. A few more kills on that one and it'll wipe it out. A few more kills. A few more kills. Even if they win. Good. That's wiped out. Good. So that's one unit gone. Which wouldn't have happened if we had order resolved. back because I want to try to get these guys to restore their ammo. Eventually they're going to run out. Right, 
Okay, now I'll try to destroy them. Looks like I'm gonna have to switch that back again. <laughs> In a minute. <laughs> gonna lose, but I'm gonna kill them with me. Yeah! That was a good blob. Don't think we're gonna get a better opportunity than that. Everybody loves nukes. Trying to destroy that tower. And yeah, this is where we get totally wrecked. These guys are too scared. It's alright. Hopefully we wiped out a couple of units with that. And just hold on long enough for me to use these menace belows on their archers. It's taking damage. Let's hold on as long as we can. Look at these. They're taking a lot of damage. Might actually wipe them out if we keep it up. What are you aiming for? Come on, these guys here. We broke them. Good. Get over here. One more menace below. Don't army loss me until we've done that. Get you to get over there. Yeah, that'll still survive. Hopefully they just sack the city. Uh, the, the fort, I mean, because that'd just be this is this is not a decisive defeat. They've suffered a lot of casualties here. Yeah, we're losing. Of course, we were losing. You see what we're up against? Come on, restore your ammo. Oh, it's not restoring this one's ammo. That's weird. Well, I used up all my menace below, so I got nothing left. Oh, there we go. I think the whole unit has to be close by. No point getting more than that. This is about to lose. Cool, that's fine. I'm pretty happy with how that went, everything considered. Valiant defeat. Ooh. Man, they got wrecked. For, for what we had, that went... We killed their lord? How the fuck did that happen? I must have direct hit her with the nuke. Wouldn't it be funny if they just sacked the settlement? It's only tier one. And it was just... Who cares? I don't suffer revolts from this. They might occupy it. But yeah, if they sack it... This is why sometimes a defeat doesn't matter. Yeah, she died. Got two of their units. 
And she just sacked it. They just... That's pointless. <laughs> it literally doesn't matter that they did that. What are they doing? What, what, are you, what are you doing? I mean, I don't mind. That's just like food delivery. It's, it's French food delivery. We had the, um, uh, the Chinese food delivery. What are they thinking? What, what is going on here? I'm not hidden. In full view of a Skaven army, they're forced march in front of us. What are they doing? Ooh. Marius wants to have a go. You can do that. Kill a lord with a nuke. Yes. If the nuke directly lands square on their face, then it, it kills them. Potion of speed. Yeah, no, go with... Engineer. Okay, we've met Clan Pestilence now. I see you. I have seen your you mm. agreed. Wow, he's got a lot of territory, but he's weak. I am glad. Need yes. more um envoy of the councils to really make that work. And I just got to find somewhere to put an undercity, some, somewhere up this way, something, I'm not sure. Okay, and yeah, I don't understand what they were thinking with this. It's not even a good army. It's just food delivery service. Fine by me. And then we could just um, occupy Tabaro from the Lord from over here. Nice Alright, well, thanks for the food delivery service. Palworld just released a trailer for Palworld dating game where you can date Lovander. Oh, that's weird. Well, you know, whatever floats your boat, but that is weird. Yeah, let's go with... Let's go with replenishment. That way I don't need to go into encamp stance. Yeah, shit, I don't know what they were thinking with that. But legend, maybe that was all part of their plan. Alright, so then over here, we've got a little bit of garrison back. We've got these guys, nine units. Okay, we've got this over here. Ambush him, please. It's an April Fool's joke? Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> nice. Thanks for the free food, fuckers! This is short delivery time. Do you think respecking should cost a bit of money so it's actual choice to disband? Yeah, I do think that they, it should cost you. Like what I thought, rather than wounding your character, I always thought that it costing one hundred or one thousand gold per level of the character so the more leveled up they are the more it costs you to respec i mean that's how it is in like every other game that allows you to respec it just costs you money to respec it but creative assembly they gotta think outside the box they gotta give you an advantage to respecing your character uh, your character yeah five head moves right there dominic did a 20 euro super chat saying you are amazing 
No, you're amazing. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat, dude. Appreciate it. Okay, so with this situation here, I could sit here and wait for them to attack, but if I ambush them, I'll get a huge order resolve buff, and they've actually got a pretty good army. Let's just see. This is 30% chance of ambush. Uh, no, it's actually 55. Got plenty of movement, so let's just see. It's not a full stack, either are we. Come back to that in a minute. Alright. Scream, scream. Okay, chances of ambushing this guy are... Mm, it's actually hard to say. It may actually be best not to ambush him. Destroy them, oh Lord. Damn it. Coward! <laughs> ah, clan Eshin. Should still be fine for movement. Tribute, yes, yes, seal or tax. All hail, Hornet Rat. Have them, then. That's fine. Collect precious things for me, me. Chosen. Let's go with that for now. All right. I get a lot of chances with this. I still kind of feel as if I do ambush this guy. It won't give us an auto resolve victory, but let's just have a look. Panic, please. Because the garrison here isn't fully recovered, has it? No. Hmm, he's not getting that ambush. No, no. Okay, maybe if I recruit a cunning character, I think I've still got one in here. That'll help our ambush success. So that makes it 65% chance. Unless he's got ambush defense, which I don't think that's possible. Unless he's got a road, a road warden, which that is possible. Won't show up there. Seems unlikely. We got plenty of chances to do this. What's going on here? Marries Leetdorf, freaking luckiest guy ever. Luis Vasquez did a $25 super chat. Hey, Legend, thanks for the awesome streams. Always learn a lot from your tactics approach to the game. Still confused about how to beat, handle, scave, and corruption. Hmm. I mean. I just let it happen. I don't worry about it. I just try to keep my public order nice and high, and uh, it's not really an issue. Not really something to be beaten. Yeah, okay. So we, we got the ambush, but odds were not again in our favor. Unfortunately, we don't have enough magic to really be able to do much with that. Could use a nuke. Don't have any warp bombs. I would have to nuke all four of these units. Definitely possible for me to do that. I wouldn't be able to win this without a nuke. Yeah, let's give it a shot, eh? <laughs> Why not? Why not? Do you know what happens if we lose? Nothing! <laughs> That's the great thing about playing Skaven. It's like, oh, we lost the battle! Anyway, we're not really hurt by it.
Avalanche Mortars, yes, they would win us this battle for sure. But I'm intending to use a nuke instead. Alright, what we need to do... Oh, they're really close to this. If they ran off the battlefield, they'll just end the battle anyway. I need to hide to begin with. Because we've got to wait for the Warpstone Doom rocket to be available. 45 seconds. I'll need these guys to be delayed. And we want to try to get rid of the Great Swords since we have so little armor piercing. So what I need to do is basically use a Menace below, right in front of them here. Get them to blob up, and then... <laughs> Oh shit, we're not hidden. So be oh, we can't hide. Whoops. Uh, the plan will still work. This, uh, yeah, okay. The plan will still work. I mean, look at this. Just get our guys over here. Make it juicier. Mm, more juicy. <laughs> Need it juicier. Pretty juicy. Oh, it's fucking juicy. It's got the juice. That is not where I told to go, but I don't mind. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, how do we go with that? Yeah, there's a good amount of them dead. Are they, are they withdrawing from the battlefield? You know you're on Force March. <laughs> They're like, fuck this. Fuck this guy. Are they seriously withdrawing from the battlefield when I've got two units and the balance of powers in their favor and they're on Force March? Yep. Yep, they're actually withdrawing from the battlefield. They're giving up. I don't even need these guys. Bring him in. Brilliant AI. Brilliant. They're like, fuck this. I'm sick. I don't want to get nuked. I only had one. <laughs> There's still a unit of great swords here, though. So 
I should probably use my magic against them. Can you stand still? Don't dodge, don't dodge! Yeah, no, their, their AI is fucked. They're not dodging. Damn, I didn't even need these guys. Yep, we won. Well. I feel like that was more of a failure of the AI than anything. Like, they withdrew half their army at the very beginning. That was very silly of them. I mean, that nuke was good enough that that guaranteed our victory, but still. When the AI gets over the square, they withdraw. Oh, so what if you just lured them into the square and then they just ran, went away? Oh, that'd be pretty funny. You actually massively outpowered. You just lure them into that square and they run away. <laughs> that'd be funny. Why they can even retreat on Force March? No playtesting. It's been the game forever. Didn't even kill that much? Yeah, I know, they withdrew from the battlefield. Unfortunately, I didn't make much food to recover from it. Get a bit of money, but at least, uh, it's more about protecting the settlement since I've invested food into that. I just didn't want to lose it. And we had nukes. Okay, that gave us something real nice, which I will put on Ikkit. I think it's called a scribe. Uh, I don't need that. Yeah, campaign movement range. Nice. And recruit cost reduction. I wonder if we ambush this, if that would actually work for us. Doesn't look like Dirthu is on the way. Chances of ambushing here, it says 30%. I would only get like two tries at it. Bad plan Warlock, master of Scryer. Master, deliver your. Okay, shouldn't have to worry about them again for a while, but they're obviously able to recruit high tier units from there. And let us discuss mutually benefit. So he's liking me, that's good. All hail, Honed Rat. For Horned Rat. Hmm, the problem with fighting that would definitely be this. If I had to fight it manually, even if I ambushed them, that'd be really tricky to win. If it's already tier one, before they did that, so. 
doesn't matter in the slightest. Okay, let me have a look, see if there's any sneaky guys available, because I think this guy... Yeah, he's just nothing. Because ambush would make a big difference to auto-resolve. I got a sneaky warlord. Alright, tag him out. Actually, take that off, just in case... We lose. I'll put it on you later. No, and then you've got passing. Ancient Cunning. Good. So that gives us an ambush success chance of 71%. But you only get one shot. Also, recruit... Uh, I can't recruit a lord there. Yeah, one shot. Probably should also hire a Regiment of Renown. Just in case. Uh, Giselle. No, get a Rattling Gun. Yeah. That should do it. Nice. <laughs> there we go. So they won that previous battle and it ultimately meant nothing. Hey Deadfish, how's it going dude? Oh, good stuff. Alright, back with the bell polisher on you. I think he just got that hell pit attendant. Guess I could get this guy to go and uh, capture Gristle Valley, why not? Rather than disband him, there's some other things out here for him to do. Okay, I think we're done for the turn. Alright, we've got plenty of money to spend. Okay, there's a revolt going to happen at Forest of Gloom, which I'm fine with. But just put somebody in here to sort it out. Preferably want some more warp fuel, so let's get you. Make sure you got ambush success chance as much as possible. And just um just globally recruit some Skaven slaves. Master Engineer. Yeah, that should do it. First, actually. Carry Kieran's pretty safe. I don't think we need that to be upgraded right now. Alright, what do we upgrade next? We have plenty of money, so that's good. Build slots over here that need sorted. More, more uh, global recruit rank for lords would be really handy. That's only three grand, so that's good. More gems will be good. More... Uh, Warlock Engineers, good. Heroes, yep. Need that. And that'll be good just in case I need to recruit an army from here. But I also think we should upgrade this. Because we're on a border with Kierman. He considers me his main threat, so he's probably going to attack me at some point. I don't want to lose Karaza Karak. But he's also quite weak, so that's another reason why he might not. It does seem as though... Yeah, yeah, Scrag's finished. And after Scrag's done, he's going to come after me next. It's just that's a little bit on the expensive side. Just do it. Need to keep it under control. Yep, we need that. Let's have a look at what heroes are available. No, no amount of money, but I can always free up some funds. Got a cunning one available, but I don't have the capacity for it. But we should have the capacity real soon. As soon as I use up this guy somewhere. And I've got multiple buildings increasing the capacity, so that's not going to do it. Um, that's three turns away. And what about the other wizards? No. 
Nope. And... Oh, that's right. This guy's gonna occupy that settlement. Right here. All good. Let's move on. Yeah, this will be good. Yep, it's all good there. Sucks this area has low winds of magic. Then Victic, what are we doing with him? I think what we really need now is to just try to reduce some upkeep costs. I'm not too far away from that. So let's get you. That would probably be a little bit better than corruption. Not a big deal though. Good. Knows who his boss is. Okay, looking good. No malice detected. Still got more leveling up to do. Okay, this guy, yeah, keep him here for the time being. I wonder if I should just send him. No, there's increased defenses there. Just wait for somebody else to sort that out. It'll be a while before the settlement here gets attacked again, so let's just get him out of here and save some money. Now. Now. Good stuff. Yeah, it saves us a fair bit of cash. Okay, well, I've got five active armies. That's fine. Let's move on. Oh, Imminent Rebellion, yeah, that's for this one here. Let me just check for other regions as well, because we've got bad public order everywhere. So, Forest of Gloom, that's the worst one. Soland is okay. Black Mountain's okay. Blooded Marsh, okay. Moot. It'll be fine. Averland. Ooh. Mm. Might be a good idea to force this revolt sooner rather than later. And difference, but he's not going to replenish as much, so yeah, just stay there. Moving on. Do you think we'll get the DLC in mid or late April? Late April, at the very earliest. Late April. Does respecting avoid mutiny chance? It does, actually, so it's really good for getting rid of um, disloyal characters. Oh, that's going to stop me from replenishing. Should have actually stayed outside the settlement, in hindsight. Legend should do a letter reading segment every other month called Letters to Legend. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't think so. This is going to be stupid shit that people say. Why build molder buildings? For the heroes. Yeah, I should have actually stayed outside the settlement. My bad. Decent amount of replenishment. How's our food supplies? It's pretty good. Murder 
Jeez, that's a that's a bit rough. Another one, jeez. Clan Scryer Saboteur. Oh, yeah, I don't care about that. Alright, so we got this revolt over here, which we should be able to. Oh, shit. That actually might prevent us from ambushing it. Completely. I wouldn't be able to win it with this. Hang on, let me have a look. Alright, a thing to keep in mind in this situation here is that I can win this by constantly losing. <laughs> because we fight the battle, we lose, and then I can just fight it again. And he doesn't have any items equipped to him. So, we don't really lose anything. Just, I basically go and use my magic and then just get out. You use the menace blows. Because all their units are weak. The only thing that we can't really handle is, is the actual character there. So, it'll only take a couple of battles to beat him. Because if I leave this, then... That's going to cause me problems. Yeah. Because we don't have any defensive settlement at that one. So, we're definitely going to lose this battle. There's no way we're... Gonna just get a sneaky win here. And this guy's fleet footed, so he'll be able to outrun this guy pretty easily. Yeah. He's faster than by a fair bit. These guys, even if they do attack him, they're just going to get warp lightninged. Dear legend, please smell this letter. Yeah, that's that's yeah. Well it'll be digital, but You guys are not just like innocent kids. You guys are fucking trolls. <laughs> I don't mean that in like a bad way, but yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing that shit. Go going. Wonder if we could actually win. He's a nuke. A nuke would have us win for sure. No, I didn't put points into that because I went ambush success chance. Trying to generate some magic first. Alright, let's pop it down here. And this guy's done. Yeah, this is this is this will work. to get hit by that guy. Damn it, you got hit. Bloody going into a camp stance with their rebels. Some of the bitches. Pointless video lover did a $10 super chat. Hello again, Legend. Good to see you still playing. Would you do a Total War Empire campaign again? Or is it too much for you right now? Also, would you bring your other channel? Also, would you bring your other channel again? Thanks. Um, Total War Empire? Nah. There's, I don't like that game. And it wouldn't be good for the channel. So there's just no incentive for me to do that whatsoever. 
Um, as for the other channel, I just gotta find time to log in and actually just release those videos. That's all. Alright, I need to put these guys close to the edge, that way if I want this guy to um, just retreat from the battlefield, we can do that. He's doing decent damage. Got plenty of minutes below us. It's a nice blob right here. Sure, shouldn't not using a nuke on a on a rebel army. Fuck that. Rocket and large blobbing. It's a, only a rebel. It's it's not worth wasting a nuke. I've used up too many nukes recently. Not on this. We don't need to. We've got a plan. Stick to the plan. We'll be fine. Don't need to use the nuke. going really well. Like we've done a shitload more damage than I was expecting to do. I was just constantly stuck though. See, look at that. 200 bloody kills. Last minutes below, though. That has basically exhausted us. If I can get one more Warp Lightning, I'll then withdraw these guys and just get army lost, and then we attack them again. And I'll probably win on the next one. Oh, I got enough magic for one more. Man, they really bloody got me stuck in there. Draw. Oh no, I lost! Ah, I lost the battle! Ah, what a loss. <laughs> this is this is what's known as a Skaven victory. You lost the battle. Yeah, but we killed most of their army. But you lost the battle. Most of their army's dead. You lost the battle. Hang on. All oh, right, the casualties, the additional ones, was the menace belows, right? Auto resolve incoming? Maybe, maybe. I don't think any of these units got uh, wiped out. We'll see. Because don't forget, these are Skaven slaves. They're not going to perform well in auto resolve. Ah, oh, they beat me. I was backstabbed. <laughs> Anyway, oh no. Upgrade, yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah! 
<laughs> yeah, good stuff. Cool, I'll have that food, and we probably won't have a revolt here again for a little while. Ah! Lost the battle. <laughs> Alright. Now, you get the Hellpit Attendant that you earned. Get rid of all this, and we'll see you again, maybe. We'll see. That's how you play Skaven. You play in such a way that you lose battles, but it doesn't fucking matter. Alright. So that'll bring me down to 120 food if I occupy... Oh, man, they got a large garrison. Um, what's this mission? I gotta sack it first for a bit of extra money. That's not a problem. Uh, I don't think it's gonna let me order resolver. But we'll see. Maybe it will. Machination. Come on, auto resolve, auto resolve, auto resolve. Oh damn! Oh yeah, they're fucking rubbish in auto resolve. Yeah, okay, never mind. <laughs> Ooh, that's tasty. Now that we're starting to see higher level settlements, is where we can get some money. Good, and I go this, and then we go. Now build them in minor settlements. So many important buildings to build in major settlements. Okay, increase those heroes because we got five different hero buildings, and that's four of them. And trading is just not that big of a deal for Skaven, even though we got a couple of trade partners. All right, what do we got here? Yep. Don't forget about this guy here. We need to use him up sooner rather than later. The doom comes. Tales, move. Something happened in Itza. How can clan pestilence serve you? What if I offered to go to war with Itza? Nah, no, it's not enough. Alright, where are we sending Vectik? That is good, good. I can go and finish off Averland, which will probably constantly annoy me otherwise. No, just peace out with them. Talk. It's not convenient to go up that way. Let's be done with that. Yes. Good. Then we can redirect our energy to go and probably attack Wissenland would be better. But let's finish off the Golden Order first. Turn them to Lovely videos, Legend. Glad to see you streaming. Thanks, dude. I'm glad to be here. Sometimes. <laughs> I wish the regular Warlock Master got a range move like Ikit. Maybe not as strong, but something. Yeah, but that'd make them overpowered. I wish regular Warlock Engineers were as strong as Ikit Claw. <laughs> Why can't every Lord have flamethrowers? Uh, pointless video lover did a ten dollars for chat. I swear you always say no defeat or imply no defeat and always get defeated. Disappointed. Okay, thanks for super chat, dude. Yeah, I've suffered so many, so many crushing, debilitating, uh, debilitating defeats in this campaign. It's been awful. I just suck so bad with Skaven. April Falls. <laughs> All right, more research rate. Yeah, like I told you, as soon as you research that, you get tons of these. I don't know where to put all these damn. Things. I need more um, Warlock Engineers. Alright. So if we're going to attack Wissenland... Where'd my other hero go? There he is. My hand hovers close to my blade. They also own Flensburg, and that's where the majority of their forces are. It just takes longer to get there than it does over here. Why does it think that's the shortest distance? That's weird. Deliver your missive and then get from my. 
Here's the problem. If I walk away from Avalon, this isn't going to be developed. So I go over here, sell that over to the vampires. Could work. Hmm. I think we're in good enough shape. Hang on, where's my spy again? I sent them both out that way. Just wondering if I should force march. To there, I won't get any replenishment. Mm. So I won't reach them from here next turn. Whereas if I force march over here, I'll reach them next turn, no problem. That being said, Vlad is probably in this area fairly strong. He might just handle that himself. Yeah, look, he's got a military presence. He'll probably just handle that. All right, let's force march down to here. That way, I can hit Wissenberg next turn. And oh, that region's got bad winds of magic. Damn it! I want a scary move. I need winds of magic. Magic winds, my mind. All right, maybe it's not that important that we rush everything. I'll come around this way, go into channeling stance, get some winds of magic, and if I can reach there next turn, which I won't be able to, um, so be it. That's fine. So guilt's gone. Our borders are fairly secure. Good amount of income. We have four active armies. That's right, this guy here needs to occupy Tabaro. Uh, okay, just colonize a tier one. And then see you later. Good. Good, that secures this province for us. I did actually build the resource building there, so you know what, I'll do it here, since I think this is my... Actually, let me just check. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Alright, we need to be increasing our capacity for Warlock Engineers. Grenstad is relatively safe now. I guess I could start building that up. These regions are relatively safe. Seems unlikely we're going to get attacked by our ally. Nuja. Yep, we can develop that. That's safe. Tabaro can be developed. Forest of Gloom. I did say I was going to, like, abandon it at some point. Oh, it's going to revolt again real soon. Eh, fine. More food. Okay, that looks good. Let's have a look what's available. Nothing. Check the heroes, see if there's anything good. Nope. Nope. Yep. But I gotta hurry up and get this capacity up. Ah, I don't want cunning that one. <laughs> I have to recruit and disband it. Um, it means I need 850. Alright, who here doesn't hate me? Henry doesn't hate me. What if I offer to go to war with the most innocuous enemy? Somebody that I can negotiate with later down the track. Mm, okay, let's check someone else. No. Lord of the night. Oh, the deceivers are probably already defeated. Probably. I, Vlad von Karstein, welcome thee. <laughs> that's not enough. Okay, that's not gonna work. I need enough need money to do this. Um Ostland 
Tangle Backland. Uh, let me see if there's somebody else. Bone Rattlers. Great leader. Oh yeah, Pestilence. Offer to join war against join pestilence Bordelo Errantry. There we go, there's the money that I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, Good stuff. Be pretty funny if they cross the ocean to come and attack me. Alright, so I need to recruit and disband that piece of crap. That's the only thing that I'm worried about there. Okay, at Argolis build, that's a bit of extra money left over from that deal. Cool. Let's see if I can get out of that war straight away. That'd be hilarious. What? No evil no. doer may receive the blessings of the lady. Envoy of Council. Mm -hmm, that's all good. Off you get. Alright, so with him, yeah, we've gone down enough of the red line. Time to try to reduce the upkeep cost a little bit. So we can reduce it by 17%. That's good. Because he's already reduced it by a lot. Yeah, 50% off on those. Okay. Uh, random name 55, the 10 loss Hey, Legend, what's your preferred way to deal with Grail Knights? Hang on. Um, and Hippo Spammer Slanesh. My grinders are getting Shreked. Love your content, thanks. Oh, man, I tell you what, I have not played a late campaign Slanesh campaign. So, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I've had to deal with it. Um, so, I don't know. Sorry. I just, I don't play enough Slanesh to have an answer for you. Um, I don't know. Ask the chat. Thanks for Super Chat, though. I usually just, whatever army I've got, I just find a way to deal with it. I don't have any specific... Like, I don't ever think to myself, Oh, that faction has that unit. I need to make sure that I counter it some way. I just never think that way. So you're asking me a question that basically just does not compute. I just don't play that way. Like, if I rock into Bretonia and they've got Hippogriff Knights and Grail Knights, and I don't have the right units to, to handle it, I just figure it out somehow. Whatever unit I've got, I just find a way to mitigate their strength. You know, go fight in the forest, use choke points, use magic, lure them away. You know, if there's something in the enemy army that I don't want to deal with, I try to nullify it somehow. Alright, I still gotta keep doing this, but I'm out of money. Alright, moving on. I got my heroes. Yep, just keep an eye on all this. Pets serve me. Mm, that could be delicious food. Alright, looks like we'll wipe out Carcassonne. Oh, hang on a second, hang on a second, hang on a second. I don't know if I want to do that. Because if I, if I occupy this, I will discover the High Elves. And they, I don't like fighting High Elves. <laughs> uh, I don't want to go to Ulthwan, I don't want to deal with them. How's things going over here? Alright, there's there's corruption. Slanesh corruption. How how preoccupied are the high elves right now? They don't seem that preoccupied. It seems like Marathi is only here. Which leaves the other guys pretty much not doing anything. Can I peace out here? No. What I could do is maybe just sack it and put an Undercity there, and then just don't occupy it. That could work. Because yeah, as soon as I occupy that, I'll discover the High Elves, and that causes problems. Like that Saving Disaster campaign from like a week ago. Alright, moving on. Royal to Spears. Oh shit, I forgot about this army. 
<laughs> oh well. Um, Marauder Spears, like, they're anti-large, but they're so low tier that they're not really going to do anything to those t type of units. Before Storm Demon is charged to pulverize you. Uh, same enemies, check. Friendly, check. I mean, they are. They are green skin, so. Is Nakari dead? Nakari usually ends up dead, so I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, they've got another settlement up there at Aqu Aquitaine as well. We'll probably still discover them. Not unless I occupy it. If you just sack the settlement, you don't gain line of sight over the, the sea. I don't care what my allies are up to. They consider me their main threat, that's why they're being that way. All hail, honored rat. Mm, that was close. Army, there's a smaller army there than it was before. My so something must have happened. Nope, they just switched their armies around. Fair enough. Never. Of doom. Hmm. Good amount of magic there. That's good. Is it just me or did that fill me up completely? I thought it was at like a hundred. Maybe that was Zika Claw. Oh, Zika Claw, right. Um. Hmm. Your words are yeah, they usually leave a large army in here. But honestly, fighting in Atholoran in, in the minor cinema battles is not that tough. Yeah, before I forget again, let's pop this down. Yeah, just tier one will be fine. Yeah, that's fine. Get repair that, that's fine. Okay, yeah, I'll just go up here and take their undefended settlements. That's fine by me. He does not want peace. What are the other enemies? Scabby iron. So it was the wood elves that destroyed um, Heinrich Kemmler. Yeah, I can't really declare war on Talson without also declaring war on all these guys. He's got no enemies. He's, he's likely to pick a fight with me, I think. At which point, these wouldn't get dragged in, because none of them are military allies. Hmm. Another thing I could do is just outright blow up the settlement. Doesn't really have us, doesn't give us much advantage. This area sucks. Hmm. Alright, I think we'll go into encamp stance. We have much to discuss, and thou art most welcome. Yeah, I wouldn't mind getting an alliance with him just in case. 
we get declared war on by them. I could maybe do that next turn. We got military access here, don't we? Yeah, no, wait, we don't have military access. My side, and let us discuss mutually beneficial matters. Okay, I can get military access this way because I really don't want to piss Vlad off. The last thing I want to do is fight him. Going to war with Tower Backlands, no big deal. Looks like they got the hands full anyway. But then again, I'm going to go to war with Wissenland anyway, so I might as well just give them a turn's preparation. Plus, I'll get more money for that. By the comet. Thing is, though, I don't want to get attacked by these armies. I want to be the attacker. I only need to move a little bit up this way and I'll be able to attack them next turn. Just a tiny little, tiny, tiny little bit. Oh, did I? Oh, God, I trespassed. <laughs> I didn't make the decision first. Whoops. Well, I guess, look, it's only 10. It'll go away. It's fine. Just stay like this and we'll do it next turn. Yeah, I'll get a little bit closer. Yeah, 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 this is fine. Is that blood? No. Okay. Now, what are we doing over here? Like I said, I don't want to occupy this because of Ulthwan. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't worry about it. I mean, the campaign's going in really good shape. Maybe I'm just being... Hang on, give me two. Yeah! Not a single one that's given us two in that, this campaign. What a waste. No, no! Yeah, I think I'll just just get on with it and occupy it. Wood Elves will probably not declare war on me if I'm stronger than them, and I'm pretty strong. And I've got enough money and income that I can raise an army pretty quickly to handle it. So, yeah, it'll be fine. Alright, checking for heroes over here. Let's see what's available. Still available. Should be available for a few more... Why? I don't want cunning Eshin sorcerers every fucking turn. Yeah, we need to start getting more of the cunning plague priest, so that's really important, right? Yep, we need this as well. And this, yep. And that uses up most of our money. Relatively safe there. And they used up all of my money. Okay. All hail Hornet Rat. Absolutely not. So yeah, it'd definitely be good to get the jump on here, but if Carl Franz is hovering around here, that's not great for us either. So it might be best to uh, occupy it and then sell it over to them, yeah, because I want to get an alliance with them. Alright, let's move on. Did you see the new Warpstone jewelry from Games Workshop? April Fool's joke? Okay, well, if he's gone away, that makes us safer to hold on for a turn. Backstab Vlad right now. Bigger fish to fry right now. 
can't fight everyone everywhere, or else we won't be able to expand. So pick your battles. Backstab Vlad when it's actually worth it to us. Also, by getting an alliance with Vlad, we can backstab him actually a lot easier. It's, it's a lot easier to backstab your allies than your enemies. Because what I want to do is get an alliance with Vlad and then declare war on Azag and have them basically kill each other. Everyone's going to revolt. Should be fine. The garrison there, yeah, yeah, it'll be fine. As long as I recruit a lord there to ambush it, it should be fine. They've backed off from this position. Or did it get sacked? They lost everything. Okay, so... No harm and... Okay, whatever. All right, let's join war against Whistleland. Get military access. He wants need promotion. Yeah, Carl Franz is too far away to do anything to us. So, nice easy victory here. And I think I'll sell it over to Vlad. Mm, I'll sell it to Vlad if it's ever in danger or if it looks, looks like it's going to revolt. Let's leave it at tier 1. And we'll build a military building here so that I can get a better price for it. The vermin tide. But yeah, where I actually want to be going, Nuln. Okay. Yep, awesome. Did you trespass on Vlad before getting military access? Yes, I did. It'll be fine. You'll get over it. It's only minus 10 relation, and they get over it pretty quick. If you have a look here... Yeah, it's already at minus 9. It's fine. It'll be fine. Ooh, what happened there? Oh, wait, I guess he was always there before. So, Azag will probably declare war on me. That's why I need to get this alliance with him. If I give him... Flensburg now. Okay, I can get the alliance now. I'd rather get the military alliance. Thing is, we don't have long, I think, before Azag declares war. He's still got... Yeah, he's still very strong. And I need to get this alliance before... Before that happens. But also, if I stand out here, I'm going to take attrition. So we've got to stay here for at least a turn. There is a cult somewhere around here. Uh, pointless video, love it, did $5 Super Joe. Just curious, think you would rake in more cash joining the Aussie Air Force than what you are pulling now? Uh, no. <laughs> Thanks for Super Chat. Uh, definitely not. Maybe if I was a fucking field marshal. Bigger warp forges! Alright, I'm going to occupy it. It's a bit of a risk, but I'm going to occupy it. Storm Demon! Take for Scryer! Oh! Oh, I didn't meet them! Nice! I thought I would meet them, but I didn't. Alright, awesome. But we did meet Bellacor. the shadows. He likes us. Might become allies. All right. Yeah. Okay. Why not? I could always use another trade agreement. More money. Less problems. All right. Sacred pools is a region that I don't see myself occupying anytime soon. And that'll give me the Warlock Engineer capacity that I needed. And then just, just stick that in for food. So, there is someone in here that I've wanted to get for a while. Good, there he is. Alright, now... We've definitely got the money to raise another army. But where should we raise it? Well, this is where we've got military presence. 
Uh, sorry, um, the, yeah, the whatever. Also, each of these buildings gives us extra local recruitment capacity, so I could recruit it fairly quickly from here. Now, another thing that I could do is just recruit the hero and then just send it off to go and secure research, which can give us more um, warp fuel, and just worry about that later. Another thing that I can do with him is attach it to Ikaclaw, because he needs another one of these Warlock Engineers. Because this guy here has got two, right? Yeah, he's got two. That's what I like, like two of them in an army. Uh, and that'll give him a chance to train up. All right, let, let's do that. I'm going to recruit this Warlock Engineer that's cunning. Warlock Engineer! Yep. Cunning, thank you very much. Because I'm not ready to recruit another army just this very second. Oh, I tell you what we can do. We can always just respec him, if I want to bring him back quickly. And we'll just go down and secure some extra research, which which could give us some warp fuel. The success rate, if we have a look, is 55%. So, yeah, there we go. You'll definitely meet them once you get to Leonis, Leonis though? Yes. That's for sure. But I'm not at war with Corone, which that's likely to change. That's fine. Where are my schematics? Let's put some money building that. Could always use more cash. Alright, then research virulent plans. That's awesome. That gives us a bit more buffer here because we're getting close to our max food. That gets us over 400. Oh, that's kind of important. Also, I need to recruit a lord here so that we can ambush what's coming. This guy's getting closest to level 15. Master engineer. Level 13 needed. Um, yep. Okay, that's good. Just stays there, he'll be ready to ambush as of next turn. His ambush success chance is currently 85%. So yeah, that looks that looks pretty good. Wait, hang on. 60%. That, that should work. Because it'll probably be just a generic Skaven revolt. Alright, checking for other heroes, see what's available. Oh yeah, let's check. We need to start getting them ready. We need to start preparing for our next army. Yep, that's fine. Akendorf's pretty safe, but we do need more capacity for those. Can you recruit a Brood Horror stack, or is it not viable in Scryer? Oh, you can definitely do it in Scryer. It's best to do that in Clan Molder, obviously. But you can definitely make it work. Um, what I'd prefer to do, rather than make a Brood Horror Doom stack, is actually make a Packmaster Doom stack. That are all disciplined, but that, that takes a little while to do that. We're definitely in no rush. Magritte is definitely a settlement that could come under attack from Rapance, especially if I go in piss her off. You know, I've spent most of the money. Alright, Fars... Just leave that thing. Alright, um... Check for revolts. Definitely gonna revolt there. This is... nine turns away. Skaven Blight hit tier four. I'm gonna... There's nothing here that needs to be built straight away. Yeah, that can all wait. Alright, there shouldn't be any more revolts. Uh, yeah, build that, because I, I want to get this growth going. Uh, food, I mean. Good, and let's move on. Are the Assassin Lords any good? They can be good, yeah. I'm playing Clan Scryer though, you kind of want to get the uh, uh, the Warlock Engineer Masters. Master Warlock Engineer, whatever the fuck they're called. The Chief Product Officers. Every campaign is a no defeat campaign until you get defeated. Yep, 
That's right. What's so important about cunning? Is it the ambush chance stacking? Yeah, that's exactly it. Ambush success chance with Skaven is super good. It allows you to like bypass the um, encamp stance. No, 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 I didn't know you were there! <laughs> um, okay. Shit. That's 120 food going down the drain, because I don't think we built the defensive building. Um, I will do my best to win. I just didn't know they were there. Yeah. This is this is one where it's worth using a nuke on. Um, we've got a very... Yeah, okay. Okay. Is it worth doing this? No. Now we get the four. The four will be used on them. What's the? De it's always the same defensive structure. This guy here is of life. Shit! I'm surprised they're actually giving us that. So this is actually a like if we lose this, this is actually a bad defeat because that's 120 food wasted, and I got to backtrack. It's going to be very difficult to deal with these heroes. Very difficult. I'm very surprised that the auto resolve is saying this. I don't think extra minutes below is really going to help very much. I think it's all going to come down to the nuke, and if I can manage to nuke all these ones. Alright, let's jump in, see what I can do. Obviously, we want to try to save it. So we're outnumbered by six units. And of course, all of their units are better than most of our units. We have to try to find some way to get this tree man to lag behind here, be super slow. We've improved the overall leadership of our army since the last time. Because we've got a technology that we should boost them. The defensive position up here worked really well last time, so we'll keep that up. We don't have artillery either. That sucks. This one over here. This time we want to get the explosive tower. Alright, one of those there. Hold this position. That worked out really well for us. Now, I had regrets putting these guys up on the walls last time against the ogres. So I'll use a shitty clan rat spear. That's uh, just clan rats, actually. Yeah, low tier towers. Yeah, this stuff happens. I'll do the best I can, but it's not doesn't look good. All right, spread them out. Spread them. That's another thing. The ogres are all large units, so how quick are our guys? Forty-two. How quick are dryads? 43, okay. I'm actually not sure if holding this ground here is going to be worth it. What we should probably do is just get the towers to do a tiny little bit of damage and then start falling back pretty much immediately. Really try to dish out damage to the dryads because I think they're going to be the biggest problem. Alright, and I'll just do the best I can. I'm not feeling confident about this at all. We're going to need to see some real stupidity out of the AI. And we need 2,000 supplies, which actually shouldn't be too difficult, before we build the tower. And that tower should do a ton of damage. But if the defensive structure had just been built, it would have made such a big difference. But I'm not going to sit around in the settlement waiting for four turns. I'd rather come back and conquer it. Yes, yes. We also shouldn't put Menace Below's... That actually could work right there. 
They might turn back around to try to deal with it as well. No, 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 don't run back. Run forward. No, 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 no. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Go. Get back. Time to get back. Get over this way. Run that way. Maybe I should have ordered more mess below. Tempting to put a nuke down right there. Alright, so the towers, you know, they did a bit of damage. Start getting back over there. But holding the walls makes no sense whatsoever. That one there did a little bit of damage, not that many kills. Probably not that good of use of it. Stupid restrict camera. Okay, keep moving. Don't fall back. Alright, then we need to build a bunch of small small time towers just to damage them as much as we can on the way. Yeah, this is very dangerous friggin' army here. Yeah, do our garrison that is. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't be shit. Come on. Bloody need babysitting because like one rat got left behind. No good opportunities here for nukes just yet. going on here with this one? It's getting shot by that. That's okay, that one's kind of wasting its ammo shooting at a clan rat, so that's fine. There's no good opportunities for nukes yet. Just gotta wait for an opportunity. Towers did a little bit of damage. Come on, man, what are you doing? Alright, that tower's ready, so that's good. And, you know, 80 leadership. Well, actually, we'll go down to 70 once we lose this position. That'll hold for a little bit. Okay, we need to start building some shitty towers. Mm, yeah, just go loads of low tier towers all over the place. This guy should make it back here. Pretty minimal damage. I think he traded well there. And they've got to use a good nuke. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, well, it's only 500. That's a bad place for... that to be tethered. Alright, there doesn't seem to be any good positions now for towers. Get that build so we get extra ammunition where possible. Right, I'm going to try to kill this unit because it's nice and isolated. And like I said before, the archers are kind of a big concern. Okay, that's doing pretty well. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're just trying to outrun the summon now. Okay. I'm not sure if this guy here is going to be able to make it back. Do the best he can. Yeah, if you can, escort the... Ugh, you're not going to be able to. It'll rally probably before it leaves. Yeah, you guys get over here real quick. I might be able to shoot down here. Jacob Erickson did a ten dollars super chat diaper fund for you. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. All right, I wish there was somewhere I could spend these supply points, but anywhere I spend it will just get wasted. Not sure if this guy's gonna be able to make it back. Oh, they're actually not faster than them. You just have to stand and fight. Don't have a choice there. Popping out a nuke on one unit would be such a bloody waste. So that's sometimes the big downside of leaving an infantry unit up on the walls like that. You just eventually get caught. But at least two out of three of them got back. Okay, you guys just stand still so I can shoot you. Good, that's a dangerous unit, and we're dishing out some good damage there. Yes, yes. Tempting to use a nuke on just that. Um, yeah, try to get rid of this here. Like I said, their archers are the biggest concern. Don't know why they bother trying to shoot this when they're just going to cap it. I'm liking this, though. Killing that hero would be a big win for us. Really big win. Because I can replenish our ammo very easily. You should be shooting these guys over here. Problem is, they've got a life wizard, so they could heal. Good amount of damage done to those blade guards, but I've only got one of these left. ammo we've got. It's not going to be an issue. i got one of these left. Okay, how are we going over here? Right, move, move these back a little bit and move these over to here so that I can shoot into their flanks. Oh, yeah, we can't be getting sure. Oh, wait until they get in range and then we'll pop down the menace below. a little bit more. Maybe angle it just a bit. Okay, here we go. Maybe shoot at these blade guard here. Like I said, they're kind of a big concern. Oh, fuck, our guys broke straight away. Alright, here we go. The main fight begins. Get a bit closer. 
guys get a bit further back, trying to create a bit of a kill zone here. I think this is where we'll probably put down the nuke. Maybe. Thing is, oh god, they didn't... <laughs> they didn't go where I wanted them to. Alright, send a unit of... No, I can't nuke that, it's not very good. That's not very good either. There's no really good nuke positions, this isn't... I don't know if I can win this. Okay, I need you over here. If I could at least kill this hero, that would be good. Get back over here. Actually, no. Hold that position right there. Make it easier for this tower to shoot. It's shooting at my tower here. Alright, if I want to have any chance of winning, i got to get rid of this. Yeah. I don't know why I bother. Uh, there's, there's no hope. They're just too strong. They've got a Mortis engine, I think, here. I'm not sure what's... Yeah, we can't win this. Just too strong. Well, that unit there got wiped out. Wood Elves are just too difficult to deal with with rubbish units. I think. Look how much damage they've taken just straight away. Is that a Mortis Engine one? No, it... No, it isn't. You guys just aren't doing any damage. Still didn't want to lose that tower. And look, they're trying to destroy the, um, the barricade here. There's no hope. Upgrade the tower. It's maximum. Tier 4. Wasted a nuke. That's alright, we got to play nukes. I'll just have to send you claw back here to recapture it. It sucks, but it's hardly the end of the campaign. So it's fine. I reckon... It's always the bloody wood elves that cause me the most amount of trouble. I just can't do anything about it. Try to restore the ammo as much as I can before we lose that. That's a lot of financial loss there. Oh, there's just there's so little that I can do against these kind of units. This one here is about to be destroyed. If we pop this down, <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, but got to do something. That one storm vermin there, dishing out not that much damage. These guys here can't get good shots on that one. I'd love to be able to kill this hero, but he's just just really close to death, but I can't actually get to it. So yeah, this is definitely not like one of those defeats that I call a victory. This is an actual defeat here. This is a big loss. It's alright. Can't do much about it. Yeah. Our front line was just useless against the Wood Elves. They're too strong. 
Just trying to dish out as much damage as possible so it's easy for Ikaclaw to finish them off. He'll have no trouble recapturing it. It's just a bit of a backtrack. So it takes two turns to get back here. Can't do anything if they're in melee. But I've also got to try and hold on here. Try to focus on wiping out as many units as possible. Oh yeah, like that's going to do anything. Come on. There we go, there we go. Army lost. Well, basically what Order Resolve said. Yeah. What Elves are just really hard to fight manually. This is why I usually try to Order Resolve it. I thought, I think that the Order Resolver was absolutely joking. <laughs> Th thinking that this was relatively close. So close on that one hero. Yeah, yeah. It's alright, Ikaclaw won't struggle with this at all. It's just, it would have been nice to actually win. If we had of actually finished the defensive structure here, that would have given us a much better chance because it would have given us artillery and some more storm vermin, I think. Because they're the only ones that stood any chance of holding them back. And it also would have given us a gutter runner. That being said, we we did lose by a fair bit. Just too strong. Okay, at least we know now where all of Arguilon's forces are, so no more surprises from them. Alright, so just forget about Brion, just go straight back to Carcassonne, rebuild that. Gorb did a $50 super chat. Have any advice to keep going in life? I'm tired, boss. Good luck with your first kid. You'll be a cool dad. <laughs> well, that ended a bit depressing. Um, I do not have advice for that, sorry. Um, you just gotta set yourself a goal and try to work towards it. You know? Life gets everyone down. Just know that you're not alone. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate it. Oh, this might wipe out the deceivers. Let me just check. I might walk them. and thou art most welcome. I will permit it. Yeah, they don't have any armies left, so this actually might wipe them out. No, it didn't. But it's okay. Being a war them doesn't really do anything. All right. Over here. Well, we got a heap load of food, so it's fine. Getting 120 food is actually pretty easy now. And yeah. Okay. And we get rid of you. Alright, I can't get Ica back there in one turn. I'm gonna get my revenge on them. If they were to go to build Bali, that'd be a completely different story. The defenses here are, are built. It just takes four turns to build them. Alright. Low magic. I'm gonna need to go into channel extents. We're at full magic. Don't worry about Brion. Maybe what I could do is sell it to someone to for some shenanigans. Let me just see. Not one step further, stranger. You do not walk my lands without my blessing, which you don't have. Yeah, I didn't think that would work. Go, go, go! Yeah, I want them to know that I'm here, so that they s try to stay there. They'll probably run away though. If I go around this way here, 
and they try to go this way, I should be able to catch up to them, because I got extra campaign movement range. But so do they as well. Mm. Okay. I guess we'll have to see how cowardly they are. Still, we're taking his other territory out here. I don't think there's anything up here. Let's force march for it. That is actually a lot stronger than I thought it would be. I need some extra troops for that. No one will be easy. Probably order resolve. Yep. So Vectig's got it quite easy out here. I don't have enough movement to be able to sack and occupy, so we'll just loot and occupy there. Another tier 5 settlement for us, so that's good. Yeah, it kind of sucks to have to backtrack. I usually like to always move forward, but sitting around here waiting for things to construct constantly, that's fine in a no-defeat campaign, but you just suffer these kind of defeats every now and again if you don't sit around waiting for things to get built. No fast week. Okay, maybe we should have some more scouting Most over this way. Okay. Yeah, knowing these guys, what they'll probably do is run Force March over this way. So, if they're going to do that, and Ikaclaw can't reach them... What I might be better off doing is actually Force Marching to here. That way, they, they can't go that way. And if they want to go to Brion, that's fine, I don't care about that settlement. They're not going to attack me in this situation here. Even if I'm in Force March, they're not going to attack us. And if they do, that's just their funeral. Let the bell scream, scream. Okay, I should send Vectik this direction, not down south. Just use a shitlord to sort this out. So I'll recruit a whole bunch of crap to, to get them. Get that warlock master. That's because we gotta get one at level fifteen. All right, you'll you'll do. And I'll just recruit some low warlock tier crap to go sort out. Don't need ambush success. Okay, let's get just auto resolve army will do. So plague monks will do just fine because they're pretty good in auto resolve. And I can globally recruit Plague Claw Catapults in one turn. How many do I need here? Eight. Okay. Can also globally recruit them in one turn. Yeah, these are cheaper. I just need something to come in here, order resolve it, and then just move on. That should be sufficient. If I have to fight it manually, it'll be fine. Because their garrisons are rubbish. So that'll be fine. Alright, what are we doing next? Now watch how the Wood Elves pull a third army. No, because I took out their other army recently. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. There, okay, there is an army. It's sitting in Waterfall Palace. It's got eight units. It's not going to show up over here. So it's fine. Alright. Let's see what to do next. Oh, they used up all my money. And have a little look for heroes. Uh, okay, 
Darbat Tabara right away. I really need Plague Priests. That have cunning. You what? Missile. Yep, just come down over here. Alright, research. Yeah, I was trying to get along this way here. Exploit criminals is good. Our research rate's now 284. If I'm going to be recruiting and disbanding, that can save us quite a bit of money every turn. And that's needed for oppressive plans anyway. So let's go do that. And the lord that I just recruited over here, do you have... No, you don't have it, so you get yourself... Bell Polisher and the Hellpit Attendant. That's good. Did I end up giving this guy here the Hellpit Attendant? I can't remember. I didn't. Let's give him one. So, 300%. Saves us a bit more time. That's good. Yeah, we've got to try and save a bit more money. I know we got shitloads of money coming through, but so much stuff i got to spend money on. I think we'll need to go send a force into Athel Lauren to go and clear it out, if they're going to be annoying us like this. I can't leave Argwell on alive after that. Problem is, I have to... Declare war on bloody all of it. Athalor is my least favorite place to go and invade. And weapons team's army inside of Athalor are not good. Okay, let's move on. Time to roll monster and start campaign. What? Good, good. Kill devices. Oh. Um. Yeah, okay, why not? <laughs> why not? I can still destroy his, um, cults whenever I see them. Free money. What's your favorite place to invade? Usually the Empire. Empire is kind of really easy to invade. A lot of factions that kind of suck. Yeah, okay. At least they didn't go towards the other location. It doesn't bother me if he takes Brion. So that was the army that I think was at Waterfall Palace. It looks like we're going to have to play shenanigans, as in capture the settlement back, start rebuilding the defenses, and then go into ambush dance and try to lure them in, because they're not going to engage with us otherwise. What did you just find? Oh, the green skins jumped in there. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotcha. I gotcha. Our chance of ambush is oh, 60%. Um... I'd much rather kill this. It's only 60%. If I don't ambush him, all I'm doing is pushing him closer towards Brion. Oh, that's really good. So the odds... The, it's odds are in our favor, but there is a decent chance that this won't work. Just gotta roll the dice. Got him. Revenge. Got him. Good. Die. Which kill device to use? Got my revenge. And thanks for the food. Gonna need that. Take the replenishment. Oh, no, no, no. We, we'll be fine. Because it's easy to fight out here. Easy to replenish, I mean. Good, good, good. Alright, now I just gotta get that settlement back. Scotty's 
It's not great that we keep sapping our winds of magic. That's getting pretty bad. I really don't want to be fighting in this area. And yeah, there's this one here. Not That's not going to do anything. Hopefully it actually sits in here, but I, I, I doubt it. Dirthu is on the way. And he was on the way. I don't know where he is now. Okay, that's all fine. Alright, we can't launch the attack there this turn. So just go up here in Encamp Stance and pick up some more of these just so I can auto-resolve that. Should be fairly easy. And... Oh, shit, okay. It's a larger army than I thought. Back off a bit. Wouldn't have been out of ambush anyway. And now I don't have the movement to finish off Wissenland. Wissenberg. No. Alright. Doomonger. Yeah, they always position themselves in such a way that makes it really annoying to get at them. Just looking around here, I was going to send Vectique forward, but there's no point. You really don't want these like small armies going around and capturing minor settlements. That's not ideal. The chances of us actually ambushing that is pretty much zero because it's not owned territory. Alright, I'm going to take this settlement here. Do you have the game installed on SSD? Yes, I do. Alright, just take that. Yeah, tier one's fine. Alpha Tazimov did a BGN 10 super chat. I'm in pain tomorrow, going to the doctor. Oh, sorry to hear that you're in pain. I uh, hope it all goes well for you. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Just stand there. I don't think this guy will attack us, but he might. And we got a warp bomb here. Two warp bombs. And I'll just get some more plague monks. I definitely don't want to keep this. He might also swing around. Yeah, he can actually reach this settlement here. We've got 11 units, but it's a piece of shit. could block him off if I force march to here, but then I... Because the thing is, he's he's recruiting. If I force march to there, they'll probably attack us, but there's a chance I can win. Not likely. Alright, I'm going to do that, because I, I want to... I just don't want to have to be chasing them forever. Just do or die. Come over to here. Okay, by doing that, we have... No, he can still make it to here. But I'll be able to counter-attack him if he does that. So what I think is going to happen, I think he's going to attack us here. I'll just do the best I can. I'm pretty sure I can win that. Uh, what I could also do as well, I could respec you. Put in this guy, and that way I don't have to be in force march. Master engineer. That'll give us a bit of a better chance. Then we've got this. This will help us generate more food, so that's good. How's the campaign going? Pretty good, but we got a few little loose ends that are annoying us at the moment. But the campaign's pretty strong. Basically, when you get really big and you've only got two armies, enemies can sort of slip through, unknown, and capture your settlements. Skaven don't have good garrisons at all. They used to be better in Warhammer 2, but in Warhammer 3, their garrisons are absolute trash, so it makes it difficult to defend settlements. Our armies are unstoppable. Our proper armies, that is. But the enemy don't go for your armies. 
So I'm putting out a few fires at the moment, which has been annoying. Alright, let's pop this down. Steal for 55%. Good success. So that's more research rate. That'll help us out. And leveling up this guy is also helping us. Okay, I definitely want more cunning of those. Not getting too many cunning plague priests. I think I've still got some more saved up. I just want to try to get some more. Anyway. Got this here generating food. It's good. Alright, looking at pestilence. There's no rush to confederate them. They're looking in pretty good shape. Spittle. We have watched for a long, long time, thing. I could threaten them and confederate now, them, but that doesn't really give us any advantage. There's no legendary lord there. What? Yes, what? Yeah. yeah. Getting them into confederation is not, not essential. Okay, Avalon's on the border. It's a little bit dangerous here. We need to upgrade the defenses here. That's good. Grenstadt will also need defenses. Alright, I I need to make sure I am building this, because I still want to sell that to them for an alliance. He wants a promotion. I'll get that next turn. It's all good over here. Okay, out of money, let's have a look at where we need to um, check for revolts. Okay. Dothu might be hanging out in here. I'm not sure. Right, that's me done. Alright, then we've got a few levels up for Ikit Claw. Why cunning in particular? Well, none of the traits are particularly fantastic, but ambush success chance, even in your only in your local, local owned region, um, that's still really powerful if you stack it enough. It allows you to bypass and camp stance. And the difference between ambushing an enemy army and not ambushing it can be pretty massive. It can be the difference between victory and defeat in certain situations. Um, getting disciplined in these kind of armies is totally worthless. It doesn't boost your summons. So, it's just the best of what's available. And there are some situations where cunning can absolutely save your ass. Also, I could recruit some more here. Oh, I'm out of money. That's fine. I'll ignore that. Alright, I just realized that because this guy's in encamp stance, he's actually got a fair bit of movement. He could actually get back to Noln. Wouldn't that be bloody embarrassing if we lost that? But with that army there, if they were to attack Noln, because we've got some garrison here, it's just the really shit units that are damaged. I feel a lot more confident about being able to repel that. Maybe I'll put a lord in here just to for added protection. Just in case they get funny ideas. I want this guy to attack this army here, ideally. Alright. Vic Teague needs to try to save us some cash. And let's move on. Do you always occupy capital settlements to tier 5? Y usually I do, except in the very beginning of the campaign where you don't have enough supply for it. Uh, because you end up saving a lot of time, a lot of growth, and a lot of money by spending that amount of food. And it's pretty easy at this stage to get 120 food. Makes a huge difference. Also, we're only at turn 50-ish, and we've got a lot of tier 5 settlements. There's very few factions in the game that can do that. Oh. 
Oh, now you want to be friends again. He, We had a defensive alliance with him, and he broke it. So, it's got to pay to get it back. Yeah. We've definitely got to send Vectik north, so that other army has to be able to handle Nong. There's Durthu. This is fine. Actually, this could be good. It's only tier 1 settlement. Okay, he just sacked it. No big deal. That's nothing. Mm, they do have a few armies. Alright, he's going for it. Alright, probably say Valiant Defeat. Really? Um... Well, we get six Menace Belows, we got two Warp Bombs. We're only outnumbered by one unit. What's the map look like? Oh yeah, we got this. This... We're fine. Are you building an under empire or is it not worth it? I've got a couple of under cities, I just don't focus on it heavily. Because the only thing I use it for is to generate food. You could use it to generate some money, but I just don't find it that effective to do that. In your CA video, you talked about Total Warmer 40k like it's a sure thing. Why do you think that? Every single leak that is coming towards me, I've all confirmed the same thing about Warhammer 40k. So when you've got different sources telling you the exact same thing, it's it's pretty much a sure thing, right? Now, in other cases, I get conflicting reports, and I just give you what I think is the best answer. But when it comes to 40k, every source that I have is all singing the same tune. 40k is coming. Unless Creative Assembly gets shut down by Sega. Alright, you stay back, you go and be annoying to begin with. Alright, Outriders are a little bit annoying. But this is where it benefits being really small. It's already playing our music. So the bounce of power must be in our favor. Yeah, I didn't think it was close to feet. It's kind of weird. Gives us a really bad auto resolve in a battle that's actually very much in our favor. It gives us a good auto resolve for something like what happened at Carcassonne, which was not in our favor at all. That was not necessarily impossible, but really hard to win that one. Need to get very lucky, which we didn't. Hey, I didn't do anything stupid. Like that battle against Scrag yesterday. Scrag was being real stupid. He could have won that battle. Even though they're using up all their ammo, every single time we kill one of them, they're losing ammunition. I don't think we need to use a nuke here. So now that they've only got a few shots left, I'm not wasting my magic on it because it's just not a dangerous unit to use it on.
They're the attacker, but they're not advancing. Alright, let's get rid of these mortars. Okay, at least the mortars are off their artillery, so that's good. Couldn't get a warp bomb on that, because they didn't stay long enough to do that. May have to warp bomb one of these ones. Over here. Here. Okay, what I could do, though, I could um, warp lightning my own unit. If there's enough random, that could dish out enough damage. So here's what I'll do. I'll pull through... Because, yeah, using it on one swordsman is not really worth it. Okay, I'm going to zap my own unit there. <laughs> yeah, zap my own unit so that I can kill a whole bunch of them with... Come on, come on, a little bit more damage. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Quick! Damn it, I didn't do enough. Come on, quick, quick. There. Nice. Nice walk on that. Empire Knights are a little bit of a problem for those units. Just brace against it. When they charge in, this is where we really need to use the warp lightning on that unit. Try to close them off so they don't get away, if we can. Good. And we can see here, Emperor Knights. Oh, they fought some minutes below us before. Okay, this is all going pretty well. Yep, those Empire Knights got ripped to shreds. That was very silly of them to charge in like that. Can you tell ever fix the ogres while releasing 40k game? Their camp mechanic is still totally useless this day. Um, it is absolutely not totally useless. Um, but no, I don't think that they're going to improve the ogres much. I don't think that's going to be a priority for them. Creative Assembly doesn't exactly have much of a history of improving pre-order DLC factions. I mean, they might. I just, I wouldn't hold my breath on it. We've got this. What 
contract? Alright, ambulances. There we go. There we go. Cool. That went very nicely, I think. I don't know how to use Seitang as melee hero or artillery hero. Or one or both. You can do both. <laughs> Just practice. That's the way to do it. Why is there a cap of one... Cap of max one nuke per battle? I don't know. Just this. Probably to stop you from absolutely annihilating an army. Just using nukes. What's up with Plague Monk stack? I'm late to the party. This is an emergency army. I'm, I just recruited whatever was available. This is not a, a full standing army. So he was making his way down south. I just recruited whatever was available. I, I don't have access to a weapons team here. Let's go with replenishment because I still need him to capture that settlement. Black hunger be gone. Yeah, if you ever see me with weird armies, it's not because I want to recruit it. It's, it's just usually whatever's available. Master Engineer. Yeah, I don't need Vectic to sort that out. I want Vectic to sort this out over here. Alright. So... Ooh, Dirthu, you done fucked up, boy. Oh, but we need to use up this food. <laughs> okay, I got a choice here. I can either kill Durthu. There's always a chance that the ambush will fail. I can, I can either use up the food, or I can... Hang on, hang on. What if I spend the food at Wissenberg? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Or, or, or... I could do it Forest of Gloom. It's such a shit settlement. I'm not going to do that until I've gotten this territory out here. Um, okay, so Flensburg. I said I want to sell that to them. Oh, something for more than that. Okay, so it looks like we're going to be good friends with Vlad. Alright, done deal. I agree. So we are about 50 food away from maximum. If I go out this way, I'm not going to get much of an opportunity to spend it. But at the same time, if I don't clear out these armies, what's the point of pushing this to tier 5? If I capture this, they're just going to hang out on the edge here. And as soon as I leave, they're going to come in and capture it again. And I've got an opportunity here to knock out Durthu. There's always a chance it'll fail. He might stand and fight anyway. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that makes my decision a little bit easier. We don't want to get attacked over the end turn, even by this kind of trash. That's actually not too bad. So, yeah, go for Carcle, Castle Carcassonne. Looks like we're going to have to play it defensive here for a little bit while we clear out these armies. There we go, we never lost it. Okay, get that back up in here. And yeah, we'll probably have to actually wait for that to get built. Why do we only have 13? Oh, right, there's a whole bunch of, like, storm vermin and stuff that needs one turn, then they come back in full. So, don't care about Brion, let that get captured.
Certainly not. Okay. Another big problem here is that the longer we stay here, we're just going to deplete all of our magic, which is really bad. I just don't. This is not a good place to be staying right now. All right, we've got 14 units here. Should be able to order that. If not, manual resolve. I should be able to manage it. Uh, Rohan De 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 Hondial did a 200 rupees. Ah, oh, shit. Uh, super chat. Uh, congrats on 500k legend. I found your channel when I was still studying, and now I've started my first job, and you're at 500k. Uh, okay. Time flies, man. Find it hard to catch the live streams, but I love the videos. No, dude, good to have you here. Whenever you can. Appreciate you. Alright, I can hire some regiments of renown. Um, yep, grab this one and this one. That should be able to auto it then. Also, if we pop in this. There, that will boost them a little bit. Fight them! Yes, yes. Cause it's just an emergency army, because I just don't want to send Vectic up this way to capture garbage. Uh this is Fuck me, this is another settlement where we spend 120 food. So definitely occupy this one at tier one. Do you think there's any hope for a vampire count update? Maybe Nagash? Possibly, possibly. Okay, so they're giving us bad order resolve again. But there's no way we would lose. So I just gotta fight it manually, that's all. I don't wanna get Vectik over here, he has to go north. Any defeats yet? Oh yeah, I, I don't do no defeat campaigns with Skaven. It's uh, detrimental to your campaign to do that. Because Skaven, it can be really useful to actually lose a battle deliberately and mess around the, the enemy, rather than constantly be defensive in every situation. And have like minor... Because the Skaven garrisons are really bad absolutely atrocious and so trying to hold on to every single settlement and then building them up really slowly very detrimental to an overall campaign so I don't, I don't bother doing no defeats with Skaven it's not fun to do it either I actually like taking the odd defeat I don't deliberately lose it just depends everything depends on the situation yeah no defeat campaigns with Skaven I don't recommend it you definitely can do it. It's probably easier than Reichland. But I don't recommend it. Um, Over here, I'm just going to rush at them. Because like, we've got a whole bunch of anti-infantry. And they've got reinforcements coming in. And their infantry here are trash. Yep, that's all going just fine. Plague monks. These guys are going to show up just in time to get army lost. Steady kill! 
How'd you get all your units to attack different enemy units in one click? In con uh, in toggle, sorry, in uh, locked control group, so that's when the, the little lock is pressed, and you tell them to attack, they'll stay in formation and attack the closest thing to them. That looks good. Yeah, easy battle, but auto resolve just said we weren't gonna win. Load of bullshit. Oh wow, they didn't even bother trying to shoot. That's weird. What a dum dum. Don't need to protect the integrity of my army because we win here, this army gets disbanded. Because the emergency is over. Hey man, new subscriber, love your Medieval 2 content, great channel. Thanks dude, appreciate that. I need to get another Medieval 2 video out. They've been performing pretty well, but I find that I need to release them with a fair bit of gap between each episode. It's a bit weird. For food, it's because we didn't kill the Lord in the battle, but he gets wiped out anyway. Alright, we've only got a tiny bit of movement, so just loot and occupy that at tier 1. Alright, and then the whole of Wissenland is now under our control, with no one threatening our territory down here, so that's why I recruited this army. And this one may go away now, and he may have a helper attendant. Cool. See ya. Alright, our research rate is now at 334%, so it's going real well. Okay, that's why I didn't want to send Vectik over this way. And doesn't look like we need this guy here either. It was just in case Whistleland tried to run away this way. Just had to trap him in. Alright, yeah, you capture this. Don't worry about how much damage we take, because I, I was never going to keep this as a long-term army anyway. Look at the dog shit. Here we go. And we want to push this up to tier 5 as well. Still got okay amount of food. Enough for another tier 5 settlement. Uh, Jumper XY did a 2 euro super chat. Nice stream, big boy rat man. Cool, glad you like the stream. Cool. And... Oh, there's going to be a revulse. That's fine. That's fine. Just stay there, though. Don't don't disband. Need this and this. Okay. Cool. Chieftains to me. What? Alright, I don't think the Revolt will try to attack him straight away. Yes, yes. I don't think it will. And even if it is, it'll be a shit army. Chief okay. There's gonna be a Revolt here as well. That's no problem. Alright, now we need to move Vectik. Vectik needs to go and capture Karak Asgaraz. We've also got... Carl Franz trying to no. threaten Norn. Alright, here's what we do here. 
send him to here in ambush stance. Carl Franz's turn goes before the vampire count, so the vampire counts aren't going to pull it out of ambush stance. Yeah. And that looks like it's the end of Whistleland. That should be their last settlement. Yep, okay. The vampires will probably get to it before I do. Unless... I stand here and deliberately lose the battle for them. No, that's not going to work. That works better in Warhammer 2, because they'll just attack it again. They don't lose all their movement. Uh, and we're low on cash. Alright, we have three active armies. Let's check for other revolts in other locations. So, Forest of Gloom is going to revolt in two turns. Again. I don't have enough money for anything here. Okay. All good. Check to see diplomacy if there's anything good. Why bother? Uh, well, they're about to get wiped out. No, 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 don't bother. God make old sawbones. Mm. Yeah, we've got plenty of enemies, and if I can make a bit of extra cash from him, I'll do that. I can always stab him in the back later. Yep, and that gives us trade agreement with him. Awesome. Immediately. Tremble. The fool. The first. All right, that looks good. Salvage some items to get cash and build walls for that food settlement. Man, even if I sell all of my ancillaries, you don't make much money. But let's just show you. All right. It's not necessarily a bad idea, but let's have a look. I'll sell a few artifact hunters. They're not that important. Um, Clan Scryer Saboteurs. I've got plenty of them. That's not that important. Let's sell a few. Engineering students are shit. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, no, it's not. Um... Not selling a hell pit attendant. Man thing slaves. Are oh, I don't need that many. Wow, 800. Mechanic is shit, because I never build those equipment anyway, especially if it's Clan Scryer. Scavenger, that's shit, don't need that. And there we go, 1500. That's not nothing. That's not nothing. It's not really worth much, though. And let's see, where are we going to put that money? Let's go to Escape and Blight. Doesn't bother me if this revolts again. Just thinking what do we need. That'll also help with public order by one. Alright, go with that. And it'll give us a tiny bit of extra cash. Okay, moving on. Can I get a quick tip for Ikit, please? I always collapse because I expand too much and lose a fuck ton of food. I'm defo doing something wrong. Yeah, definitely. Um, Quick tip. Try... What's a quick tip for Ikki Claw? I don't know, like, you gotta do a lot of things right. That's, that's the thing with these campaigns, there's no quick tips that you can do. You know, do you build your armies correctly? Do you use your armies correctly? Do you go into ambush stance? Do you try to focus on ambushing? Um, do you use food to punch up your, um, your buildings to tier 5? Do you focus on getting food from your edicts? Loads of little things make a huge difference. No, I can't do that again. Try to focus as much as possible on gaining passive food. So, your undercities, in my opinion, you should focus on just getting a little bit of food out of them. Some people, when I download their disaster save files, they're wasting so much money and food you're trying to spread a hundred undercities all over the place. They're like, oh my god, Legend, I've got no money. But if they just 
demolished all of these buildings, er, their entire economy would be fine. So sometimes under cities might actually be your biggest problem. But yeah, big thing when playing Skaven is to focus in on those um, ambushes. And also, don't be afraid to suffer defeats. Like, this doesn't bother me at all. Danny Abdallah, subscribe with Prime, and Dumpster Trinket, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. But yeah, another tip is always be the attacker. You know, try to try not to be the defender in as, as many situations as possible. Being the attacker makes such a big difference when you're playing a Skaven. All right, we're in a good position. I'm glad I went into ambush dance. He wouldn't have stood in range if I hadn't gone into ambush dance. So yeah, we've got a bunch of armies just waiting for me to leave this area so they can come and attack it. Takes three turns to develop that. Three more turns. It's okay, we'll sort that out. Okay, and the council's voice. All right. Look, look at that. Garrison fully restored. Nice. Alright, if if we ambush this, which our chances are ninety percent, we should be able to drag in the garrison. Yeah, under cities was the problem now that I checked it. Thank you, Legend. Yeah, no worries. Like I said, common issues, I see it all the time. Um, it's not your fault. The game, oftentimes the game puts in traps for you, so sometimes building something isn't necessarily a good thing. But yeah, if you build your economy around food first and money second, and just don't, don't think too much about spreading your under cities, it's just not that important. Um, what am I doing? Just get the food. More slaves, more power. Okay. Now. There's only five units there. I guess we could send this guy to go do it. Because, yeah, money's fine. I don't need to disband it. Although, it would be good to disband these regiments of renown so I could replace them with other units. That being said, as well, it's not that much of a detour for Vectik. Alright, well, we've got this battle over here that we need to do. Absolutely not. Alright, ambushing Karl Franz seems pretty much the thing to do. How are we going with them? Yeah, he's, he's very happy with us. Cool. For and Pestilence is slowly getting more favorable towards us. That's good. So let me show you a few things as well that is really good for gaining food. As you can see here, like over this turn, I've gotten 74 food. All right, if we have a look, look for look for settlements that have pastures because that'll generate you six food at tier three, four food at tier one. Build this building here to tier four everywhere. Food generated plus one. This one here, food generated plus two. So that way, just passively making you food because every single settlement will consume food. If you have a look here, Settlement upkeep minus 40. That's because we've got 40 regions. So that's just the upkeep. So you want to make sure that some of these regions are actually providing you food. So wherever possible, make sure you consolidate your provinces so that you can pop down this edict. Another thing to keep in mind is Skaven corruption. Where possible, it can be good to actually own one settlement in a province. So one example of that, Karaza Karak, okay? If we have a look here, okay, that's a bad example, actually. If we have a look at, Schwa yeah, Schwarzhaven, that's a good example, right? 
We only own one region in this province, and we have no Skaven corruption. That means the Skaven corruption here is actually generating us three food and five control. So if you can stay in a region that has like vampiric attrition, uh, vampiric corruption, like this is a great situation. I'm generating loads of food here. More food than even if I occupy the entire province. Uh, well, as much food. No, no, it's more food because it's just not costing me extra food. So we're generating from this region here. Three food, minus one, plus four at the moment. Then go five. So it makes a lot of food. Then if we have a look at what I've done with Undercities over here. You set an Undercity out far away, so you don't have to have a look at it. I just build just one. Generates three food, no downside. And this one is just because it was a Warlock Engineer. So it's that's a Clan Scryer exclusive. And I got another one over here. You notice that I'm not building this. So this one here, consuming three food and 100 gold causes, you know, allows you to spread it out, but it could take you 20 turns before it actually spreads, which means 60 food to do that. Um, or, you know, it could happen on one turn. So you just got to keep in mind what's consuming food and try to keep that down as much as possible. Um, Alpa Tasimov did a BGN1 super chat. Thanks, dude. Alpa Tasimov became a member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. So less gave and corruption equals more food. Yep, exactly. That being said, if you own the entire province, don't bother trying to stop the Skaven Corruption because every single building, except for resource buildings, will um, increase Skaven Corruption. At that point, so in this one here, we're not going to gain any more food from from lack of Skaven Corruption. You gain the food, prioritize this one here, get that done. So with this build and this one here, this will at least not cost us any food. It's not going to gain us food. But it's not going to cost us anything either. If you have a look at Fort Salt, regions that don't, provinces that only have one region can be very good because it'll cost you one food, but then you'll get one food back with this. So that's actually making profit. Same thing over here. Moot's very good because we've got six minus one plus two. So it's making quite a lot of food. Pastures over here, that'll be good. Ambush success chance is 100%. But we're going to be going into enemy territory, so that'll change his ambush success chance. He'll probably stand and fight anyway. Uh, Baba Dewey did a five year submission. Hey, Legend, looks like it's been confirmed that Tamarkan is going to be Nurgle. Legendary Lord turns to decay. Looking forward to it. Yep, that seems to be the case. Appreciate the submission. Thank you. Okay, here's the problem. If I don't auto-resolve this, we won't be able to wipe him out utterly. And then I'll be stuck within some other settlement's zone of control. So I kind of need to auto-resolve this. Damage isn't going to be that bad. Yeah, that's fine. Can replenish and... Or... What about some money? Money will be fine. Because there's no other enemies in the area. This is why it's important to send guys out scouting. Yeah, yeah, this is fine. Seek, seek, target. All hail and this will be the end of them. Yep. You will fight. Ooh, you bit of damage die. on them, but it will be okay. And yeah, just keep this at tier one. Hunt out Okay, Whistleland's gone. Awesome. Okay, we've got another really good settlement here. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, we were trying to make our way down here. So we're now at 338 research rate. No Alright, once you go and into a camp stand, start making your way slowly through here. Actually, I'm... Yeah, no, no, I want you to... No, I don't want you to globally recruit. You'll be fine there. And just recruit shit. Yeah, just recruit this shit here. Because I only need to defeat five units, that'll be easy. Alright, now... Where does he think he's going? Probably thinks he's going to build Bali. Stay 
Raymond Wright's greatest, best inventor. It's no doubt great, yes? Deep in the very nice night. Mm. Monsters at my command. Your words and heart are hollow. My it's only a moment. It, it's only a matter of time before they declare war. Not possible. All right. Yeah, as soon as I go this way, this army will try to claim Castle Carcassonne. We've got full garrison there again, but the additional two Storm Vermin, a Gutter Runner, and a Plague Claw Catapult makes such a big difference in defending the settlement, plus the Warp Bomb. Plus they've got Ariel, got to be very careful about her. What could be good here is to go into Ambush Dance and try to lure them down here. That being said... Okay, here's what we do, here's what we do. Um, go into channeling stance. Okay, whose turn goes first? Bretonia or Wood Elves? Wood Elves go first. Okay, let's... Both of these armies are not particularly good, are they? I'm just thinking, if I stand right here, they might attack me. But they also might not. Hmm. If they go into ambush stance, what other enemies do they have? I'm their only enemy. But what they might do is sail towards Bilbali. Plus, if we don't go into channeling stance, we're going to keep depleting our magic. Alright, I'm going to put myself in a position to get attacked here. Now, if they attack me, I'm not going to stand and fight. I'm going to back off, but it's going to use up all their movement, allowing me to ambush them next turn. I don't think that they'll launch the attack, but I, I just don't want them sailing over here. I could start recruiting here, but I'm just not sure. More <laughs> yep, save me some cash. Good. But if they don't move, I'll be able to ambush that army next turn. So that's good. Well, if I do that, then this army might come down this way. Where's the other Wood Elf one? Deal. There was a second one, I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is, there it is. Um, hmm. Just wondering, should I go into Ambush Dance? Wood Elves go first. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go into Ambush Dance. We're gonna lose some Winds of Magic, but I think we'll be okay. And we'll see if they want to try to go for Castle Carcassonne. See if we can lure them down this way. Because I just, I just don't think that they think that they can beat us. Our army's too strong. If it was weaker, then yeah, we could lure them in that way. But that's, I don't think it's going to work. Too strong. Alright. All of our armies have moved. And let's do some construction. Actually, let's check for heroes first. Don't like discipline on my warlock engineers. Nope. That's yeah, fine. Alright, and construction time. Let's have a look. Alright, if we're going to do this constantly, there's a good chance that she will declare war on us fairly soon. She's so getting fairly strong. And if that happens, I need to make sure these settlements can at least somewhat defend themselves. Okay, that looks good. Yep, get that going. Alright. That'll do for the turn. Let's move on. Alright, we gotta check for rebellions. 
Alright, same thing as what we've done before here. Probably, okay, unless I get a sneaky character. Do I have one available? We got a Gracier of Plague that's sneaky. Okay, if I recruit this dude, and I put these points into that, do I have one of those items that... There's a there's a arcane item that provides um maybe it's a enchanted item that provides ambush success chance. I'm not sure if I've got it. Okay, get rid of the trickster shard. Got two skulls. I should give that away to someone. I don't think I've got any of them. Can't remember what it's called, but it's only about 5%. Goes into one of these two slots here, and it provides ambush success chance plus 5%. I think it's like a gray or a green item, but it's really useful for us. That's okay. So with this, 25% plus 30%, we should be able to bypass the... Um... No threat of a challenge. Yeah, we should be able to bypass the encamp stance that they're in. So if we look at that, we're at 85%. That means that it's 10% chance of ambush. And I could recruit a cunning guy here to get us to 20%. Okay. Scrying stone. Yeah, scrying stone. That's 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 what I'm thinking of, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've got one. Alright, what else is going to revolt? Let's have a look. So Forest of Gloom definitely gonna revolt. Nuln is probably gonna revolt soon. That's fine. The defenses are gonna be built, so that's fine. This one over here that already revolted. Carcassonne is fine. Mootland is fine. Alright, everything else is fine. Yep, moving on. Yeah, I was greedy AF and had like seven undercities in Lustria with the undercity spread building, plus I overextended and took most of Britonia and Empire without focusing on food. Yeah, that'll happen. That'll do it to you. It's alright. You're not the first person to make that mistake. Why does he have so many tier two of the barracks building? It increases the capacity for chieftains. Chieftains are very good heroes. I don't have many of them because I'm not getting the right trait. But eventually I intend to get them. Pretty much every single building with the Skaven provides money, so it doesn't really matter what type it is. It's also a common item, so you can't fuse to it. Yeah, I just gotta drop it. Sensors detect fear. Declaring war on me. Only cure. Okay, that's fine. Because at least now, we're not getting these guys here dragged into it. Ah! It's fine, whatever. <laughs> oh, that's actually not so fine. Okay, we gotta defend against that. Of course they don't go to where your army is, they go where your arm. yeah, okay. We're gonna need to put some, some extra defenses at Bill Barley. Fucking Wood Elves, man. Wood Elves are giving me the shits. How young am I? Oh, I'm 12 years old. However, however... Oh, no, they're not going for it. Wait, are they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, at least I'll be able to get them. Maybe time for another army? Yeah, I think so. With that war declaration, I think so. Okay, yeah, I could probably use a bit of control. Right, ambush success chance will be only 10% here at the moment. So we need to put in a cunning character that gets us to 20%, which means it should only take... It should take five attempts, roughly, on average. Still not great.
Otherwise, I can launch the attack anyway. Because most of that... That's actually an even weaker garrison than sorry, Rebellion the last time. Good stuff, that's what you want to see. And that's why Sneaky is so good. See how how good ambush, ambushing your enemies are? That saves us a lot of time. Good job. And we'll see you later as well. Good. Alright, so yeah, a little bit of a problem over here. Karak Eyesword does have okay defenses. I'd... This is why I never bothered developing up Karak Bufta, because I knew this would eventually happen. They'll probably go for the low-hanging fruit first. It does seem like it's pretty strong forces. We've got two turns left until those defenses are ready. I need to make sure that nobody is coming for it. Master of beast beasts! Unwise. Alright, well, it still can't reach there this turn. Stop. Yes, yes. Good, with this guy in the region, that's actually increasing our ambush success oh, chance here. Lightning. So we should have a 100% chance. Yep, so Fey Enchantress is going to get wrecked again, although her army sucks. I should have enough movement to get to Brion, and then we need some defenses at Bilbali. Yeah, okay. This could actually be a decent opportunity to get into Athaloran. Do they want peace here? No, no, not even close. Do you think that the Wood Elves are the most fun faction to play? No. What are they doing? Going after the um, green skins. That's fine. I don't care about those green skins. How are things going with you? Yeah, he's not fond of me. Looks like we can capture Altdorf. There's 120 food. My idea, I agree. This way, way. No rush. Alright, let's have a look in Diplomacy and see if there's anyone in what peace treaty. Ooh. Ooh, okay, hang on a sec here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I... I can get a peace treaty with Argwalon if I cancel my treaties with Scabii. Which, fuck those guys anyway. So, hang on here. Go to Argwalon and cancel military access with Scabii. This will buy me a, some breathing time. Oh, but that also means I won't be able to attack this region. That's fine. I'll just disband that army. That's no big deal. Um, yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> okay. Because I don't want to raise an army there. Uh, just, fuck, just fuck off, you stupid tree. Tree Hitler. Go away. I always, I always have to do a double take before saying that. I'm just like... Is it going to be okay? Yeah, it'll be fine. He started the war. And then these guys down here. Speak up, or I'll take your tongue. Yeah, they don't like me anymore. Fuck them, though. Dinker, dinker. All right, yeah, we should kill Carcassonne's armies here. Yes, yes. Alpa Tasimov did a BGN2 Super Jet. Legend of Total War is 37 years. He has birthday May. Uh, you're almost correct. Um, I'm 37 years old, and my birthday was actually uh, a couple of days ago. <laughs> yeah, just order that. Be fine. Yeah, get the replenishment. All right. 
it. Ambush success chance here probably isn't going to be 100%. Doesn't matter if we don't ambush her. Well, actually it does. She'll run away. Oh, no. It's friendly ter- uh, It depends if we're in friendly territory. Doesn't matter. We got her. Pisces. No, I am an Aries. Alright, just leave that at tier 1 again. Alright, well that gained us heaps of food, all those victories. So we shouldn't have any trouble with pushing Altdorf up to tier 5. But yeah, we need to get back to... and they want peace. Mm, could finish them off. No, we need to get into Athel Lauren and punish him, because this is, this is definitely going to be an issue. We... I don't care about Karak Wolfdar, we can easily take that back off them, but I do care about Karak Eyesore. So I'll have to put in some defenses here, some just extra troops. I can recruit a couple of things here, they'll be alright. Because um, if both of these armies attack, that's going to be a problem. And Orion is somewhere out here. How strong is he? Equal strength to us, okay. At Legend Total War, I am bad at calendars. It's all good. Turn them to rat fodder. Don't think we'll be able to auto resolve this one. No. Yay! A siege, my favorite. All right, I want to put some items on these two here to help them to heal. I've got some skulls. Oh, actually, actually, hang on. This is actually a good situation to put these guys here on the Plague Furnace for sieges. So let's put them on there. Ugh. I hate that does that. I'll have to give both of them a skull. But not uh, Vectique, because he doesn't have the Mortis Engine on that one. Uh, where is it? Yeah, give that one a skull. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, yeah, that way I can heal them. Because when they're in this, they're actually a Mortis Engine. With, uh, where is it? It's in here somewhere. Yeah, that there. Billowing Death. But it's actually a different mount as this one. That That is a uh, Screaming Bell. This is the Plague Furnace. It's a different mount. Some upkeep costs. Yep. Alright, let's launch this attack. attack. Did you do a tier 5 scape and blight cheese? I don't consider it cheese if it's a shit thing to do. So, no, I didn't do that. Yeah, the whole abandoning Skaven Blight and pushing it up to tier 5 or tier 3 or tier 4, um, that's something that it, it made sense to do it in Warhammer 2 because it took so long to grow. But in Warhammer 3, things grow pretty quickly, so I, I just don't feel the need to do it. I usually expand at a decent rate, so if I was sort of stagnating... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I've already built up the settlement, so I, I just don't see the point in, in doing that. Any major defeat so far? We had a kind of major defeat at Carcassonne. I was it was a tier five settlement, and I was just rampaging through Bretonia, and I didn't see one of Durthu's armies come in, and I hadn't built the defenses there, and I just I just couldn't win that battle. All right, this is an easy settlement to attack.
Alright, we got heaps of Winds of Magic. And here's some extra. Nice. <laughs> Alright, we need to create some breaches. Do they have artillery? Yes, they do. It is a... Water. Okay. Just need to know that. Alright, if I bring this guy up here... Those mortars should shoot at us. So don't fire at will. Oh, I could always use this to get rid of the mortars. You can't do Skaven Blight cheese because of Beastman Herdstone. All oh, right, well, um, I've gotten rid of the Beastman, but yeah, you're right. I wouldn't have been able to do it until you get rid of the Beastman. But yeah, I don't consider the tier 5 cheese to be very good in Warhammer 3 anyway. But you know, some people like doing it, and that's cool. If you want to do it, you go right for it. Um, I just don't think it's worth it. Okay, well that Menace Below didn't do very well. I'll try again. I think get one more chance. No, 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 don't do that. Okay, not killing them, but at least we took them off the mortars. They may not come back on it. So that's good. Don't you love it how Altdorf is just generic uh, Empire Settlement number five? Uh, sorry, number two. There's only two settlements. <laughs> and they share this layout with Drakenhof. And their other layout, they share it with Kislev. Can you summarize how the cheese goes? It's a shit cheese, but this, this is what it is. You abandon Skaven Blight when you got 120 food, and then recolonize it at tier 5. That's all it is to it. It's stupid. That's not stupid, I just I think it's unnecessary. Because that just means that you won't be able to push some other settlement up to tier 5. Alright, so... Vectis already got loads of kills. We've used up about half of our magic... Actually, no, we got heaps of magic. So we got 65 in reserve. Waiting for the bloody stand still. So I got some Bretonians helping them out here as well. Not going to save them, victories in our grasp, but that's good. I don't think army losses are close though. I think there's just been a big difference in balance power. That wizard just keeps missing. Alright, 
Like, it's the same cost for you to go in and use Plague. It doesn't have to be Vectique, so let's send you in now. And go and be annoying, now that they've cleared out this area. Uh, Lendy, so the Nintendo Super Chat. Hey, Legend, I just did my first Legendary campaign thanks to you. Playing as Ikiklaw, Rats for the Rat God, Morgur lost to Tilia somehow, which helped. Um, you mean Estalia? That's weird, if that happened. But yeah. Thanks for the chat, I'm glad to have helped. Wait, did I help? Yeah, you said thanks to me, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you come in as well, why not? Not too worried about cavalry. What we should do is summon this, try to get them to pin down, and then put down the... Plague spell on them. Uh, Martinez Videlukas became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. I'm sure I butchered your name. Taking a bit of damage there, that's not ideal. Okay, let's move them back a little bit. Okay, that's much better. Alright, time to bring in the Gisales, I think. Bring them over here, put them on fire at will. Morgul does surprisingly poor against Estalia early on. I trick him by sending out Magritta and then refusing to reinforce him. Oh, well, in this campaign here, he took out Estalia, like, almost instantly. I didn't get any chance to do anything to mess him around with him. I would have had to have force marched my whole way there, which case I would have gotten attacked by Estalia by itself. So, this campaign went very different to what you guys are saying. Morgan was really on top of um, Estalia straight away. Okay, bring this one up a bit more. Alright, army losses shouldn't be too far off now. Although there's a fair few flagellants and that will... Um, They're unbreakable. Right, if I can cast a plague over here, that'd be good. Good, got him. Alright, let's bring the rattling gun over here. And there we go, cool. Alright, well we still gotta take out the flagellant. I, I think we'll just send in a rattling gun. It'll show up pretty soon down this way and I'll just kill it real quick. Is there an army setup you'd like to go for Bellicor? 
Bellacor has got so many different options, so I don't have any specific army for him. He just boosts demons, so what I usually do is just try to give him demons of, of whatever I feel like at the time. I usually don't try to go with a variety of of the different colors of demons. I try to go for just one color, but it just depends. You can go for any one. Good, that went well. Do you think that the dwarves will get a mechanic about reclaiming the Karak, similar to healing the forests? I have no idea. Maybe. Probably not. Don't know. <laughs> Just, it's anyone's guess. Flip a coin. I have heard nothing about what the dwarf update is going to be like. I think a lot of people are expecting a pretty massive overhaul. I would say temper your expectations. You know, it might just be a bunch of a number changes all over the place. Not an actual uh, rework. But then again... You know, they saw the feedback on Shadows of Change, and hopefully they learnt from that, but there's just, there's no guarantee. Ooh. I don't know if I've got enough movement to occupy it, but I want that money. Okay, good. Alright, food-wise, that'll bring us down to 240, which is fine. A little bit more than half my food. Good. We got Ultim. Altdorf, so that's awesome. Put that down there, and that one, and that one, and that one, and I'll leave that one. Yep, and yeah, look at this. Altdorf, we get eight build slots, but for Karaza Karak, for some reason, we get ten. Don't know why. Apparently, it's a major Skaven settlement. Alright, Gronberg, we definitely want to grab food for that. Alright, this one here, there's no point in recruiting them. And we'll see you later. Alright. Alright, we got a bit of warp fuel. Let's grab our Dream Rocket. Okay, so we haven't managed, managed to get two with one so far. Do we get it this time? No. <laughs> Alright, good amount of money. Alright, don't care about Karak Bufta, but try to defend Karak Eyesore. So we definitely need a spell cast, so we can now recruit them at rank 7. An affront to a riot. Given what... What's the Winds of Magic like here? Okay, given what we're going up against, I think a Gracier of Plague would be good. Let's go with a new cunning one. And we want to go ham on the spells. Oh, I won't be able to get to Plague. I can increase his speed. That actually could save his ass. Alright, hang on. Go back. Fifteen percent speed might save his ass. Alright, let's do it. Alright, I should have another turn of recruiting before they arrive, so we'll definitely need to globally recruit as well. What, only things that take one turn. Now, I think a lot of people could lean towards Plague Claw Catapults, but they're not really great in a siege, and we should already have some in the garrison. Uh, these actually are okay against... Wood Elves. Can't get any weapons teams in one turn. Hmm... If you get the um, the regular wolf rats, they got magical attacks. An impossible path. Because most of their stuff is physical, a lot of physical resistance. A lot of cavalry here. Don't disappoint me, me. Thing is, they're not necessarily great for sieges. 
Whereas I can go with Plague Monks. Those will be fairly good for sieges. They'll hold the line very well. How could I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with um, Plague Monks. No, you know what? I'm gonna give them a shot. I'm gonna give these ones a shot. We'll see. If we end up losing with them, then I'll never recruit them again. <laughs> but we'll see. Alright. So, I don't think they can launch the attack from that distance. Carrick Buftar, they'll probably attack that. Marangliano, uh, Skaven Blight. Alright, let me see. Okay, I could recruit an army here to try to bring it out this way quickly. We want a Warlock Master this time. Preferably one that's got sneaky, but we haven't had anyone with that yet. Uh, so... Fleet-footed might... No, no, let, let's go for this guy here, he's high level. Because we've got to get someone to rank 15. Alright, drone back global. We want to get... Get this guy back over here. Oh, you can stay there for another turn, that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh, I need to respec you. Yeah, yeah, because I put things in the wrong spots. Okay, respec that. He'll be back in, like, three turns. He'll just be over here. Okay, then we need... One, two, three, four, five... Get that one going. Okay, should only take us a few turns to get this army up and running, but this is a proper standing army that'll be permanent. Now, as for this lord here, I don't want him commanding this indefinitely. We want to get a sneaky warlock master, but I gotta wait for one to actually show up. We haven't had one yet. Uh, unless I go into my... No, I've got another Vectique over here. I could get him, but two Vectiques, that doesn't seem right. Good, save some cash there. Can go broke soon. Only at twenty-five grand. All right, the rest of the skills here just don't really matter. Just get whatever. Okay. Vectique's got some leveling to do as well. Good. Alright. Yeah. Getting Lightning Strike, even just one point into it, to make the enemy reinforcement battle time increase can be very useful. Because sometimes you want the reinforcement delayed. Also, getting Ambush Defense is quite good. But... The best thing for ambush defense is just be diligent on the campaign map. Alpa Tasimov did a BGN5 super chat. I hope you hit 1 mil subs soon again. Good night, mad lads. Alright, thanks, dude. Um, I can't really hit 1 million subs again because I've never done it before. <laughs> um, oh, oh, okay. Here's my prediction for how long it'll take to get to a 1 million subs 2037. That's when I think we'll hit 1 million subs. So, in about 13 years. But you never know. You never know. Just go take it one sub at a time. Just add one of those to Vectiques. Add one of those what? So over here, there's bloody nothing going on. Vectique's got it easy. The vermin tide. Might be a good idea to occupy Karaberg and sell it to Bone Rattlers for a renewal of treaties. So that I can just focus on Reichland for the time being. Alright, let's check to see if there's any revolts, because that happens all the time. Alright, over here, four turns into the revolt. Forest of Gloom, it's not going to revolt for a little while. 
Blighted mounts is fine. Mootland. Yep, everywhere else is fine. Right, so now focus on construction. Don't worry about Breon. Yeah, I'm confident I'm going to hold on to it this time. Call me me, death master. Yeah, well, that's fine. Not top priority. Don't worry about that settlement. Yeah, probably want to get defenses up there just in case in future they decide to attack. I also need to check for heroes. Nah, that's not what I like to go for. Nope. Come on, cunning. I'm going to recruit one of my saved up characters. That, that will work. Conic Warlock Engineer. Chieftain. Oh, I don't have any more Plague Priests saved. That was it. Shit, I didn't have much. I've got more Cunning Warlock Engineers, but I'll just wait a little bit longer. Alright, still got more money to spend. Let's see. Yeah, need more of these tier 5 bell buildings. Got quite a few, but we could always use a few more. Yep, get that going. Good, this is now ready to defend itself. Alright, I'm going to build another one of these ones here to try to get the global recruit time of Rattling Guns and Gisales down to 1. Which would be very helpful. And there goes my money. All good. Let's move on. No, yeah, there was a commandment bossy. that we missed. Uh, what province did I just... Yeah, this one here. Must put Dumb. God. Oh. Is it time? Uh, Fro Megman did a five dollars super chat. Think we'll see Thankwall and Nagash at any point in the future for this game. Shine on. Thanks, super chat. Okay, I had a little bit of a leak told to me about that. Um, Nagash and Thankwall are currently scheduled to be in the very last Warhammer 3 DLC. The very last one. So Warhammer 3 is going to end with a bang. Apparently, it's going to be like the biggest DLC. But. Things could change. Sega might just cut it short. Who knows? We're really, at the moment, we're at the whims of Sega. They're just not giving Creative Assembly a free hand at the moment to do whatever they want. So, just... Uh, everything actually depends on Thrones of Decay. I don't think we need to worry, but I think if Thrones of Decay is at the exact same sort of shit show as Shadows of Change was, then that's basically the end of Warhammer 3. I don't think that's going to happen, because Creative Assembly know a lot's riding on it. And if they manage to get, like, DLC that's really good, like what they've done in previous DLCs of Warhammer 2, then they might extend it out a bit more. So, you, you could argue that, and I've heard some people say it, if we all just buy it at full price and support Creative Assembly, then we'll get more years of Warhammer 3. I would say that's a shitty way to go about it. It all depends on them. If it's worth... If they make good DLC, it'll sell more copies. Because more people that currently aren't playing Warhammer 3 will come back to it. Because we know that there's a shitload of people that bought Warhammer 3. And there's a lot of people that just aren't playing it. It hasn't retained its player count the same way that Warhammer 2 did. So Creative Assembly needs to redeem their reputation. And that just takes time. I hope that they do it. Uh, 
Yeah, I thought they would go to that settlement. That's fine. I can't do anything about this. There's, there's no point even doing anything. Just That's why I never invested in it. Why build so many pox cauldrons when assassins buildings give extra plague priests too? Yep, yeah, well the the pox cauldron, you gotta remember we're playing on legendary difficulty, provides public order. Do you, have you noticed that we've been having a lot of revolts? <laughs> if you buy more content that isn't worth it, then you will get more content that isn't worth it. Exactly. And that is exactly why I didn't buy Pharaoh. Because I don't want to see more pharaohs. You vote with your wallet. That's exactly it. I am voting for no more pharaohs. So, alright, we lost a local recruit because they captured that settlement. That's not a big deal. Oh, the chances of me actually ambushing this is only 40%. Not worth the risk. Yeah, keep keep trying. I don't. Are they able to reach us? Maybe. I forbid this dance. So this one might start coming around this way. Maragliano is defended enough that it should be able to handle this. And this guy is close by. It's tasty. Machines and and sorcery. Um, Howling Wolf Gale might actually be useful. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, you want to you want to capture it off me when I've just got one turn left to go, do you? Yeah, I don't fucking think so. Hang on. Should I? Yeah, no. Force march. Get back here immediately. There is no way that Orion is going to be able to successfully capture the settlement with Ikaclaw in there. There's there's no way. So he'll probably either run back to the King's Glade or try to go to Brion. I don't care either way. Alright, then uh, here. Ooh, I didn't think we'd actually make it to Ubersreich. I might actually do that. We need to keep some intel out here just to make sure nobody captures Old Dorf. Hopefully we can auto this. Ruin the enemy. Good. Nice. Easy win. Yeah, just tier one will do. And the Skaven of Captured Ubers Rag. I feel like there should be a landmark there. Because there's already plenty of um, references to Vermintide in the game. But there should be something there for um, the Skaven. Something small. It's a little landmark. Alright, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, yeah, definitely upgrade Grunberg. There will be a revolt here. If I go and occupy Isleheart, there will eventually be a revolt. And that's fine, we get... Well, we will see. We will see. Alright, we need to get more doggos here. Why did I get those wolf rats? That was silly. Yeah, you definitely want the magic ones. Oh, those ones have armor pierce. Well, don't go and have some armor units. Yeah, get more of those. Alright, a 20 stack of this. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, this is Anticity stack. Anticity stands by this. I don't really use it very much, but we'll see how it goes. Probably better in the earlier stages of the campaign, because we're sort of hitting mid-game now. But we'll give it a shot. And if it doesn't work, eh, who cares? Easy come, easy go. Alright. Alright. 
All right, check diplomacy. See if there's anything interesting a here. Challenge? Yeah, Don't why not? Anger me. Okay. Sub Dragon. Okay. Well, he's getting his ass handed to him, so I'll just get this just to um, <laughs> just to get money back off him. That's it before he dies. Those who displease me do not okay, peace with her means I can focus on wars elsewhere, and we can just go back to war with her el another time. No evil doer may really desire and that also gives us some money to work with. Good, I'm back down to three wars. Uh, really two, because Bordelo Erin Tree is not doing anything. Yeah, that's, that should be fine. Alright, we need to also check for heroes. There you go. And nope, we are just not getting those cunning ones. So yeah, the person asking before, why, why do we build this? It may not seem like much, and it kind of isn't. But getting control plus two or control plus four on legendary difficulty helps to mitigate it. Now, if you're playing on very hard battle dif uh, campaign difficulty, then yeah, you don't need to build this building pretty much ever. Um, but on this difficulty, yeah, you kind of need every bit of public order you can get. And, you know, it makes some money. This is looking pretty good. Yep, get that to tier 5. Get these upgraded. Yep, another one to tier 5. Good. Fyldorf is pretty safe. We don't need to upgrade this right now. So Steingart can be upgraded. Zvorak can have that one. Is there any point in upgrading this? No, it's just... Imagine paying 14 and a half grand for that. Who cares? Alright, since this is on our border here, and oh, they're not particularly friendly with us anymore, we should probably... Wait, the tier 3 garrison is actually better than the tier 4 one, slightly. Uh, depends on how you look at it. Yeah, there's better things to build. Good, getting really good passive food income. Yeah, don't bother. Okay, let's move on. Yep. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see what happens with these wood elves here. Why don't you abandon Gloom Forest? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm actually making food profit from them. And the odd revolt here and there just gives us some more food. So... It is kind of more trouble than it's worth. But at the same time, I am making a profit from it. Easiest race in all of Warhammer races? Yeah, probably the High Elves, I think, is the easiest to play. No Doom Rocket Towers that's worth like 10 times Storm Vermin? Mm, that's a good point. Maybe. I may need to rush back to Alt Door. Experiments to do! No. Give me more money or else not. What traits do you look for on a lord? I'm fairly new to Skaven, but I'm having a ton of fun with him. 
still just filling out the smaller details, sneaky is the way to go. Yeah, you want to get that ambush success chance. Okay, awesome. If I ambush him, I should be a drag in the garrison. Can you show your en engineer upgrade? <laughs> I'm very mean engineer. Um, what engineer? Which one? Good, bell polishes. Should have plenty of capacity. Okay, Wisdom's gonna revolt. It's okay. Alright. Yeah, they've made a big boo boo there, because if I ambush them, and I got 65% chance of doing that. Okay, we definitely didn't get them on the first one. That's fine. Another thing that makes Skaven so good is the AI doesn't understand the mechanics that you can do. It's just like, you can't bring in your garrison to fight us. And they're kind of right. <laughs> I ran out of movement. Um, shit, I ran out of movement. After two attempts. And we had 65% chance. That dude's not going to do anything other than just sit there. So I'll get another chance next turn. Machinations. So we're gonna put in some defenses here, I think. Oh, suck shit, Orion! I can catch you from there. Enemies to track. However, I can't ambush him. I will, not obey. will that still be a minor settlement battle? It might be. Um. I core ninety three became a member for twenty six months. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Why wolf rats? Like right. <laughs> hmm. I might be out of order. What is he doing? Force march. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Four hundred and thirty or something. I think is our max food. Oh shit! We can order it. Yeah, I hate fighting wood elves. If is this a minor settlement battle? It usually is. Yeah, it is. Um, hang on, I just gotta check to see what's around here because we got an extra replenishment because we defeated the Fey Enchantress. We should be able to recover really quickly. If there's no one out here that's gonna attack us, who cares? If we take a bunch of damage, yeah, there's nothing out here. I cannot. It wouldn't take much for them to beat Altdorf. I know no pet. So this is missing basically just all of its heroes. This isn't going to win against this unless we ambush them. An impossible path. If I force march, I can't make it back there. If I go into ambush stance, they may not detect us, and they might want to go. Hang on, which way are they likely to go? Got to sort of predict which way they're going to go. They will possibly besiege Miragliano, possibly. But if I put some troops in there, maybe not. If I move around over this way, we can maybe intercept them on their way to Zaraxil. Yes, and I can yes. recruit here. Finish off with some Giselles. And that, yeah. And at least until we get some heroes up in here. All right, what do we got? Garbage. Alright, time to recruit somebody that saved up. Uh, let's get a level 9 one, because I got the money. I got no more saved up of those. All 
Right, we need to put in some regiments of renown here to help defend against this. Because we've got one warp bomb. Okay, let's look at the defenses here. We've got six storm vermin. They got a lot of cavalry, so we're going to be fairly good against that. Yeah, it shouldn't require much to, in order to overcome this. Let's put in a level 8 warlock master. master Warp lightning. Engineer. How's the winds of magic here as well? Going down, that's not good. Um, yeah, I might need you to really stuff them around as best you can. And as for Regiment of Renown, we don't have a lot available here. That's not ideal for the situation here, because it's good against infantry, and they're, they're bringing you a lot of large units, so... That's not a good idea. Um, I reckon the Plague Monk sense of errors will be good. I, I shouldn't need any more than that. Should be able to manage it. If they intend to come over this way, we'll have time to recruit something against Skaven Blight, but... It seems unlikely. Because the garrison at Skaven Blight is actually not that good. A little bit, but like I said, I can I can get over there quickly. Right. Let's check. Okay, Whistleland has a revolt occurring. Yep, you'll do. Stay there and wait until. Master of Scrap. We're able to strike. Yep, that's fine. Alright, where else is going to revolt? I'm pretty sure it's just Wissenland, but let me just check. Wissenland, Reichland... That's fine. Alright, gotta decide what we're going to do here. So, looking at Karoberg, they are able to recruit high-ish tier, high tier units. What are they doing? This is Britonia. I In the last second campaign you did you didn't Oh sorry, in the last campaign you did, you didn't bother with Doom Flayers or Doom Whirls. They're that bad. It's not that they're bad, they're actually pretty good units. I just prefer other units, that's all. Just because a unit is good doesn't mean you have to recruit it. The Skaven have so many choices and in my opinion, they've just got units that are just so far above everything else, like these ones here, that, I mean, if you want to get those other units, go for it, but I don't need them. It's not going to strengthen my campaign. Getting every single unit type in your armies doesn't make you stronger. But yeah, if you want to get them, you go for it. How does the saved heroes work? Can you save level 50 heroes and bring it instantly to different campaigns? You can technically do that, but for every every bit of experience that the hero has, it'll cost you more to do it. That's why if we have a look here... Uh, it's not going to work. Got to go back here. If we have a look here, so this guy here, being level 3, he costs more than this one being level... Th well, it's a different one. Uh, okay, this one here. This cunning warlock engineer. Look how much this costs compared to this one. So there's a pretty big difference. And level 50, it usually costs like 50,000 to bring them in. So I wouldn't do that personally. I try to save them at low level. Alright, we've got... Yeah, exploit criminals. That's good. We need that. Let the bell scream, scream. Mm. I think we need to go for Karaberg. Yeah. Because the defenses here just aren't ready. Here's the thing with Skaven. They are such a good faction, you can play it a multitude of different ways and be effective. For sure. However, I like to play this way. And if that's not the way you like to play, that's cool. Not a problem. But I've played a bunch of different ways, and this is what I found to be the most effective for me. Good, getting that to tier 5 without requiring food. Oh shit, I haven't finished. <laughs> I haven't freaking finished the turn yet. Alright, we'll probably get 20 food for this, which will bring us to 372. Okay, we'll, we've still got room for more food. Oh my god, Ica Claw's magic's been depleted. 
Oh my god, so damaged. It's fine. Yeah, I can push Paravon up to tier 5. With that tier 1. Cool, and we'll see here. Yeah, replenishment rate's fine, and we should be able to make it there, and I'll probably have to fight that manually, maybe. It should be easy, though. So there's a shit trait that we just got. Okay, I need to keep close eye over here. Carcassonne is now defensible. If we had to build that, we would have. I think we would have been able to repel Dothu. He, oh, well, not Dothu, but Dothu's not army. For one thing, if they attacked, they probably would have water resolved one. Let's upgrade it again, just in case. We've also got a plague priest in there, which is not a big deal, but it helps a bit. All right, diplomacy. What else you got for us? Watch. Doom players are rad. I wish they were better. Doom players are fine. They're just not the top tier units in the Skaven roster. Some people love them, and that's there's nothing wrong with that. And they're not bottom tier. And like like I said, if you like playing with them, you go right ahead. But don't force your playstyle on me, because I don't do that to you. If you think Doom Flayers are anywhere near as good as like Rattling Guns or, or Plague Priests as Frontline, yeah, I think you're misusing it when you're using them. Alright, well, this seems fine. I'm not seeing any... Okay, upgrading this could be good because it gets more tusks. But I'm not exactly rolling around in cash now. Let's move on. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Are they about to attack Skaven Bright? No. No, they're, they're kind of threatening it, but we're, we're okay. Don't, no, no distress. We're fine. How's Throp doing? I have no idea. I'm assuming he's fine, but if he's, if he's dead, we can always revive him. I've gone and met uh, Pestilence, but I can't confederate him at the moment, so I don't think it's really worth going to meet all the Skaven right away. Yeah, AI loves to sack settlements. Do you think High Elves and Skaven are the benchmarks for well-made fun races? Yes, I think so. Pretty good benchmarks. Oh, they're going to go for it. Are they going to launch the attack? Nope. Okay. They've, what they've done there, they've actually opened it up for um, an interesting situation with the Skaven where you can sally out constantly and keep losing and eventually grind down the enemy more each time. Because if we don't sally out, we'll take attrition. But I reckon we might even auto resolve when that. No. Okay. Alright. Definitely not. Alright, let's have a think about whether or not we should sally out. We have got 20 units versus their 19 units. A lot of their units are a little bit on the shit side. A siege would make these units here really ineffective. We've also got two, oh, sorry, just one warp bomb. But like I said, what we could do is fight the battle, and if we lose, it's really not that big of a deal as long as we don't lose the entire army, because most of our guys are fucking cowards. And this gives us a chance to use the menace blows and the warp bombs. And even if we lose, like I said, they just, they'll take more damage than us. And we get these back straight away. What's the spellcaster, Shadow? Even if we lose, what's the map like? Map's pretty good. Set up over here.
All right, I'm going to do it. Even if we lose, it's, we win. The only way... More Regiment of Renown? I can't. While you're under siege, you can't recruit them. Um, Lakos subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yeah, like I said, even if we lose, we'll win. <laughs> I think Legend wants his pack masters with disciplined, the rest with cunning. Yes, and also chieftains. So pack masters and chieftains with disciplined, because I make a melee stacks with them. So discipline is useful for melee stacks, and the rest cunning. Because with my melee stacks, I don't really worry too much about ambush success chance. But those ones need lightning strike. All right, we want to be setting up over here. This is these are not great missile units compared to like weapons teams. Clan rats up front, storm vermin at the rear. Have him go and annoy them. And let's see how we go. Alright, what music's being played? Now, I made sure not to use up my food first before I um, did this attack because we want to make sure we got maximum leadership. God Howling Warp Girl. Okay, it is playing their music. Okay, draw them in. Move up a little bit more. I'm going. Oh, are they gonna? What are they doing? They attack the storm burn. Okay. That was actually pretty silly of them. I think. Good, they're gone. Okay, Blade Singers, we need to warp them. Warp on them. Something. Hang on, hang on. Everything's okay. You guys move around the flank here. Seeing any good opportunities for that warp bomb. We only get one, so we need to make good use of it. Don't worry about the nuke. Definitely on the lookout for good walk bomb opportunities, but I'm not seeing any. Sometimes you just don't get a good walk bomb in a battle. Move. 
Alright, this... Get out of the way. I'm gonna warp bomb this one right here. Okay. Was it wasn't great, but I didn't see any better opportunities. more magic. There we go. Still not sure if we're winning, I have no idea. It's very close. But they are definitely taking massive amounts of damage to the point where they're not going to be able to, to assault. I had no idea who was winning. <laughs> no clue. But we end up winning. I had just enough to get through it. They try to do as much damage to them now because we still got to finish them off. They are not going to be able to press their attack here. There's no way. The garrison's strong enough to be able to repel whatever they've got left. Cool. Did you mean throt? What did I say? Did I meet Throt? No, I haven't met Throt. That goes subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Hey, Legend, does the tier 4 or tier 5 cheese to work with Dickert? Yes. It's... People ask that all the time. It still works. It's not great cheese, though. It's not, it's not really necessary in Warhammer 3. Oh, we're at maximum food. Um, get, get the money. Like I said, they're not going to be able to press their advantage here. 
they don't have the advantage, they've lost it. Alright, if I was to ambush that, it seems unlikely that the garrison would come out and support. We're at max food. And I don't have anything to spend it on, so... We're not likely to get that much food from winning that, but I've got to push that up to tier 5. I would have done that first, but I need to make sure I had the bonus from this for the extra leadership. That could have been the difference between victory and defeat here. That extra leadership... Because our guys fought pretty well, the Storm Vermin, because they had a lot of leadership. Yeah, let's get to Paravon, push it up to tier 5. Probably get like two or three food from this. this arms race, no, contest. no, a lot more than that. But it's okay. That's okay. It is what it is. Nice. And we're still in pretty good shape for food. But yeah, it would have been a five leadership difference. I don't know if that... Yeah, whatever. This is what it is. Done. Okay. Now, an army went out that way. Oh, look at that. There's a great opportunity there to smash a Karon army. It's not exactly the most fantastic army ever, and we've kind of got our hands full at the moment. I'm not exactly desperate for food. Alright, I need to ambush this one. It's a little bit further away from the Master capital that I would like. Has hashtag KCD subscribed with Prime? Thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Alright, what's our chance of success? 46. Okay, you should just give it a shoot, few shots. It should be able to manage it. There we go. Cool, and see you later. Good, yep, good people that. Scheme. Good stuff. Alright. Oh, they've made it basically impossible to ambush them now. <laughs> yeah, okay. I tell you what we could do then. We could just fight it manually and just see how this goes. Who cares if I lose? They're not going to be able to capture that. Crushing defeat. Yeah, hey, we'll just see how we go. We'll just see. We've got a pretty good leadership at the moment, so yeah, we'll see how it goes. So what we want to do is just go straight in and annihilate their archers straight away. Try not to fight the the melee infantry at first. Might be a good idea to use some menace belows to pin down their melee infantry first. All right, I don't want them to have even a second to breathe. I'm going to be on top of them straight away. Go. Let's see how this goes. Alright, 
Alright, well their archers are getting ripped to shreds, that's for sure. Let's walk bomb this one, nice. This is working out pretty well, I think. This, this is doing pretty well. I don't know how we're going to handle the uh, the tree. I have to army loss him, if it's possible, you see. Bladesinger is always going to be tough there. They've landed that one, that's good. We need to try to utilize our charge bonus wherever possible. get all of our our doggos to rally if possible. Uh, just finish this stuff off here. Dealing with, the, oh, that's level 18 as well. Dealing with their tree man lord is going to be a little bit difficult. Okay, that wasn't a very good hit. How are we supposed to get these eagles? Damn, those fucking blade singers are so friggin' strong. Sure, what we're going to do about this eagle? Alright, well, they don't have much armor, so I think a pestilent breath could be useful. Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. And there we go, we army lost them. How about that? How about that? Doggos did pretty well. Try to keep him here as much as possible.
He better not fucking be immortal in the next battle. Is the army OP? I wouldn't say it's OP, but it's it's all right. Yeah, we should be able to attack them again and just auto resolve it. Will you make more content for Millennia? I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, it's really good against Archer spams. Of what else, that's for sure. But they were not very good against the Blade Singers. I, I wasn't expecting them to be. Same thing with the Dryads. The Dryads killed a lot of them. Uh, in Weapon Team's armies, do you ever use Pack Masters for their Wolf Rat summons? You can do that, and that's, that is effective. That is definitely a Plague Priest substitute. I don't personally like doing it, but I have been known to do it sometimes. I will take the money. Alright, tell me we've got enough movement to get to him. He cause it, we gotta kill him now or else he's gonna get immortality. Don't disappoint me. me. Nicely done. Level 18, Lord Dead. Very nice. I wonder what Intensity is doing now. Uh, I think he's focusing more on like traditional RTS, like StarCraft. I but yeah, he said he didn't want to be tied to Warhammer Warlock, 3. Of or one particular games company. War Here's another one. Now it is missing plague priests. God damn it. Master um, engineer. I really don't think even if we ambush this, it would be an auto resolve win, but we can give it a shot, because sometimes you get pretty ridiculous auto resolves. I know I could machines and and sorcery. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no. Ambush success More chance is 40%. I need to back off. Cool. That looks good. And this uh, you know, our third standing army is ready to go, but what I really want is a Warlock Master with the sneaky trait. So what we can do now is start recruiting new ones, Warlock stick Master in a Hell Pit Attendant for research rate, and then just disband it. And then just do it every turn until we get a sneaky one. And the sneaky one will command this army, because sneaky is such a good trait. That, that will work. Now this one here... Yeah, I'm just going to spend it. It's costing me three grand. It's all good. Did its job. Help it attend it for you. Nice. And we'll see you again. Never, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. Cool. And that'll just be for this one here to go and capture. Put it back to the center it was before, so no big loss. And if we have a look here, Talson is basically screwed. Don't worry about going to Montfort. What we need to do is get Ikaclaw down this way, get to the King's Glade as quickly as possible, and I'll use both of these weapons team's armies to clear out Athaloran. I think. Thing is, though, I do not like using weapon teams in Athaloran. You've got to be very careful. All right. Let the bells scream, All right, scream. so... Attack the things! You will die, die. All 
Imperial Hornet. Just leave this at tier one when we get it. And if the enemy recapture it, I don't care. Main thing here is just to provide them a distraction until Altdorf is ready to defend itself. Looking good. One more turn and it can defend itself, so that's good. Karaberg's obviously quite useful because it's got the um, pastures, which is really handy. And. Yeah, get that. It's all looking good. Yep. Dragon Master. The first. Verminous Valor. Ready. Okay, that's fine. And we already checked for heroes, didn't we? Oh, look at that new cunning. Um. Well, this guy's already got two. I'll definitely save this one. Ike Claw doesn't have two. I can maybe recruit it here. And it will be at level one here, which is fine. Okay, cool. That gives... Well, you know what? I've already had a good surplus of these ones. Uh, cunning Warlock Engineers. It's the damn Plague Priests. They're the ones that don't show up. Which is weird because you've actually got a higher chance of getting a a plague priest with cunning trait than the uh, warlock engineers. So that's that is weird. Only slightly increased chance. All right, we need to upgrade Karak Eyes so that doesn't happen again. Same thing with Maragliano. Don't let that happen again. All right, any revolts this turn? Hang on, I think there is a revolt over... No. So Reichland is fine. It probably will revolt once we've captured um, the other settlement. Yeah, no revolts this turn. That's good. Uh, Javelon Gaming, subscribe with Prime. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Yep, that looks good. That's fine. Files also not that big of a threat problem at the moment. That one, they, they could jump over here and attack it, so let's get that defended. Getting some more capacity for Warlock Engineers would be handy, and... Yep. Yeah. Good. Okay, a few levels up over here. Good, get him to Renowned and Feared. How much money did that save us? 400. That's okay, it adds up over time. It's good. And it gives us campaign movement range as well. It's a good skill to get. I never used to get it in Warhammer 2 because you'd be limited to 40 skills. It just wouldn't really be worth it. But in Warhammer 3, I think it's worth it. Because you've got 50 skills. Another thing we got to keep in mind is that we're not doing any more sieges at the moment. we got to take these two here off their mounts. Good, you get it as well. Saves us about the same amount. Good. Next in line line. Next in line line. Yeah, that was the army that was standing in here, I think. I'm not sure where they're going. Who cares? Moving on. Oh, commandment. Uh, what did I just consolidate? Parabon. More warp stone. Now, now. And moving on. What upgrades did you get in the workshop? Uh, not a whole lot. Mainly ones for the weapon team. Just haven't really gotten a shitload of warp fuel yet. I've been getting a lot of uh, nukes whenever they're available. Is this a no defeat campaign? No. 
Now, I don't like doing Skaven no defeat campaigns. I don't think that that is the spirit of Skaven. <laughs> did you ever play Mal's Dark Blade? Are Dark Elves cool to play in the first place, or are they lame? Um, I actually did a. Hang on, I gotta show you. I gotta brag. Malice Darkblade is one of two factions that I've done a full map Immortal Empires campaign. Right? I gotta show you. When was it? It was a while ago. Let's say one. Oh, it's actually right down the bottom, isn't it? Whip. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Made a whole bunch of backups. So yeah, full map completion in one turn. It's still possible to do this. It's still possible to do it. Um, this took me uh, about two weeks. Of like full time doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's a world record that nobody can ever beat. How? There's a video on the channel called the One Turn Blitz. You should watch it. So I was still in the partner program when I did that blitz, and Creative Assembly didn't even blink an eye when I released that video. Whatever. Was it patched out? Nope, you can still do it. The movement bug's still in the game. I, I don't usually do it in my normal campaigns. I can show you how it's done. Okay, I'll show you how it's done. Oh look, here I'm playing Skaven, right? I want to move this character. I'm going to go over to here. Oh no, I ran out of movement. I'm going to recruit something. Okay, let's see here. Do we have any manual resolve battles to do this turn? Listen to me, me. That looks like they've got a defense there. Okay, I'm going to save the game. Oh, am I at max food again? No, not quite. Okay, the game just saved. I'm going to load the save file. You said one of two? Who's the other? The Empire campaign that I just did the other, other week. Full map completion is Reichland. So yeah, what I'm doing here is a exploit to reset your campaign movement range. It works with almost every faction in the game, but the reason why you do it with Dark Elves is because Dark Elves can do it at sea using Black Arcs. So, and they can recruit in enemy territory using Black Arcs. So, by meticulously planning your path and which way to go, Malice Darkblade is able to arrive at every single settlement in the game on turn one, because he starts off with a black arc. Now remember, I used up all my movement. Oh, what do you know? Master Resets engineer. all the movement. So yeah, you can still do it on turn one. There's only two two factions in the game that can do it in one turn, though, and that's Malice Darkblade and um, uh, Lockyer Felhart, but it's easier to do it with Malice Darkblade because he's way stronger. Warlock, master of scraps. Hang on. If I get this guy here, it'll increase my ambush success chance, because otherwise this one will try to run away. Warlock of ah! Damn it. Well, some, this is why you gotta have Sneaky. We would have got it otherwise. But, you know, Sneaky's not available. It is what it is. Oh, fuck me. It is available now. 
<laughs> Shit, I should have switched it. God damn it. Could have reached it. Ah, that's another thing as well. If you have a hero attached into your army, it doesn't work. You have to have no hero. So, where is my play? Ah, sneaky dude. Yeah, that's it. Power up. Okay. Master engineer. Hopefully this one like jumps in the underway or something and tries to get away. Alright, at Paravon, I think we're safe for now. There's no one looking like they're gonna attack it. We need to hurry up and get to King's Glade. As quickly as friggin' possible. This way. Oh my god, look at his winds of magic. That's really bad. Just all this area here is all bad for Winds of Magic. There's no time to sit around in encamp stance, uh, um, channeling stance. Just got to get a move on it. Alright, this one here is for Ikaclaw, so... Yeah, just, just wait. No, put them in there now. Instead of... Let's see, we've got six of these and five of them. Let's get rid of one of the rattling guns. Doesn't matter. Actually, get rid of the less healthy ones. Raven Rice, greatest, best inventor. Power enhancers, the paste. Nice. That, that'll work. Alright, we're almost at max food. Are we ready to get another nuke? No. Rolling doom! <laughs> make, make kill things. Hmm. I think we should push this to tier 3. Wait. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah, push it to tier 3. Are you consistently back to streaming? No. No, prior to this campaign, I hadn't live streamed for like two weeks. Alright, so at Isle Heart, let's. Get that going, get rid of this. And that's going to cause a revolt here, so we need to make sure we've got a Lord ready to ambush the rebels. Good. Did we get a Plague Priest this turn? No. <laughs> Fucking bastards. Every goddamn turn, you're not giving it to me. Oh! Disciplined Packmaster. I do want that. I uh, don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to leave it here. But I'm going to save it. And... Maybe another campaign. We'll see. Alright, and we've got a whole bunch of money here. Let's construct. I don't think we need to raise another army. Three is good for now, I think. Got lots of money, but I, I spend it all each turn. We, it's really important to finish your construction. Upgrade that. Upgrade this. Get that going. Possible that Argulon will declare war on us again real soon, because they hate us, and it's approaching ten turns since we uh, got a peace treaty. I think it's been more like five, but sometimes the AI will break the treaties early because you're being too aggressive, which I definitely am, especially against um, his ally. So if we have a look at that, it's been four turns. There is a decent chance he'll declare war on us anyway, and if he goes for Paravon right now, we won't win. Yeah, no, there's no way we would win. 
Uh, but we got so much food that eh, it's not that big of a deal. I'm just rolling around in it. And it's fine. So Vectik will hit Marienburg next turn. Yep. We also got a new edict here. Good. You go up ahead and have a little look. Make sure there's nothing too surprising. We don't want to capture this because I got my, my special thing here. And imminent... Re hang on. Let me see. Where are the rebellions coming from? That's it. So, yeah. The Wood Elf War is pretty much under control at the moment. You can go belly up again pretty quick. But once we've taken King's Glade and the Oak of Ages, yeah, they're they're in big trouble. Can you still see sieges with the assassins going to caps? Not really. Not really. I mean, if you're really lucky, you can do it. But I don't bother. I don't rely on luck. I, I like consistent results. I'm pretty sure you're onto something with armor being a big factor in order resolve at Legend of War. I'm order resolving everything with a 20 stack iron breakers. Yeah, dwarfs are very strong in order resolve, and I think iron um, armor has a big factor to it. Same thing with uh, melee defense. Like high, just overall high stats. Warps down first. Packed deal later. Uh, I gotta check on that one. Save Sneaky Warlock Master. Ah, uh, that's fine. It's different with Lords because I don't need as many Lords as I do Heroes. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be able to make it there this turn. Yes, yes. Good scheme. <laughs> yeah, they jumped back up here. They're not going to be able to stop us. Devices. Yeah, there's no hope for them. Especially if this one comes in and assists as well. Oh my god, we're gaining so much. Oh my. Holy crap, I. I used my food to push up the tier 4 last turn. <laughs> uh, tier, five, uh, tier 3, I mean. Um, yeah, I'll push this up to tier 3 now. I'm just gaining so much passive food now, I can just conquer really quickly. We're really starting to get a steamroll going. Which is good. So yeah, get that wood back, the fences, and that one. Cool. Zarek still can be upgraded. What's our Lord Recruit rank now? It's up to 8. Once you get to rank 13, that's when the money really starts to pour in. Yes! Finally, I got two Doom Rockets. Nice. Alright. Let's take Marienburg. Push that to tier 5. Probably won't be able to order resolve it, and I'm getting pretty tired. We are at nearly 9 hours into the stream. So we'll see. If I can order resolve it, I might do that. But if I have to fight it manually, I think I might call it a day. I don't think I'll be able to order resolve that. They built the extra defenses. Oh shit, okay. It's really lazy. I mean, I can win that with basically zero casualties. It's really bloody lazy. But like I said, I'm getting really tired now. Oh, we'll go on a tiny little bit longer. Just a, t just a tiny, tiny smidge. Out 
Oh good, we actually get the landmark building here, so that's good. So what does that do for the Skaven? 800! That's pretty good for them. Especially considering you can use this to get an additional 50%, bringing it to 1,200. That's very good. Yeah, hold on to that, that'll make us loads of money. Cogs in motion. That will, will work. Yes. Me, me. Cool. Alright. Come on, come on, give me a plague priest. Yes, finally! Fucking hell. Warp power! Finally got what I wanted. <laughs> cool, save you for another campaign. So it's not so painful to get more of them. <laughs> finally. Yeah, this this camp we're we've we're done with this. We're we've won big time. I mean, come on, clan scryers. If I'm not going to, I'm not going to bother constructing anything this turn. I just want to take King's Glade to go up this way. Commandment. Uh, what did I just? Oh, this one over here. Machines and, and sorcery. Thank you for the dedication, Legend. No, dude, it's my pleasure. I'd go on longer. I'm just, I'm just tired. Here's the problem: when I'm, when I get this tired, I get really cranky because I'm like a big baby. I'm like hungry and I'm tired. And what could end up happening is, and this has happened loads of times before. Somebody might ask me a question that I just don't really like that much, and I fucking snap. <laughs> Like, how dare you ask me a question? <laughs> so yeah, when I'm tired, I can get pretty, I can be pretty unreasonable, and I feel bad about it afterwards. So it's best I stop before I get to that point. Hey, legend, are you a fellow Jew? Uh, look, no, I'm not Jewish. Nothing wrong with being Jewish, but I'm not. No. How dare you ask me that question? <laughs> Have I tried Hell Divers 2 yet? No, a lot of people, everyone is asking me about that, but no, I haven't played it yet. Yeah. They're, they're, they're on the full retreat now. They're fucked. Think you'll continue this campaign tomorrow? No. No, we're done. Oh, can't spit all, that's fine. No, I can't live stream anyway tomorrow. I've got, um, doctor's appointment. Which I need to be there for. Hmm, I'd certainly love to kill that one, but they're making it difficult to reach it. And then we bring him in via this stance and... Now, I'm not really a big fan of pushing King's Glade to tier 5, since it's such a shit settlement for us. But we got so much food. Plus, that way you save a shitload of money in the long run. And you can still get some pretty good buildings here, but don't expect to defend it. You won't get access to the uh, defensive settlement here. 
At least it actually gives you warp bomb. In Warhammer 2, this the building for defenses in these ones doesn't give you warp bomb. But it's always a field battle for you. Alright guys, that's the end of today's live stream. Let's go chuck a host over to someone. Let me just check the Discord and see who's live streaming. Uh, let's see. Alright, PZA Total War and Snake Node Gamer, they're both live streaming. I can't host them both, but I think Snake Node Gamer has fewer subscribers. And I feel like I've hosted PZA a lot lately. So just to spare with me. I'd, I'd love to be able to host them both, but I can't. They've both requested it. Um, um, who should I send it to? Better get a send. Yeah, no, no, no. About it. Mute that. Um, shit, I don't know. I'll send, I'll send it to uh, Snake Nerd Gamer today, and then next time I'll send it to PZA. If I remember, that is. Alright. So, once again, really appreciate all the support today, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. Go show Snake Nerd Gamer some support. I will see you next time, which will be. Sub I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, the Thrones of Decay stuff that is probably going to be announced tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a video on it, maybe not. If it's only like a tiny teaser, then I won't bother. Uh, won't bother. Alright guys, that's in this one, and I'll see you later. Okay, then on Twitch, let's have a look who's live streaming on Twitch.